Hey guys, welcome. Let me know if you can see slash hear me. Sorry, <laughs> had a little bit of a, well, I always have technical difficulties. I just always wait till the last minute to set stuff up. <laughs> so sorry, little, a uh, little late. And yeah, shout out to uh, Brie for making the turtle version of me in the thumbnail. It's so cute. I love it so much. Oh, thank you, Crocomancer. Good luck murdering Sonic Weavy. It's not me who murdered him. It's apparently one of these other people. Oh yeah, so I saw a lot of people who were kind of confused in chat. I guess, I don't know, I was so shocked that like, it seems like not a lot of you guys have heard of this game. I don't know, I just feel like when it came out, like my timeline on Twitter and YouTube were just like completely flooded with it. But this is an actual game created by Sega. They decided for April Fools to release like a murder mystery Sonic the Hedgehog game. And I was just obsessed with it once I heard about it. I thought that was so cool. So um, I think, yeah, it's like two to four hours long. And um, yeah, we get to find out who murdered Sonic. I mean, it seems to be kind of, you know, Danganronpa, Ace Attorney inspired. So I thought it could be fun. I don't know anything about um, Sonic, to be honest. I just saw that like... Uh, <laughs> uh, Bree said something about like... Uh, <laughs> maybe I should do the... Um, <laughs> What should I call it? Uh, the assist mode because it might be hard for me. Cause yeah, I don't have any experience with Sonic. All I know is that like Shadow, I think it's Shadow. He's like the emo one. Um, I just feel like I've seen a lot of memes with him. I feel like you know he just like fits my essence. You know what I mean? Like he just gets me. Uh, rings to win 100%. I don't know what I should do. This as assist settings are so helpful. Different someone also new to Sonic. Is there like a specific recommendation you guys think I should do? So my uh, mods were saying too that um, rings to win. Like invincibility, that sounds nice. <laughs> I don't want to just do that. It's just, you know, I don't need to, I don't need to die. Like, you know, I'm good. Thank you, Breathe the Cookie Monster. Fun fact, if you put Monokuma or Among Us or any of the characters' names into the custom name section, it'll deny you. It's so funny, they're aware of deception games. Okay, nice, interesting. I'll have to try that once we start. Lower the rings to 70-ish to start and go from there. The beginning isn't too bad. Oh, you can change them later? Okay, we'll just change them later if it like gets too hard. But uh, yeah, this is my first Sonic game ever. I mean, like I played like a little bit at like a friend's house. I just remember kind of like getting rings and stuff. <laughs> That's all I really remember. <laughs> and thank you, Krokichi. I truly love your content. It always makes my day. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate ya. But yeah, I guess we can go ahead and start. Um, I'll just do 70 for now. I think that was what Dara said was good since they also, I think, mentioned that they're not super, uh, you know, I guess like familiar with Sonic games. But yeah, uh, oh yeah, what was I gonna say? Some of my mods said that Sonic lore can be kind of similar to like Kirby lore in the way that like, it's surprisingly dark, darker than you would expect, you know, for a game like this. So I was thinking it could be kind of fun to watch that. And they actually said this was kind of a good introduction to the series, at least like meeting the characters. So let's try it, why not? Oh yeah, let me um pin this too. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, oh my god, it's a little like hedgehog version of Yuki. He's so cute. <laughs> Oh my god, can I name him Yuki Mina? Is this who I'm playing as? Phew, made it on the train 15 minutes ahead of schedule. They're all gonna be so cute, the character designs. So far, so good for my first day on the job. Oh, I totally forgot. My name tag isn't ready. <laughs> I should make one. I'll just sign my name here. Okay, I wanna try Monokuma. <laughs> what do you think you're doing, Weeby? <laughs> This isn't dang it, Grandpa. I don't think I can show my face around here again if I wrote that name. <laughs> Let's try again. I'll just try to sign my name here. Let me try Among Us too, since Bree mentioned that one too. <laughs> Among Us. <laughs> Stop fucking trolling me, Weeby. I don't think it, oh, okay, it's the same thing. Ah, oh, man. To be like, I would be too sussy if I had that name. <laughs> and thank you, uh, Lazy Mio. Hey, Weeby, if you had to choose to save one, which would you choose, Yomi or Balloon Boy? Oh, God. Uh, I guess Balloon Boy. I don't know. God, fucking Balloon Boy. I hate his ass so much. <laughs> but at least he's like a kid. He can become a better person later after years of therapy. He's probably the ghost of some traumatized kid too. I should stop being so hard on him. Yomi, he's too far gone. <laughs> he just needs to go. <laughs> he just needs to go. Y'all want me to name him Yomi? <laughs> that'd be a good, that'd be a good name. 
And let's try again. I'll just sign my name here. Um, what should I do? Yomuki? That's like a mixture of like, or Yomi Maida. Yuki Maida's long lost twin brother. <laughs> Oh man, what did the balloon boy do? He fu he killed me over and over and over and over again in FNAF 2. That's why I hate him. Oh, I hate him so much. Yomi. Maida. Do you guys like that? <laughs> name him Yomi. <laughs> Maybe it'll fix the name Yomi for me. <laughs> Thank you, big chunk of belongs in the trail. Oh my god, beautiful. I love that profile picture. Ah, uh, cool. Sonic's my favorite Pokemon. And they do kind of like, like Pokemon, don't they? Yamaki? <laughs> Wait, what's y Yamaki? So it's like... What would be that be a mixture of? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> what about Yomuki? Yomuki. We'll do Yomuki. That's a little... It's a little mixture. Yomuki of Yuki and Yomi. So I can make everybody happy, maybe. We'll do that. Yomuki, did I spell that right? Are you sure? It would be kind of funny to name him Yomi. <laughs> name him John. <laughs> now we'll do Yomuki. I'll, I'll give him a chance. Who passengers can read my scribble? <laughs> oh, he's so cute. He doesn't deserve to have Yomi's name thrust on him. Okay. I wonder if I did like zero escape if that would have done anything. It kind of looks like we're on like a ship or something. I assume that this was also, well, maybe partially inspired by zero escape. I guess zero escape is more like an escape game, but. Oh, am I nervous? Is this first day on the job jitters? Working in the tra oh, it's a train. Working in the train's dining car. Oh my God, are we on the toxic gossip train yet again? <laughs> Working the train's dining hall can't be so bad. Come on, Yamuki. <laughs> Shake it off. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ugh. A conductor. Oh, the characters look so cute. Yamuki, did I, uh, did I just see you hitting yourself? It's bad, bad, Yamuki. Uh, Mr. Conductor, sir, how are you doing this morning? Oh, quite all right myself. Oh, he kind of seems old. You guys know, <laughs> I'm like... It kind of seems old. <laughs> but he's also a dog, so he's precious. So it's balancing out my trust issues with him. Oh, man. Hopefully, since we're on a train, it won't end up like how it did in Raincoat. <laughs> that's, all we, that's all we can ho hope for. Massacre on the Sonic Express. <laughs> that's like the chapter title. Oh, quite all right myself. Though feeling a little bittersweet. Is everything all right? Is that because... Is that because you're a sweetie? What the hell is this? Am I flirting with a train conductor? Trying to trying to butter me up on the first day, are we? Alas, today's my last day as a conductor. I'm retiring after 32 wonderful years. Okay, it's pretty old for dog years, I guess. Time for me and the Mirage Express to say goodbye to one another. Oh, congratulations on retirement, sir. Thank you, my wife is very excited. Ah, damn, he's got a wife. She's already got our plane tickets to Spagonia unlocked. Our shower's been on the fritz. Oh, wait. I literally gave him an old man voice and he's like 30. <laughs> Why'd you make me sound so old, Weeby? I'm not that much older than you, Jesus. Our sh oh, God, it's so hard being 30. All my bones ache. What's that line from SpongeBob? Every day I wake up from my own screaming, I have paper skin and glass bones. Our shower's been on the fritz. I'm so excited to use the hotel's. I can see why his wife's excited. Enough of my quibbles. Today is your first day working the dining car. Here's the menu for today. Okay, cool. I got a menu. Mirage Express's dining menu it features a chili dog, instant ramen, and chicken cordon bleu. Cool. I get to serve the Sonic characters. Oh, this does kind of seem like a death flag, doesn't it? He's like, oh, yes, my last day. There was like something I watched recently where it did that. And it was like, I don't know, like the character was like, oh, yes, my last day. <laughs> it was like, you're fucking dead, aren't you? Why do you look so nervous? All we have on the train is a microwave. Oh, Jesus. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, nothing, nothing says uh, first class quite like microwave ramen. Though I'm sure it's... Sure, a little quiz is in order. Which of these do we serve in the dining car? Oh, what the? Oh, chicken cordon bleu, okay. Ding, 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 glad you can read the menu. Okay, uh, good thing you can read. 
A little about the vessel. This is a state-of-the-art high-speed smart train with all the latest gadgets. This train can really handle anything you throw at it. We've had a lot of adventures together, me and this train. It's not easy to leave the toxic gossip train. I grew up in it. Ah, I just noticed! He's got like a little Sonic ring, right, on his hat. Oh, that's cute. I do know that about Sonic. You like... You run fast and you collect the rings. And thank you, big chunk of belongs in the trash. Ah, cool, a game from a zilch <laughs> Oh man, I w if we could have named a second character, I totally would have named our character Yomi. <laughs> It had a zilch fanfic going on. We've had a lot of adventures together, me and this train. It's not easy to leave. After 32 years, I don't blame him for being wistful. This train is exclusively used for events. It's not a passenger train. I remember that from the interview. Oh, what's the event today? A murder mystery party. Oh, <laughs> interesting. Nothing better than some thrills to end my tenure as a conductor. <laughs> You're so fucking dead. I mean, I think Sonic's gonna die, right? Because that's the title of the game, but I guess we'll see. He does seem to be really dead. <laughs> oh, very interesting to have a murder mystery party in my last day <laughs> as a train conductor right before I retire and live happily ever after with my wife. What could go wrong? Guess we'll be funneled here to the dining car as a home base, so to speak. I will be with you to gather tickets, but after that you'll be on your own. So I need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of, understood? <laughs> Thrills! Chills! Kills! I was thinking that too, actually. I'll make you proud, sir. I can't afford to lose this job! You sure can't! <laughs> it's fucking rough out there, buddy! Oh, and you, how are you gonna find a jo another job that pays you minimum wage with no benefits like I do? Come on! You sure can't! The severance pay is lousy! Oh. Doors to the Mirage Express are opening! All aboard! Okay. Oh, it looks so cute! The little star train. Okay, look at this! Look at this little rainbow train we got going on. It's cute. Okay, cute. She kind of gives me Kazuna voice. I feel like that means I've cursed her. Ah, Tails looks cute too. I've seen him before in like fan art. Wow, this train is incredible. What fascinating tech. I, I kind of feel like a Gin voice kind of fits him. Vector. Like a Ryuji slash Mitch voice. <laughs> I hate that. The Ryuji voice became the Mitch voice. You're right, Tails. I can get used to staying on a train like this. Um, what did you all expect? You know I always go all out for my birthday party. Okay, so it's Amy's birthday party. This train's as elegant as you are, Amy. Can't promise I won't take anything, though. Knuckles. What would Knuckles be? Calm down there, rogue. Did I not just catch you stealing from the train station gift store? Oh, <coughs> LaMau! <laughs> it was a pin! A knucklehead! <laughs> I get it, because his name's Knuckles. <laughs> Who's gonna miss a teeny tiny pin? I hope Shadow's here. He's like the Vivia of this game. He's consumed in darkness, just like my soul. What? A cast of characters? What kind of cast of characters am I stuck with? Is this a dang it grandpa game? Get a hold of yourself, Yamuki. You're sweating through your uniform. Dude, if Tails is the murderer, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna punch myself in the face. He's so cute. Oh, look at it, Sonic! Hey, pal. Can I get one of those chili dogs? <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, come on. This is last meal. You, what was his name? Yamuki? This is his last meal, Yamuki. You gotta be nice. You can't just be like, Arg, of course. Give him that microwave chili dog. Rightio, friend. Well, aren't you friendly? What kind of voice does Sonic have? I kind of feel like, maybe I'll give like Vector a deeper kind of voice or something. Why can't I be normal for one second? Oh, I'm so cringe. Oh, and he's so handsome. Um, Sonic, wait until I announce everyone's roles to get food. Uh, sorry about that birthday girl. I'll be coming around to collect everyone's tickets. Please have them out and ready. You'll join me, Yamuki, won't you? Just click on whoever you'd like to talk with, and we'll collect their ticket. Oh, okay, got it. Oh my god, this is literally... This is <laughs> so dog and rap. <laughs> literally. Oh, that's so funny, dude. We get to meet the cast of characters and learn their ultimate talents. I mean, who they're dressed as. Okay, um, who should we talk to first? No, I sh Oh, hey, there he is! Yes! He's here, Shadow! God, he's just like me for real. Here. 
<laughs> Thank you, everything is in order. He seems concerned about something. Is there anything we can we can help you with? Oh god, life is pain and suffering. Do you sell gift bags here? Uh no, sadly, but I have a plastic grocery bag in the back I could get for you. Ugh. That stare, brr, it's so cold. Yamuki, you're shivering. Do you need me to fetch your jacket? Uh, no, I'm good. Oh, you're just so handsome and intimidating. Uh -huh. <laughs> there was like, oh my god, I was like driving one day on the interstate, and I saw this car that was literally Shadow the Hedgehog themed, and it was so fucking cool. <laughs> I wish I could have taken a picture of it, but there was nobody else in the car with me to, like, you know, take it for me. And since I was driving, it was too hard. Okay, let's talk to Knuckles, because I love him. Look at him, he's just a little guy. Oh, he kind of reminds me of Peanut, actually, since he's orange. Can I get your ticket, youngin? Right here, sir. Thank you. May I offer you any of the snacks we have on board? Um, no, thank you. When I travel, I always pack my own sparkle gelatin. Okay, I hope those sparkles are <laughs> consumable. It's a sparkly jelly that can melt any jaded heart. You already melted my jaded heart. No way, I brought my own sparkle gelatin with me too. It's my first day and I was a little nervous. Don't be nervous, you're doing great so far. We're sparkle gelatin buddies. Oh, look at, uh, oh wait, not Knuckles. <laughs> His name is Tails. <laughs> I told you guys you don't know these names very well. Tails, I I would die for you, Knuckles. <laughs> you don't even know my fucking name, Weeby. <laughs> uh, absolutely. If you need anything, just let us know. Thank goodness someone on this train is normal. Aw, oh, he's just a little guy. Thank you, Big Chunk of Belongs in the Trash. So, Weeby isn't confused. I will now explain the entire Sonic lore of both video games. In Archie comics, also make sure to present to present menu to characters. Oh, I can do that. Oh, that's smart. Can I? How do I do that? Can I? It's like, can I drag the menu to them? Oh, oh, I can get more uh, talking stuff with him actually. But actually, there was like a um, Sonic lore video. It was like two and a half hours long. I was like, holy crap, that's wild. Uh, what else do you need? Uh, can I take your order? Nothing. I'm I just saying hello. God, you're so fucking cool. Ugh. Maybe I should, uh, move on. Wait, can I take his order again? What else do you need? Can I take your order? Only three items on the menu. Sorry, sir. Is not everything to your liking? You don't like microwave ramen and microwave cordon bleu? I just expected a bit more from a train so state-of-the-art. You don't even have drinks listed. I'm trying to get drunk here. I'm trying to get litty. He's not wrong, but I'm still offended somehow. We offer water, coffee, and chaos cola as well, sir. I'll have to take you up on the coffee soon. Just the... <laughs> what the fuck? Just the beans and a spoon. I just eat that shit raw. It's literally instant coffee. Do you want to snort it, Shadow? <laughs> Actually, I'll use my hands. I don't need a spoon. Just the beans and the spoon, though. I can't get a read on this guy. <laughs> I thought he was cool, but now I think he's just fucking weird. Thank you, Shadow Arm Midnight. What are your Sonic ships? Also, Weavia, Weavia Wedding Day. Oh my god, coming up soon. I don't really have any. I really don't know much about Sonic to begin with. I'd probably ship Sonic with Shadow, though, if I, <laughs> if I had to guess. <laughs> Because I always love, like, that kind of, I don't know, like, rivals to lovers kind of thing. I think they're rivals, right? They seem like it. Okay, let's talk to Sonic. Ticket, please. Thank you kindly. Happy to have someone as renowned as yourself aboard. Huh? Oh my god, is he a celebrity? And don't worry about it. I just like helping. When Eggman took over. Oh yeah, Eggman. I know that, well... I guess I kind of knew, yeah, that he was the villain, too. He's like, he's got, like, the mustache or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> when Eggman took over, I truly feared for the worst, but my kids swore you would swoop in eventually. And you did. Ah, oh, no, he's got kids, too. That sucks for when he inevitably dies. I can't offer much other than my silent, gra sincere gratitude. Don't sweat a thing. I'm glad you and your family are safe. 
Wait a second, is he? Is he? Oh my, oh my god, I'm fangirling so bad right now. Is he the Sonic EXE? I do know that meme too. I promise you an excellent stand on train, Sonic. Have fun now. Yeah, yeah ha have fun now. God, he's so fucking cool. Who will do, thanks. Okay, let's talk to this guy. Hello, my friend! Can I have your ticket? What, somebody say Eggman is hot? Now I know y'all are tripping. There was, like, people s simping over Swank. When, <laughs> like, during Raincoat. Is it the same person who was simping over Swank? I think Sans was simping over Swank on the Discord. <laughs> I was like, I think I saw some other people, though, in chat doing that, too. Thank you, David D. I told my wife that I had a crush on Beyonce, and she said to me, whatever floats your boat. And I said, no, <laughs> that's buoyancy. <laughs> Dude, like, you know, if my boyfriend told me that he had a crush on Beyonce, I would just be like, same. Like, she's literally perfect. She's the perfect woman. Like, why would, like, why would you not? Like, obviously, you have eyes. <laughs> oh, man. But thank you, David, for the donation. Appreciate ya. Hello, my friend. Can I get your ticket? Maybe I'll give him, like, a Kenjo. Kenjo mixed with, like, Ryuji and Mitch? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Of course. As a gentleman of upstanding morals, I'd love to show you my ticket. Yeah, he seems to be avoiding eye contact. He kind of seems sussy. I feel like he's kind of evil. Maybe it's just because he's an alligator, and alligators scare me. Is something amiss, sir? Or maybe he's a crocodile. He Eggman's on the sexy man wiki? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> what the hell? I seem to have um, um, misplaced my ticket. Could you speak up a bit? I couldn't quite hear you. I misplaced my ticket. I don't know where it is. He's not hiding his embarrassment very well. Don't worry, we'll take a look around for you and see if it turns up. Oh yeah, that would be amazing. Thanks a million. Seems as though we should keep our eyes peeled for his ticket. Okay. I guess I'll keep my eyes peeled. I'm not really sure exactly where I should search though for it. Guess we can talk to Knuckles. <laughs> Actual Knuckles. Howdy, can I please get your ticket? Beyonce the Hedgehog? What are y'all talking about in chat? Chad is always wild and so hard. Oh man, that reminds me. There's like this pop star Danganronpa, like Instagram Rampa. I want to do it so freaking bad. <laughs> it looks so ridiculous. I don't know if Beyonce is in it. Surely she is. But I feel like that'd be so fun. Oh, it's specifically Jim Carrey Eggman. Okay, that makes more sense then. I think that's a ticket. <laughs> Just crumpled it up. But I really don't want to argue with this guy. Everything looks good. Thank you. Seems the conductor doesn't want to argue either. <laughs> He's kind of giving me a uh, shadow vibes too. Oh, it's way too fucking cool for this ticket, bro. Could you please get the birthday girl's ticket? <laughs> Why, certainly. Thank you, miss. And thank you for choosing our fine train for your birthday festivities. Um, well, the birthday discount certainly helped. Who doesn't love a good bargain? <laughs> and a murder mystery train? It just sounds so so exciting. It's right up my alley. I love killing bitches. Who doesn't love a good thrill? Chills! Kills! You see, I'm a girl who loves... Oh, God. <laughs> You're one of those. <laughs> I'm a girl who loves the true crime podcast. When I'm, like, listening to them, I'm always thinking, like, how could I get away with it? Like, I'm like, wow, this murder is so stupid. When I kill Sonic, I mean, um, I would never do that. But if I hypothetically did, I would do it on a train and I would totally get away with it. <laughs> Maybe we should leave her to have fun. Before we move along, for you, miss. Oh my god, how fun. Thank you, where do I use this? Oh, it's a little key. That unlocks any, oh Jesus Christ. You are totally the murderer. <laughs> you haven't even killed anybody yet, but I already think that you're the murderer. That unlocks any door on the train, happy birthday. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. It's practically tradition. <laughs> Very useful. We'll use this wisely. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I don't think we've met this girl yet. Conductor, can we please see your ticket? Of course. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. I hope you enjoy your stay with us. Absolutely. I appreciate it. There's a calmness about him. Something about his presence put me... Oh, okay. He. I don't know why I, I thought he was female. Sorry for misgendering you. What was your name again? I guess... I feel like I should give him... Oh, Mikado voice! Oh, I should do that, actually. There's a calmness about him. Something about his presence puts me at ease. You consider me calming? He's he's looking right at me. 
I study ninjutsu. I believe one can communicate through subconscious. I'm always looking for an excuse to do the Mikado voice. Wow, ninjutsu, that sounds like a lot of difficult training. Can you cling onto walls? Oh, a rogue is pronounced rouge. Okay. Cling onto walls, what kind of question is that? I most certainly can. A little rose, <laughs> I do like Tamaki or something. The conductor looks a bit too smug at that answer. I don't think I had ever seen his character before. Okay, let's do this girl. May I have your ticket, please? Mirage Express. Thank you very much. On top of it, I see. A prince, a princess such as myself must always be punctual. Uh, princess? Oh my god, there's so many celebs on this train. <laughs> If you don't mind me asking, are you visiting from somewhere? Genovia, a separate dimension. Actually, oh my god, Blaze! I didn't know super high school level Blaze was in this game. Blaze is looking so slay right now. A separate dimension, actually. A separate what? Just here for Amy's birthday. Then I'll hop back to my own dimension. I quite prefer the birthday cake from this world. More to my own. So I admit I'm a bit excited. Oh, 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 you don't say. Well, I hope you enjoy your stay, princess. Should, should I bow? Do I bow before a princess? What are you doing? Please get up. <laughs> what are you doing, you weirdo? Why can't I? Why can I not win with this group? I just want them to accept me, damn it. I guess maybe I should get some orders, too. You're probably gonna order something adorable, aren't you? What a beautiful train. I feel completely at ease. Everything's gonna be great. Nothing bad's gonna happen. The menu, sir? I don't like reading. <laughs> I'm not a stranger. I'm your biggest fan. I don't like reading things from strangers. Also, you didn't even know my fucking name, Weeby. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Literally a waiter. <laughs> what more do you want from me? <laughs> Shoot, I was supposed to get Amy a cake. Oh, what am I gonna do? Uh, good luck with that. Can I get your order? I'll be back for that chili dog. Oh, yeah, duh. He wanted the chili dog. For a hero such as yourself, it'll be on the house. I appreciate that. Kind of forgot my wallet at home. <laughs> Not that I was expecting it, but also, <laughs> I was. Because I'm literally Sonic. And then, how is he gonna buy the chili dog earlier? Is Sonic kind of full of himself? Maybe at least in this game, he is. Because I could see that at least with him being like, <laughs> That's crazy, I forgot my wallet. It's not like I'm a world hero and I saved the world or anything. It's no big deal. It's no biggie. Uh, maybe we should leave this dude alone. <laughs> what is up with Knuckles? Is he also emo? Can I take your Can I take your order? <laughs> not interested. Either he's really not interested, or he doesn't know how to read. <laughs> he just doesn't know how to read. The chicken cordon bleu does sound good, though. Well, that answers that. <laughs> it's literally just a microwave meal, but whatever. Oh yeah, Sonic is full of himself. Oh, okay, interesting. I'm glad uh, I was picking up on that correctly. This train is quite exquisite. I'm enjoying my time already. Can I take your order? I would order one of each, but I'm here for the party. I'll eat when everyone else does. What excellent principles. Plus, plus I had a snack right before this. Oh. <laughs> Ty, I didn't get his order, right? Find anything yet? Um, we're still looking. Keep me posted, kid. Okay, I guess I can't get his order until later. You don't need to bow every time you see me. Oh, uh, sorry. I can't take your order. I'm saving myself for cake. Thank you, though. Are you sure your inst our instant ramen doesn't disappoint? <laughs> Literally, it's just instant ramen. I am quite sure. Okay. I don't know where I find the key at. Oh, hey. Can I talk to this guy? Hey, <laughs> yummy, yummy. Don't mind if I do. Yomuki, those are for our guests, you know. Train, be sure Yomuki, Yomuki only gets one of these, those if they ask. Uh, beep boop, sad. Did the arm just kind of nod? Actually, uh, Train, the conductor wants me to have the whole plate. <laughs> arm. Army arm. Faha, good try, young buck. The Train and I have worked together a long time. You'll have to work harder than that to get what you want. Drat, those snacks look really tasty, too. Vector has... Save Vector last. Okay. For extra dialogue. Okay, I guess uh, I'll do this person. Rouge was what you guys said her name was. Well, hello, you two. What can I do for you? 
Good morning, ma'am. Can we get your ticket? Oh, my, my, how forward. Let me fetch it for you. Come back if you need anything else. You hear? You hear? Maybe I should give her the Karen voice. Wow, she's so polite. Very easy to talk to as well. Ma'am, I saw you sneak that $20 bill out of my pocket. <laughs> Gonna have to kindly ask for that back. Um, uh, no you didn't. Um, um. Oh, this was yours? Must have slipped out. Here you go. I may not actually be the best at judging character. <laughs> Rip. Okay, I think I've talked to everybody now. Yeah, I was just avoiding talking to her since I thought it might end the cutscene. Let's try this one. Find anything yet? And um, we're still looking. Keep me posted, kid. Um, I guess I can take your order, too. Please excuse me, darling. I just need to freshen up before the party begins. Your order, ma'am. Oh, this looks all delectable, but sadly, I'll have to pass. If you get hungry later, we'll have the microwave warmed up for you. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Maybe, I <laughs> know, right? It's like, can we at least pretend we don't just heat this shit up? Maybe we shouldn't tell our customers that. <laughs> Oh, I can go this way, too. Okay, nice. What's this sticking out of the napkin holder? Oh, there it is. Say, wasn't somebody looking for their ticket earlier? Let's be sure to return this to its rightful owner. And let's make sure no one uses their ticket as a napkin. Lost ticket was added to your inventory. Anything else I can click on? Don't think so. Okay, buddy, Vector. Find anything yet? Well, we might just have found what you need. Yamuki, why don't you show our friend what we picked up? What happens if I show him the menu? Oh, I'm starved! I'll take one of each! <laughs> um, on second thought, though, maybe I'll, uh, oh, wait a bit. Yamuki, I was referring to the other thing we picked up, dumbass! Oh, uh, right, sorry. Okay, I was kind of wanting to see what goofy dialogue I'd get. Oh, there it is. That's my ticket. Thanks so much to you both. I was really worried you'd kick me out, and I'd miss the murder mystery. Oh, old Yamuki here would have their hands full kicking you out. Look at him, he's a twink! Oh, you're right, he is a twink! I wouldn't leave without a fight. Wait, who made me both microwave expert and security guard? How many roles do I have to take on this freaking boat, or train, or whatever it is? You're both right in my, all right in my book. Thanks again for the assist. <laughs> of course, let us know if you need anything else. Okay, everyone, time to read out everyone's roles for the murder mystery. Yay! Thank you, Shadow Rose Seven Five Nine. I'll be back later, everyone. Enjoy the, in the meantime. Thank you so much, and yeah, hope you uh, have a good day doing whatever. That's my cue to leave. I must prepare the driver's compartment for departure. Ah, the conductor's car. Sorry, I just want some water. The conductor is kind of evil. See, guys, this is why I never trust old people, even though he's only like 30. <laughs> and yeah, basically, the rolls is kind of like the talent reveals, isn't it? You remember your promise, yeah? Right? Right, young whippersnapper? You'll do everything in your power to make sure our guests have a safe and enjoyable time on the Mirage Express. Make sure none of them get murdered, right? Absolutely. You can count on me. To be honest, this group seems pl pl uh, 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 plenty capable on their own. And train? Assist you, Mookie, if they need any help, won't you? Arm. Faha, that's all I need to hear. You have my trust. God, I love you. Nothing more heartwarming than a conductor and his train. Excellent. I'll be off. I must take my leave. Everyone, please have a phenomenal time. And don't worry about mucking up the place either. This train is state of the art and has systems for dealing with all that. Okay, it's kind of a weird thing to say as the owner of a train, but I guess. For everything else, please talk to you, Mookie, here if you need anything. Sounds good. Absolutely. Will do. <laughs> Goodbye now. I like that guy. You don't get bossed around by him like I do. Thank you all for following the outfit guide I sent you. Sent You You all look amazing. I trust you all read the lore cards as well. Uh, lore cards. That must be the details of their motivations. 
I suppose it makes sense lore cards aren't read out loud. Otherwise, people would know the murderer's intentions. Now on to the nitty gritty for the murder mystery game. One of you will be murdered and the rest suspects. Everyone has assigned roles for characters. It's not very fun for the person who gets murdered in this game. It's right, it's like, cool, I guess I'll just lay down for the rest of the party. Great, fun times. For everyone, everyone has roles for the characters they will be playing. Participation is required, for it is my birthday. Usually include, you know, it's like a character that nobody plays as that gets killed. Of course! I love you, Tails. Birthday girl makes the rules. His Sonic, you're my ship captain. Oh my god, I'm blushing. And you'll be stationed in the conductor car. Naturally, that's where the captain would go. So, so far, I'm saying Sonic gets murdered by Amy because she confesses to him and Sonic's like, no, I'm sorry, I love Shadow. Actually, him and Shadow aren't re related or anything, right? That'd be fucked up if true. I take it back if they are. They are both hedgehogs, so I'm like, wait a second. <laughs> I don't know how that works in this universe. Tails, you're the detective. You'll be here in the dining car. Indubitably. Knuckles, you're the sheriff around these parts. We'll find you in the saloon. Okay, so he's a sheriff. Yeah, I was thinking he was dressed as like a cowboy or something. Got it. Rouge, you're a business tycoon. And Blaze, you're a titan of industry, both in the casino. What's the difference? There is none. Okay, thank God they're not. <laughs> it's like, just making sure. <laughs> they do look similar. <laughs> hum, sounds fun. And Vector, you're the butcher. Oh, he's the butcher. What's up with the gold chain then? As I kind of do get that from the other part of his outfit. He even got the fake blood on there. Vector, you're the butcher and Espio the poet both found the library. Hear that, Espio? We get to hang out together. And do what, Reed? Uh, maybe we can make a tower of books or something. Make a little, you know, hideout and hang out in there. Hold hands. And Shadow is the locksmith hanging out in the lounge. I'm gonna be eating my coffee beans in there. And last but not least, me, the journalist reporter. I'll be mosing around with everybody. Did you get all that? Uh, I think so. Uh, yeah, I, I was listening. I wasn't zoning out, thinking about shipping and fan fictions. I hope that's okay. Um, more than all right. You can help ensure everyone's following their roles. Oh, that reminds me. Okay, a little map, too. It's so cute. I have a map for each of you. This game is so cute so far. Everyone's station is marked on the map as well. How convenient. It's like really well made for a April Fool's joke. <laughs> map added to your inventory. The rules of the game are as follows. There is a murderer amongst all of you. Among us. The murderer can kill a single participant however they choose. But you must physically be present with the victim for the count. I guess it is kind of like Among Us when you'd like die first and you're just like, well, <laughs> guess I'm just dead then. <laughs> At least in Among Us, you can fly around your little ghost form, though. Murder can kill a single participant however they choose, but they you must physically be present with the victim for it to count. Everyone else must collect evidence throughout the train and use it to interrogate fellow passengers to figure out who done it. The murderer will lie to get out of being accused, so inspect everything you can, find clues, and interrogate. I'll set a timer for one hour, and we get to execute the murderer, Danganronpa style, baby. I'll set a timer for one hour, so everyone can mingle, and the murderer can do their thing. Is everyone ready? Sounds like, sounds like everyone's excited. Everyone to your stations. Okay, this is really well made. Kind of wild to think it was just a April Fool's prank. Oh yeah, something else I meant to say at the beginning. This game is free too, literally. So if you guys want to play it, you can literally play it for free on Steam. Oh, this is so exciting. A mystery is unfolding right under our very noses. I know, it's kind of scary. Why are you talking to me? <laughs> You're literally a servant. You're supposed to be serving us. How thrilling. I have goosebumps. Um, what do I think, Yamuki? He's, he's a little bit of a scaredy cat. We'll do that. It's scary. I'll admit, I'm nervous too. I like how Yamuki is just like inserting himself into this. He's like, wow. It's so great being besties with all of you. It's like, dude, you just work here. <laughs> Are you a part of the murder mystery now? <laughs> Oh, what's in my role, Amy? I think it was kind of rude, but you didn't actually um, give me a role. It's so weird. <laughs> uh, shouldn't you two be out there mingling with everyone? 
Uh, well, actually, the detective and the journalist can be the murderer. So we're stuck here for an hour before going out and scoping the place. I feel like that makes them kind of suspicious for the actual murder. You know? Because it's like... <laughs> can you imagine, like, an actual murder happens? And she's like, um, it couldn't be me because I'm the journalist. <laughs> and it couldn't be Tails either because he's just the little guy and also he's the detective. So it doesn't count. <laughs> we would never. So that completely <laughs> absolves us from guilt. <laughs> This way, there's always a neutral party. Makes sense to me. Seems as though Amy's... Oh, uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm just looking at Tails too much. Seems as though Amy's more excited about deciphering the mystery anyways. What do you think everyone's doing? Oh, probably inspecting their stations and talking am amongst one another. Among us. Everyone has a role to play, so they must be exploring their characters. There is, like, um... You know, like... Gosh, I've always wanted to do one of those, like, murder mystery parties. Because I think there is one kind of close to me that I was thinking about doing before. They do seem fun. <laughs> it's just in video games, you always know it's going to turn into, like, an actual murder. Do you know what their character motivations are, Amy? And uh, no, the lore cards are confidential. No one knows but the person who received them. Oh my goodness! He's so cute! I love him! Who's a little guy? He's even little... He's even littler than Tails. My backstory is that I was best friends with a flicky that decided to join. No, he would never. No, are you telling me he joined evil Eggman? But look at him. I would let him murder me. <laughs> I would let him join the evil Dr. Eggman, kickstarting my desire for justice in the world. Okay. My lore is that I'm a nosy person turned journalist. <laughs> That's not really very good lore. I'm not going to lie, that kind of sounds fun. Um, can I get a lore card, pretty please? I wish I wasn't stuck on microwave duty. Uh, oh, Jesus, I was like, is that the train starting up? Oh, God, the train started moving. Why does it sound like a horror movie, though? It's fast, grab on to something, Jesus Christ. What's going on? My tail, I'm, I'm going to fucking die. Hold on. What kind of train is this? I can't. Oh, shit. What is the conductor doing? And now we all die. <laughs> Death by train. Oh, what the hell? How do we get stuck in here? Hey, you're both awake. Jesus Christ. Somebody, like, poison us or something, too? Uh, yeah. It seems the train has slowed down considerably. Oh, wow, how exuding? That was fucking awesome, dude. <laughs> what happened? How did we end up in here? Is everyone all right? Yeah, my head's... Yeah, my head's spinning a bit, but I'm okay. It seems we've been knocked into the dining car's closet. This train can reach such incredible speeds. Oh, we got literally knocked into the dining... Holy shit, dude. Really? Can I... How do I... Am I able to look at the... Whatchamacallit? The, uh... Whatchamacallit? The log? I don't know how to do that. If anybody knows how to do that, please let me know. Is this actually intended? It's my first day, so I'm not really sure. I don't recall them warning me about this in the interview. We should go check on the others. Yumuki, could you get the door? Oh, of course. Um, it seems the door is blocked, and I don't think it's budging. Oh my god, it's Microwave Chan! You're famous! <laughs> We've been talking about you so much! Amy, give me that fallen shelf a whack with your Pico Pico hammer. Um, um, let's find another way out. I'll uh, start looking for clues. Is that her, like, actual tool in the games? I'll search over here. Um, I know Amy, she's hiding something. Murder! I suppose she did wake up before us. Something could have happened. I don't know. I could see it being one of these two people. I do. Is the train conductor dead? Considering the train just kind of like <laughs> went crazy. Like somebody killed him, and then they like took over the train. They didn't know how to start it or something. I guess we'll see. Well, I said I know I'm the detective here, but all the detectives have sidekicks. I'm gonna need your help. Oh my god, of course, bestie. God dang it though. He's like having me rely on him too much. It makes me not want to trust him. Get him! Let's gather clues on why Amy's acting this way and interrogate her about it. Check out everything you can around this closet. Then we'll show it to Amy to uncover the full situation. Gather evidence and interrogate. Got it. Okay. I need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood. Understood. 
See, I don't feel like the train normally starts like that. Like, literally the shelf is, like, totally broken. You can count on me, Tails. I won't turn evil like... <laughs> that, what a suspicious thing to say! I won't turn evil like your evil, your ex-flicky companion did. Happy to hear that. Now let's get searching. I didn't question you for a second until you said that. Okay. Oh, I could literally... <laughs> what is she doing? <laughs> Just turn at the spoon? I'm very taken up right now looking at the spoon. What's the latest? No questions. I'm busy. <laughs> Find any clues yet? Um, I found a spoon. If we find two more, we can dig ourselves out. Um, <laughs> dig ourselves out <laughs> on a train? This isn't prison break. Um, I'll keep looking. Okay. Ooh, start interrogation. Uh, should I, like, investigate more before I do that, though? Find any clues yet? I found it. Okay, I just found a spoon. That's cool. Okay, we'll talk to her after I look around here. Just in case. There's gotta be another way out of here. I feel like I haven't looked enough to find stuff to question her about, right? Ah, oh, the wet floor sign. Keeping people alert and safe. I once, once I slipped on some spilled shoes at the grocery store. No wet floor sign at all. Luckily, Sonic was there to catch me. Ah, he's so cute. You and your little bestie, Sonic. Oh, God, if you're best friends with Sonic and Sonic dies, does that mean you would kill him? I'm just, like, trying to mentally prepare myself. <laughs> Whenever I'm playing, like, Danganronpa or Raincoat, I'm just like, what's the saddest outcome? Because that's probably what's going to happen. Luckily, Sonic was there to catch me. Wow, Sonic really is as fast as they say. But he was going so fast, he almost slipped on the juice. He slid into an older gentleman's shopping cart. <laughs> I like that sprite. He looks so silly. Well, it's the thought that counts, I suppose. Okay. Like cereal or something? What do you think, Tails? Want me to cook any of this for you? Cook is a very strong word for putting in the microwave. <laughs> when we get out of here, sure. I normally never make microwave meals. I prefer to cook. <laughs> you know, actually cook, not just fucking heat up ramen. My cast iron skillet has gotten a lot of use lately. I can cook a mean cast iron pizza. Haha. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. I've only had microwave lunches this week. <laughs> you know, so I'm basically a chef. Basically. Oh, trash can. There might be something suspicious there. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check here. Sadly, it's empty. But on the bright side, this is a very clean trash bin. How do I become as optimistic as this kid? <laughs> the shelf blocking your exit. It's currently not budging. Hey, Yamuki, uh, look closely at this. Oh, yeah, what the hell is that? A bike mark? A bite mark? <laughs> That's some boy dinner right there. Boy dinner. <laughs> they just didn't want the microwave ramen. I can't. <laughs> I can't believe them. I wonder how this side of the shelf got smashed. There's nothing the shelf could have fallen into, and I'm sure this damage wasn't here before. The train is too much upkeep. I feel like this is important. We should log it. Crack on the shelf is added to your inventory. Is there anything else I can investigate? Oh, this. Oh, uh, what's this? A rod? Oh, it's broken. The tip is broken. It looks to have originally been attached to something. I'm not sure if it's related to our mystery, but I like spinning it around, so we'll keep it. Stick is added to your inventory. I think we've found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Amy and find out what really happened. The mystery of how we got trapped in the closet. Uh, what's the latest? Start interrogation. Oh, shit! Oh, we're going Danganronpa style. It, it could have only been you. Amy, we believe you're hiding something from us. <laughs> what? You accuse me on my own fucking birthday? How dare you? This isn't going to be easy, is it? I've been stuck in here just like the two of you. What in the world do you think I'm hiding? Amy was awake before Tails and I were. What could she have done in that time? Let me look at my evidence. She bit the shelf. <laughs> no, it wasn't boy dinner. It was girl dinner. How could I have forgotten? Okay, I guess it has to do with maybe using this on the shelf. Some sort of stick on closer inspection. Could it also be a handle? Did she knock over the bookshelf? I don't really know why. Amy was awake before Tails and I were. What could she have done in that time? Mark and Mark away to chili dog. Attempted to escape murdered a suspect? Um. Are we really already jumping to murder? I feel like that's too, uh. <laughs> I feel like that's too. Too far to go. <laughs> too far to go already. It's too attempted to escape. I don't think you were settling idly while Yamuki and I were knocked out. I think, yeah, she tried to escape and accidentally knocked over the shelf and she's embarrassed to admit it. 
You attempted to escape the closet and prove it. Ugh, oh no, she got me there. Show me evidence that I attempted to escape or help me search for a way out. Show me some truth bullets, bitch. Do we have evidence to prove that? Yumuki, let me step you through this. First, find the correct piece of evidence from your inventory. Once that has been deduced, we must form our argument to fight back. All right, let's do this. What proves Amy attempted to escape the dining cart? Um, I feel like it's one of these. Probably this one, though. And some sort of sick and closer inspection. It could also be, oh, a handle. Did she break the door or something? I'm not quite sure this will convince Amy. Let's fucking try it again, you dumbass. What if it's proves Amy attempted to leave the closet? Okay, fine. Um, why some damage on the shelf is supposed to prove something? Um, it just fell over. Damage makes sense. You have no argument. You're just grasping. Grasping for straws. Um, okay, Tails, what now? Well, now I follow this train of thought. How does the crack on the shelf relate to Amy? So, now I have to explain myself. Well, uh, you see, um, she tried to jump her way out. <laughs> that was it. God. God, she's so smart. You guys thought she microwaved a chili dog. Now she was eating the bookshelf. <laughs> so, uh, uh, now I have to explain myself. Well, you see, um, you know, see what happened was, um, when I get stopped, I like to think. I like to, I don't know if you have a brain, um, Yamuki, but I personally like to think. Uh, what would Sonic do? Oh, WWSD. Oh my God, it's so true. <laughs> what would Sonic do? What would Sonic do? I don't know, man. He'd run fast. Sonic's a force to be reckoned with. He's always running forward, collecting rings, crushing badniks. We he never loses. Like an endless runner game. I play a lot of those on my phone. Oh, is this a little mini game? Yeah, yeah, sure, whatever works. Just close your eyes and think. What would Sonic do? <laughs> WWSD <laughs> and find your argument. All right, let's prove we're not grasping. Let's follow the train of thought and fire a comeback. Okay, this seems like the mini game time. What would Sonic do? He would run fast and come to a conclusion that way. Okay. Like what Sonic would do. Oh, oh no. Oh no, my game freeze. Okay. Whew. Oh, that was scary. Okay. Space. Okay, that's jumping. Go. Okay, cool. What's W do? It just kind of does that. Oh, whoa! Oh, oh, no! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Okay, okay, it's fine. I got too greedy. There we go. Do I spin on this thing? Oh, nice. Look at that. I don't know how to get all the rings, though. Oh. Oh, we got here! Whoa! Okay, so that's where the rings, you have to like collect a certain amount. Oh man, do you have to do 100% to beat that? <laughs> the original? <laughs> That'd be kind of hard, honestly. I feel like he's going kind of slow. Maybe if like, uh, maybe I did like W more or something? Uh, sure, the shelf fell, but there's nothing around for the shelf to fall into. It really is kind of like, <laughs> thinking time! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Talking about the Kamida quote. It does remind me of like, uh, What's that one mini game? Like the Hajime surfing mini game? Oh, thank you, Captain Draken. First stream I catch in months. Happy birthday. Oh my god, thank you so much. What a great birthday it's been. I know you guys were talking about Amy's birthday, but it's also my birthday. <laughs> thank you for stopping by. Yeah, glad you could make it to the stream. Um, sure, the shelf fell, but there's nothing around for the shelf to fall into. You're telling me on a train this well kept that the damage was here before we arrived? Um, well, I, um, I believe someone res is responsible for hitting the shelf. You just said nothing was around for the shelf to fall into. What was, what was the shelf hit with then? Boo, boo, the menu. <laughs> oh man, I missed my ace attorney badge. Oh, uh, what is that, a stick? You truly believe a stick could do this kind of damage? I think. Oh, we're back. Okay. Got to get 17 rings this time. Okay. This probably is going to get pretty. Oh, God. 
Okay, I got enough already. That's good then. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> Too soon. And well, if I look at this, look at it um, closely, you see, I think you've been twirling around on that stick a bit too much. You may be, you gotta collect more rings, dumbass. Let's try to follow that train of thought again, shall we? Okay, my bad. I didn't mean to fall. Oh yeah, let me do this side first, actually. This seems like, actually, maybe it was better to do the other side. Okay. I didn't realize it'd be like an automatic game over. I thought it would just be, uh, whatchamacallit. I don't even have to press space then. Okay. Do you do you do I thought it would be like Mario Kart where you get like a little parachute that brings you <laughs> that brings you back up. I thought you had to press jump when you hit the button too. You're right. Oh, you're right. A stick can't do this kind of damage to the shelf on its own. But if it's attached to something, but if it's attached to something, it could like let's say a hammer? Oh! It's just weird they said it looked like a leather. A leather? A, le a leather. <laughs> a lever or something. First try! Wow! Thanks, guys. Ack. This is not a stick at all, is it? This is actually the handle to your Pico Pico hammer! Oh! Okay, interesting. That's kind of cool they leave a hint to that to begin with, since, uh, you know, people like me wouldn't be familiar with her actual, like, weapon. Um, you attempted to hit the shelf out of the way, but you failed. The handle is your hammer snapping right off. Oh, Jesus, how, <laughs> how freaking, uh, I don't know, heavy is that bookshelf? You think, I don't know, you think the hammer would be strong enough, but I guess we'll see. Um, aha! Whoa, we did it! It's as you both said. I tried to get all, get us all out with my hammer, but I failed. I gave the shelf one big whack, and the handle ripped right off. I figured it was no big deal, and I tried to hide it, but I suppose my embarrassment got the better of me. She does look genuinely sorry about this situation. Never expected your hammer to snap like that, Amy. It was one of my backups. It's a little higher, lighter to carry around. I didn't think I'd need it. Well, lucky for you, I'm a detective, and I dabble as a mechanic. Let me see both pieces of the hammer. Just tighten things here, a little elbow grease there, and fixed! Oh my god, Tails, thank you. Look at how resourceful he is. Oh, thank you, Doppler Dragon. Uh, one, thanks for the donation, appreciate ya. Or is it the handle, too? Justice Hammer number four! Oh, shit! <laughs> That's so great. Thank you so much for the donation, appreciate ya. According to my calculations, if you hit the shelf right here, it should do the trick. All right, stand back. The top shelf completely shattered. Incredible. And we did it. We're free. Great job, Amy. Let's get out of here. Okay. Let's find Sonic's dead body. Oh, shit. Dude. I think the conductor is dead, too, honestly. Wait, is that... Oh, no. There he is. It... No. It can't be... <laughs> What would Sonic do if he saw Sonic dead? Oh god, I can't even come up with a way to figure this out. How do I even decide what he would do? Oh no, look at Tails though. He's so traumatized. Sonic! Someone murdered my darling Sonic. Looks like the game's begun. I'm finding out who did this at once. Amy, wait. I want to figure out who did this too. He's not... Is he really dead or is he just playing? Wait for me, Peter Griffin death post. <laughs> it really does look like the Peter Griffin death post. <laughs> I like how Amy's just assuming it's a joke automatically. I don't know, I think it's real. <laughs> right, because the train's all fucked up too. What a whirlwind, I'm exhausted already. That was really convincing, Sonic. It's crazy how he dedicated so much. He's even bleeding out. <laughs> wow, he's such a good actor. Uh, Sonic, oh shit. <laughs> Yeah, for real, I was like, Amy, Amy is way too, way too optimistic about this, especially after we got, like, freaking flung into a closet and stuff. I'd be like, maybe we should check, you know, make sure he's okay, at least not unconscious and bang his head on something. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, body numb, can't move. Is he gonna die right before our eyes? What are you saying? I don't understand. I just need to rest. Uh, Sonic! Sonic! Is he actually hurt? 
He's not moving. Are these wounds on him genuine? My hand's on his wrist. Oh, shit. He really is dead. Oh, God. Go fast. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, guys, but now it's my time to, to slow down. <laughs> oh, my goodness, Peanut. He's in here. He's using a litter box. You're just a little guy. You sad, Peanut? You sad, Sonic dead? My hand's on his wrist, but I don't sense a pulse. Am I doing this right? When the world's going on? Is this part of the murder mystery? <laughs> Damn, he's so good at acting. Or is this serious? Sonic! Sonic! Oh no, oh no, I feel myself panicking. Calm down, Yamuki. What do I do? I need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood? These guests are incredibly renowned, which means they must be remarkably rich. So I leave their care to you, Yamuki, my favorite employee. <laughs> you just hired me. Surely you won't let me down on this last ride. Surely you won't kill the hero of the nation on this ride. Oh, Jesus. Um, I need to catch up to Amy and Tails and get to the bottom of this. Even if it's part of the game, even if it's part of the game, I just can't risk it. I'll keep everyone safe, Conductor. He's already dead. <laughs> I like how optimistic you are, though. You'll see. After everything, it was like the chili dog that killed him. <laughs> Damn, Sonic's so good at acting dead. That's crazy. It's like he's really dead. Man, Tails looked, uh, so traumatized just from thinking that Sonic was fake dead. I don't know how he's gonna feel after, uh... <laughs> After, um, uh, Sonic's really dead. Whoa, look at this place. Amy, where are you? Hey, ta Tails, I want to see Tails, my little buddy. Hey, Mookie, I'm over here. Oh, thank you, Ice. A body has been discovered. <laughs> it sure has. I love how they're just, like, automatically assuming it's, like, not a body, though. They're just like, ah, Sonic, he's so good. He's so good at playing dead. I think Amy's already gone on ahead. It seems she's really excited. Did you see something from here? Um, yeah, just a question, really. Uh, is Sonic really good at hiding his pulse? <laughs> what if Sonic is actually hurt? <laughs> if Sonic wouldn't get hurt, he's literally Jesus to me. He's laughing. Sonic doesn't go down so easy. He's on a train full of his friends. Nothing would actually happen to him. That's so funny. I'm like, what is this poster? Who is this guy? Is he somebody from like the uh, normal Sonic games maybe? We're all just really committed to the mystery for Amy. You have nothing to worry about. Promise. Plus, Sonic's like snapping a lot of strange... <laughs> He likes to do that family guy pose when he naps. He loves napping on the floor next to spilled wine and broken glass. That's just him. He's making a lot of sense. <laughs> Is he? <laughs> Is he? Oh, Tails, you're so Delulu. You're just like me. This is why I knew I would love you from the beginning. But I can't shake what Sonic said to me. Is this really part of the murder mystery game or is there something deeper happening? I need more evidence to figure out what's going on. Can I tag along with you? It's my job to keep an eye on you. I feel like, I feel like we should like <laughs> try a little harder to convince him. I like how Yamuki's like, well, he did seem, <laughs> well, he did seem pretty dead, but it's probably okay. I'll tag along with you. If you don't mind, is it cool if I tag along with you? You're my favorite. Oh, of course, sure. Now if I ever need a snack, you've got me. Ah, uh, fair. As I said, the best detectives have sidekicks, so I'm happy to have you. If you ever catch me looking glum, though, just know it's because, uh, where's my lore card? It's because of Flicky or whatever. Oh, he's so cute. Look at his little card. Look at his little ears. He's so cute. I want a little Tails plush now. The last guy to work on a case with me ditched our practice to join evil Dr. Eggman. He's a fox, right, Tails? Do you think he'd be friends with Foxy? Would him and Foxy be besties? Not a problem, detective, without baggage. This is true. <laughs> Ye varmints. What are you? <laughs> He's really committing to the character. I love it. What are ye all doing in my saloon? <laughs> He's trying so hard to stay in character. It's actually kind of cute. 
Knuckles, we're trying to figure out who murdered Sonic. I can see that. Amy moseyed through and told me all about it. Cough. <laughs> Enough of that. I wonder how long he kept that voice up for Amy. <laughs> oh, he's just doing it for Amy. We were wondering if you could tell us what you were up to before the murder. Anything to help us establish your alibi and... Nope, I have nothing... Nope, I have nothing to tell either of you. <laughs> Leave me alone. Is he like Amy or something? Because <laughs> I feel like he's so, like, uh, I'm too cool for, like, anything unless Amy is involved. Then he's like, ye varmans, I do declare that Sonic be dead, you hear? He's obviously agitated about something. But why take it out on us? I know better than to argue with Knuckles, so it seems we're on our own. If you argue with Knuckles, you might get a Knuckles sandwich. <laughs> Yamuki, we need to figure out what Knuckles is up to while we were all apart. Let's investigate for clues and then interrogate. All right, let's do it. Okay, so I guess I do it in like each train car. This is so fun so far. I kind of wish they would make more games like this. <laughs> kind of wish it wasn't just a little Halloween thing. You gonna eat coffee beans like uh, what's his face shadow? Ah, oh, the bowl of nuts, the classic saloon snack. Okay, nuts. Crunch, 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 kind of bland. It's very important that I eat these. It's for the investigation. Huh, it seems like someone licked all the salt. Ew! Why didn't you tell me that before I started eating them? It seems like someone licked all the salt off them. What? Blech! <laughs> Patooey! Knuckles seems kind of like a weirdo too. I feel like him and Shadow could be besties, but I also feel like they're too similar, so they probably like don't get along. Or maybe they're just unsalted. <laughs> we should tell him that just to comfort him. Do you see anything, Train? Train Chan? The robotic arms here are really helpful. Beep boop. Beep boop. <laughs> What's the arm doing to my hair? He fixed it up a bit. That's incredible. What interesting tech. Uh, uh oh, should I fear for my job a little? How well can a microwave? Oh shit! <laughs> No, I'm the best microwaver in town. I know that. Oh, that's funny. The door is locked tight. We can't go any further. I wonder how Amy was able to leave then. Good point. When were these doors locked? And how long were they locked for? We'll have to keep this in mind. All the characters have weird tricks that make them lovable. Shadow is definitely the most edgy of the cast, though. Yeah, it does kind of seem like they all have pretty uh, fun fun traits. And Knuckles is canonly stupid. <laughs> Aw, is he just a little guy, too? Okay, um, oh, glasses. Oh, there's like red there, like lipstick or something? Yumuki, this is interesting. What is it? It's just a few used cups. Sure, but why are there three? Uh, Knuckles was really thirsty. Why is there lipstick? Uh, he wanted to feel pretty? Yumuki, this one has lipstick on the rim. That's not Knuckles' color at all. <laughs> That's not Knuckles' color of lipstick. He used coral blue number four. Someone else must have been here. We should log this. I guess, uh, was Amy wearing lipstick? Or, I feel like there was the other girls. They were probably wearing lipstick too, but I don't know. We'll see. Use cups are added to your inventory. Okay, let's look at the trash can. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check here. Sadly, this one's empty as well. I'm starting to think your theory on something always being hidden in the trash is kind of flawed. It's only a matter of time, Tails. Have faith. The deciding clue will be in a trash can. Just you wait. It's as they say. One man's trash is another man's treasure. Haha. <laughs> eh. I think Tails is ignoring me. <laughs> I've lost all faith in you. Breathtaking views. Okay, pretty. Where are those little guys? This train passes by some incredible sights. I'm just happy to be traveling at a normal speed. I get nauseous pretty easily. I have to avoid things like roller coasters. This was such a terrible job. Why would you choose this job if you get nauseous easily? Oh, uh, was it Rouge? Yeah, I was thinking. I couldn't remember her name, but I was like, I feel like Rouge. Didn't she have like red lipstick? I kind of feel like she did. She was the most likely to have it, I think, out of all the people on here. I'll never understand the. Oh no, I missed it. What did he say? I don't mind roller coasters, though I find myself running on the tracks more than I do riding in the carts. <laughs> oh, and a little weirdo. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> he's just a little weird guy. Oh, the arcade, too. Oh, we can look at this. Decent cash reward for finding this robot. Maybe I'll keep an eye out. Poor Oma Chow. Hate to see them like this. 
What'd they do? Medical malpractice. Oh, Jesus Christ. Interesting. Oh, man, he's just like that guy in Milgram. Uh, why can't I think of his name? Shido? Oh, howdy, partner! Oh, Spittoon Free Establishment. Coliseum Highway Zone. Okay, that's interesting. Can just change it. I like howdy, partner. Anything else besides Knuckles? Oh, yeah, in the arcade. I forgot about that one. Clearly, we won't be able to give the game Super Monkey Ball a try. But we think it broke when the train sped up. The damage is like more to be caused from punches. <laughs> oh, did Knuckles lose and punch the arcade out of uh, out of anger? Shido. I was like, I don't know why I couldn't think of his name for a second. I sent for him so hard. Who could have done that? Uh. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Who could have done that? It must have been Rouge. Uh. Um. Yeah. Uh, what are you two looking at? <laughs> Smashed arcade is added to your inventory. I think we found enough clues. Did Rouge like beat him at the arcade and then uh, he beat it up? Let's go interrogate Knuckles and find out what really happened. Okay, cool. I thought I told you to leave me alone. I like your hat. <laughs> oh my goodness. Humph. Shut up. Stop flirting with me. Ugh. Humph. Knuckles, are you blushing? I said, leave me alone, God. He doesn't look like he's used to being complimented. <laughs> Did you just adjust your hat a bit so he could see it better? Oh, he's so cute. I love Knuckles. He's so sundering. No, but, but let me push it forward a little bit more so you guys can see how cool I look. I said, leave, God. <laughs> oh, can I take your order? Um, not hungry. Well, if you ever are, let me know, won't you? Sure, like a butler of sorts, right? Oh, yeah, I guess we did take on the role of, like, the butler in a Clue game. That's kind of interesting. Come on, Yamuki, you're not a butler. Tell him that. Oh, yeah, like a butler. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you, butler. Dang it. Oh, I fucked up. Thought I told you to leave me alone. Okay, we can start the interrogation. Knuckles. Oh, yeah, let me save, too. I don't know if it matters too much, but just in case. Knuckles, Yamuki and I need to determine what you were doing during the hour the murder took place. I already told you, buzz off. You're not getting anything out of me. Thankfully, we don't need you to say much. What happened here is pretty obvious. It's always the butler. Is it always the butler? Oh, what hell of a butler. That was my first thought, honestly, when it came to that. God, it's been forever since I watched that show. Thankfully, we don't need to say much. What happened here is pretty obvious. Uh, <laughs> tell him, Yamuki! Are you the Tagami of this game? <laughs> it is? We have evidence, too. We do? <laughs> Yamuki, just take a good look at your inventory. What was distracting Knuckles during the time Sonic was murdered? The arcade? The arcade machine? Uh, <laughs> Doubtful. Oh, thank you. A big chunk of belongs in the trash. There's something funny about watching Weeby who knows next to zero about Sonic. Play this game with old Sonic characters and tons of references to Sonic lore. <laughs> My bad. I guess, uh, yeah, I guess there's not too much to do. I could have watched the lore video first, but, uh, I guess then I would have gotten more references. Oh, well, you guys can enjoy the references. <laughs> you guys can enjoy and point out the references for me. The Armacade machine. <laughs> Um, what makes you think I touched it? There's fucking punches all over it. And you have an anger problem. Okay. Okay. Woo. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is getting kind of scary. I don't like this game anymore. Okay, I got enough rings. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. <laughs> oh god. How many times am I able to get hit by those balls now that I think about it? Oh, you Mookies. Oh, that's cute. They add your name to it, too. This, is a, this isn't a tough one, Knuckles. Knuckles, you clearly touched the arcade machine because Super Monkey Ball is your favorite game. The arcade cabinet is covered in punches. Your hair was found at the scene. It's covered in punches and you got anger problems. Um, what evidence do you have that the damages are punches? <laughs> really? <laughs> Tails is like, this bitch face. 
<laughs> really? Come on, Knuckles. Your name's literally Knuckles. Thank you, Bree the Cookie Monster. Fun fact, in one of the official Q&As for Sonic characters, Eggman made a reference to Monokuma on one of them. Sega really loves making references. I do kind of remember, oh no, was it, was it Eggman that had the beef with Sonic? There was like some, like, weird beef with like, I thought it was a Sonic character in like Monokuma. Or maybe it was Eggman. Cause remember they posted it on Twitter or something. Cause I think I mentioned that like a reference video or something. That's so fun. Oh, Monokuma hates Sonic. That's what it was. Yeah, it was like he went on that rant about like, um, whatchamacallit, like hating Sonic and then like the Sonic Twitter decided to like respond to it. Um, um, what are y'all staring at my hands for? <laughs> <laughs> Knuckles, you clearly destroyed the arcade machine, but why? I needed a punching bag and none were available to me. So you admit it. Just a sudden urge to punch, huh? Kinda sounds like you might need some therapy. I believe repairing the arcade machine will give us our answer. How will you? I'm on it, Yamuki, distract Knuckles while I fix Super Mon Monkey Ball. How are you gonna do, I guess he said he was good at like fixing stuff, but. I don't know, man. <laughs> that looks pretty messed up. Bring it on. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> okay, just 21 rings. I can do this. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, okay. I thought it was going to hit me for a second. Ooh. Oofers. <laughs> we got this. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Oh shit, oh god, oh no, I couldn't tell, no! I couldn't tell what side it was on! Oh god! I'm dying! Ha huh, now, Tails, get away from that arcade cabinet! You make you try again! What would Sonic do? Okay, we can do this, we can do this, we can do this, just don't fall. I am curious, how many times can I get hit by that thing? Oh, I can move too while I'm in the air, that's nice to know. Oh shit. Sometimes I can't tell if it's in the middle or the side. Woo! Boo! Boo! Do, do, do. Boo! Do. Oh, God damn it! I did it again. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, okay. Just go to the. Just go to the inside. <laughs> just go to the inside. Oh shit! Okay, no. Okay, no time for water. No time for water. WWSD. Do, 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 do. Okay, it was on that side that time. Okay. Okay. There we go. Whew. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's okay. I'm not cooking. <laughs> okay. The arcade machine is fixed. No. <laughs> Don't look at the scores. Quick, look at the scores. I'm pulling it up now. Oh God, it's too embarrassing. Um, let's see. Oh, Nuck. Oh, Vector beat Nuck. So, I mean, you did pretty good, buddy. I don't know why you're so upset. Toast, apple, bread, ultim, bagel, candy. Okay, what does this tell us? Uh, nothing, obviously. It tells us something massive. Look at the name on the top of the list. It's Vector! He's supposed to be in the library car! Oh, was Vector wearing lipstick? The picture is beginning to be painted here. You completely, you competed with Vector to see who get the highest score. And Vector beat you! Ugh! Ugh! Knuckles just like me for real. <laughs> Jumping into the hole during Monkey Super Ball 2. Oh, by 1.2, damn. And in frustration, you destroyed the arcade cabinet. This is the conclusion we've reached. Grr. He's punching the air in frustration. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> You're so goofy, Knuckles. I like you. You're guessing. Where's your proof? Where's your evidence? Oh, 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 oh. Vector's, Vector's a common name. Prove to me he was here now. That's definitely Vector's lipstick shade. Okay, let's try this again. Don't jump in the hole, Weeby. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. Ho! Ho! Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. Do I get coins knocked out when I run into these? I wonder. Oh, shit. Okay. Ho! 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 Okay. <laughs> this game's 
scary. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's got a little ring in the uh, light bulb, too. That's cute. Now, Yamuki, what proves Vector was here with Knuckles? The lipstick! No! <laughs> I thought it was strange. There was more than one cup sitting next to you. While you were supposed to be participating in the murder mystery game for Amy's birthday, you and Vector enjoyed some drinks playing arcade. It's... Uh, it's not like it's not like that. You guys were on a little date, weren't you? Why are you blushing so hard if it wasn't like a date? It's not. No, I wasn't. I guess just really embarrassed about a score. Uh, don't don't tell Amy. I think we're on the right track here. Oh yeah, I guess he didn't want to disappoint Amy. It's as you say. Vector popped in at the top of the hour, wanting to play arcade machine with me. We went back and forth trying to figure the game out, but when we did, we competed for the... Oh, <laughs> but why do I sound so cute here for a second? We went back and forth trying to figure the game out, but when we did, we competed for the highest score. When he bested me, I destroyed the machine. No proof of his win! <laughs> oh, what a dork! Was it really... Was it really worth it to destroy the machine for that? <sighs> I was trying to fix the arcade cabinet before you two came in. Honest, I didn't want to be caught. God. <laughs> oh, Knuckles. And that's my story, an alibi. I already told you an abridged version. I already told an abridged version of this to Amy. But, uh, but in my version, I kind of won. And Vector was the one who punched the machine. Boy, this friend group has a lot of pride issues. Well, that explains one of the used cups. But well, what of the cup with a lipstick mark? Uh. <laughs> Do you like it? It was mine. <laughs> Rouge was in here too. Okay, so she was here. Ah! Uh, it's inconsequential, not worth mentioning. She searched around for something but failed, made fun of our game, and left. Obnoxious, that one. But you offered her a drink, apparently? Listen, I don't know why she showed up, and I've told you everything that happened before the train sped up. Are you not satisfied? Will you two relent? Um, I'm understanding the scenario. Vector visited to play games. Rouge couldn't find something and left. Then Knuckles destroyed the machine. That all makes sense to me. Thank you for answering so many of our qu- Actually, that's not everything. Is it, Knuckles? I like how intense Tails is. Ugh! Ugh. I want to st step back to something I noticed. One more name on that high score list doesn't make sense. Yamuki, can you take a look at this one more time? An odd name on the high score list. What is Tails talking about? Nug apple bread. Ultim? Maybe Ultim? Or was it toast? <laughs> Literally one point. Uh, that would have pissed me off too. I get you. Ultim? Um, I think their names have a th food theme, but this one. Who here goes by Ultim? You may not know, Yamuki, but there is someone here that goes by the title. The ultimate life form. Whoa, the ultimate student. The, the ultimate lucky student. A bagel. <laughs> Nagito was here. Oh, so Shadow. Damn, Shadow, you suck at Super Monkey Ball. There is really someone here that goes by that? Yeah, it was a title he created for himself. <laughs> he likes to think really highly of himself. Nothing sneaks by you, does it, bud? Vector and I... Vector and I were struggling so much with the game, but then Shadow dropped by, and he sucked way worse than us. So Shadow was here too. He taught us the game, was the first thing, first to get his name on the scoreboard. Vector and I then fought to beat Shadow's score. We're both very, they're both very annoying. You all immediately had to compete, huh? He gave me this before he left. Oh, a key. Shadow told me to lock the door and not to open it for anyone. Then he left. When Vector was leaving, I locked the door behind him. Saw no one else after locking the door. Does Shadow know that Sonic's dead? <laughs> Does he actually realize that? Wait, I forgot Shadow works at Starbucks in this game. What? He does look like a Starbucks worker. <laughs> That's the honest truth. So when Amy came through here not too long ago, did you open... Wait, so when Amy came through here not too long ago, did you open the door for her? Uh, no, I think she had some sort of key, too. Oh, yeah, she had the birthday key. Uh, that's right, the conductor gave her that special birthday key. Well, I have a lot of questions. 
What happened in the library to cause Vector to come here? Why is Shadow locking doors? And what was Rouge searching for? I don't know, they didn't tell me. Even though I asked with that cowboy accent. <laughs> I even did the accent and they still wouldn't listen. Why didn't you do the accent for us? You're gonna have to find them and ask them yourselves. Woo! Nice. More information than I expected to get there, but it seems we can move on. As of right now, I believe your story, Knuckles. We'll only know for sure when we confirm things with Vector. Fair enough. The library is ne the next car. I'll open the lock for you. Give over KO'd Sonic an earful for me, Detective Tails and Butler. I have a name! <laughs> I liked it better when he wasn't talking to us. Well, douche. Wait, Shadow is Eggman's uncle? <laughs> You're just screwing me in the chat now. <laughs> well, douche, Sheriff. Come on, you Mookie. Let's head to the library. On it. This is way more exciting than microwaving chili dogs. Yamuki! Oh, he's so cute. Coming! I love him so much. Knuckles is such a little guy, dude. He's so cute. Ready to mosey down the next car? No way, Dag Nabbit! You got it, partner. I guess the investigation can wait a little longer. Can I get any more uh, combos with you? <laughs> Ye varmints better pull up chalks, I say! Understood, Sheriff! I did not understand that. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> Just like Teruya for real. <laughs> what does this even mean? Ye varmints better pull up chalks. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just say you understood. <laughs> Just pretend. <laughs> Ready to mosey down the next car? You got it, partner. Onwards! Oh man, this game is so cute. <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> I love Knuckles, dude. He's so funny. Library car. Oh, hey, it's got the conductor, it kind of seems like, on the uh, the picture there. And then that one's kind of knocked over. Hang in there! I guess that might be like another little creature from uh, Sonic or something. All this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Everyone's favorite journalist reporter, Amy Rose, is hot. Oh, everyone's favorite journalist reporter, Amy Rose, is hot on the scoop. I'm heading out. You've been fabulously helpful. Alrighty, before you go, SQ and I wanted to give you your presents. Uh, my presents? Oh my god, on my birthday? That's crazy. You're both so sweet. Thank you. Oh, my vector. It seems we have more guests. Amy, there you are. Have you found any leads? Want to join us in finding clues? Found any leads yet? Oh, the detective pair needs help from the birthday girl. Oh, you know, I just noticed her little boa is kind of like Sonic colored. Well, oh my god, was it you who killed Sonic and then turned him into a bow? Oh, I fucking knew it. Is that what you call those? A boa? The little, like, you know, thing you drape it across? As she knows, everyone's allowed to be sassy on their birthday. Uh, this tip is just too juicy to ignore. I'll see y'all around. Don't worry, Sonic. I'll be the one to avenge you, and quick. But how are you gonna leave? The door to the next car is locked. Oh, you doubt the birthday girl? <laughs> I got this special birthday key. The birthday girl has a master key. Right, right. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. Of course, it's a birthday privilege. I'll solve this case before anyone else. <laughs> Bye! Amy may be hasty, but she's thorough. Now, what are you two doing? Looking mighty suspicious, I say. I'm the detective, so I can't be the murderer. And I'm, uh, I think technically not playing this game? <laughs> Just making sure things go well. Here to ask if anybody's hungry. Starved! I'd kill for a chicken parmesan right about now. You got any of those microwave chicken parmesan meals? No, we're not that fancy. Maybe kill isn't the right language to use right now. Let's be sensitive to Sonic. I'm Vector the Butcher. I'm licensed to handle raw meat. And I'm Espio, the poet. Ah, poetry. A resonant message from poet to reader. Made to challenge our delicate perspectives with the most rhythmic of prose. Can I hear some? Um, I, I don't actually have any. <laughs> it's gonna reminds me, um, what was that girl? I think her name was like Lisa or something. And, um, crap, what was the game with the kitty? I can never remember names of stuff. The game with the cat, the sad cat game that I played like a year ago. A night? Something? God dang it. I don't know why I can't think of it. But there was all these that girl Lisa you'd go up and she would be talking 
and like uh, their poems. Like, Dare Diary. <laughs> oh, I loved her emo poems. Sure, um, teardrops in the spring. Can you hear me sing? La la la. D D D D. Boo, you suck. Nine the woods. That's what it was. I don't know why I couldn't think of it. Was that it? I still need to play Stray, actually, honestly. I have more if you like. Cherry blossoms in the spring. <laughs> um, I'm satisfied for now, thanks. At least he's rhyming, I suppose. <laughs> it feels like using la 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 and DDD is kind of a cheat. <laughs> it's kind of cheating. Yumuki and I are here to establish both of your alibis. Can you walk us through what happened after Amy had everyone leave the dining car? Ah, uh, sure, it's simple. We just explained this to Amy, actually. Oh, yeah, we have, um, I guess we can kind of see all the rooms. So there was Sonic in this room. Man, how did Sonic end all the way up here, now that I think about it? I guess we got shoved into the closet, too. I don't know where the closet's at, now that I think about it. Well, I guess it's kind of hard to know. But he was found in this room, right? Let me save, too. I feel like my computer has been a little, a little sussy. Thank you, big chunk of belongs in the trash. Lore, Shadow was created by Eggman, Grandpa, and Space Lucifer to make ultimate life for him. So Shadow is technically, technically is Eggman's uncle. What the hell? God, I feel like the Sonic lore video is going to be such a trip. <laughs> technically is Eggman's uncle and he has two dads. We love that. LGBT rights. What the hell? How... Created by, okay, Shadow was created by Eggman, Grandpa, and Space Lucifer. Okay, so he was made, okay, okay, now I think I, now I think I'm following the train. The train of thought. When we're all sent off, Rouge, Blaze, Shadow, and Sonic all pass through the library car. Where Amy told me an SBO to stay. I promptly picked a, I promptly picked a book off the shelf and made myself comfortable. Vector got bored, so he left to see what Knuckles was up to in the saloon car. Yep. Where was Rouge? We happened to see her lipstick stain on a cup in the saloon car. Rouge came over to the library card, seemingly looking for something sussy. When she went to search the saloon car, she came back shortly after we heard her shout, No way! At the brochure, stand over there. Okay. But she left back to the casino car before Shadow came through and locked the door. I wonder what she found. She's obviously been on the hunt for something. After Rouge left, Shadow walked through the casino car, then entered the library car and locked the door behind him. I feel like a lot of games, like with, I don't know, a lot of games, or like, I guess game franchises that have a lot of installments in the series, just like the lore gets like so fucking crazy. <laughs> so I feel like it's mostly for like, um, cause I feel like it is mostly for, um, what's the word? Like, I don't know, I usually hear about it like, you know, a series like Kingdom Hearts, Sonic, Kirby, I don't know, does Mario have complicated lore? I could see that having, like, complicated lore, too. Metal Gear Solid, that's another one I always hear about having, like, super <laughs> complicated lore. I think it is just, like, you start making so many games, you're trying to explain stuff, and it just starts getting kind of weird. Then we, then entered the library car and locked the door behind him. Somehow Mario is still kind of normal, interesting. More importantly, why has Shadow been locking doors? Um, Shadow walked through the library car to the saloon car, where Knuckles and I were playing games. He insisted on showing us up at the Monkey Super Bowl. I got so engrossed by rolling monkey action, I hardly noticed when Shadow left the saloon car. I guess he walked to the library car and the casino car again, locking the door behind him. I feel like Rouge and Shadow are the sussiest so far, but I feel like, are they like, I don't know, are they too suspicious though to have done it, you know what I mean? Then I returned to the lounge car, where he was meant to be stationed. When Vector came back, we realized Knuckles locked the door to the saloon car. We were stuck in the library car. Okay. That's when the train sped up. We were worried about the bookshelves falling on us, but we got through it all right. Okay, I think I'm kind of following along. He sat trapped. We sat trapped here until Amy arrived, asking questions. She's the one that told us someone murdered Sonic. And yeah, that's all that happened. Um, with all these locked doors, it seems Vector and Espio couldn't have left the library car or the saloon car. Because it seems like we cleared Knuckles, we're clearing these guys. So yeah, I was like, I mean, there is uh, some other characters, I guess. But it does seem like Rouge and Shadow are the most sussy. But yeah, it's almost like too, too sussy. 
I was gonna say something else too. I think I lost my train of thought. <laughs> It'll come back to me later, maybe. Now I remember. It'd be so funny if like we go into the next car and like somebody's pretending to be dead. <laughs> They're like, ah! and it's like, wait, I thought Sonic was the one who got pretend killed. Oh, wait a second. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Thank you both for your cooperation. We're just gonna peek around and we'll return with any questions. Maybe the person that murdered Sonic did just get the murderer card. They just didn't realize it was a game. They were like, I gotta finish the job. If you return with it, with any meat, I'll chop it up for you. And if you'd like to be serenaded with a poem, I've got you covered too. Oh, the sparkles. Thanks, guys. Their alibi seems solid enough, but we should still search for clues. What we're looking for is any evidence that proves what they're saying is true. We need to confirm we need to confirm Vector's reason for leaving his past and determine if SBO uh, leaving his post and determine if SBO was actually in the library car reading. A tall task, but we can do it. F fa what was that? FGO lore? What is that one? Fate. Oh, I've heard yeah, I feel like I've heard fate has really complicated lore too. I feel like I've like I think I have a friend who's really into fate but I don't know too much about it. Absolutely. Okay, this does seem like kind of a bigger one. Uh, I like this poster, it's cute. A chow hangs precariously from a tree branch. The large text below reads, reads hang in there. Wow, I really need to see this. <laughs> Damn, this is so deep. I'm 14 and this is deep. This this little child is hanging in there, refusing to use his wings to fly to safety because choosing the hard way is often the most rewarding. That's beautiful. Oh God, I'm crying. If this child can stick to his principles and find strength, then I can too. What would Chow do? There's no way there was that much thought put into this poster. <laughs> yeah, right? Ah, oh, he's just really into it. He's so cute. He's such a little guy. Okay, I guess we look at the brochures. Oh, brochures, because it was, uh, somebody looked at these and then, like, was like, no way. There are travel destination ideas here, like amusement parks, caverns, hotels, restaurants. Oh! Yamuki, look at this. There's a couple of maps here. This seems to be a map of the library car. The books are categorized by genre, which are listed here. I love a good overhead map. Let's take it. Library map has been added to your inventory. Uh, should we take this brochure about a cave too? Look, there is stalactolites. I don't think I said that right. <laughs> now nah, leave it. Oh, uh, yeah, that's that, that's fair. Nobody shares my fondness for caves. Damn it! I thought I met a kindred spirit, but maybe not. Oh, the trash can. There's always <laughs> something's always hidden in the trash can. Let's check here. I'm starting to doubt your logic here. I hate to say it, but there's nothing here. I really want you to be right someday. Even I'm rooting for you. Uh, I really thought there'd be something there. Yamuki, are you sad there's nothing in the trash bin? <laughs> Can you just like put something in the trash bin for him, Tails? Oh, whoa, this for sure we just picked up. We found it in the trash can too. That's crazy, whoa. <laughs> no, no, I'm all right. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure there'll be something interesting hidden in the trash bin we find next. You really think so? Um, yeah, we just gotta stay optimistic. Yeah, okay, these trash bins hide a secret. <laughs> I'm sure of it. <laughs> Yamuki, you're pretty unconventional, but I like that. <laughs> you're so nice, Tails, trying to, trying to like, I don't know, like, uh, what's the word? Encourage me. What was that? Uh, was that supposed to be a compliment? Uh, can I change these? Chaos Cola, check out our book club. Book of the month, gone gal. Okay, um, okay, table. Now let's just take a pause and sit for a second. These chairs are really comfy, so plush. Puts me right in the mood to read. Makes me want to take a nap, personally. In fact, maybe I'll rest my eyes a bit. Yamuki, no, don't fall asleep! And don't go towards the light! There's been a murder, remember? If I had a ring for every time a murder ruined my nap time. <laughs> if only. What it? I guess I'll learn in like a Sonic lore video what the rings like stand for, but like what even are the rings now that I think about it? We're just talking about collecting these things like it's, I don't know, something important. Oh, poor thing, that arm is really struggling cleaning up this car. 
To be fair, I wouldn't want to clean up this mess either. This is a really big car. Such a fancy train. Especially to only have microwave ramen. <laughs> oh, hey, Weeby, can you handle Team Fort Team Fortress 2 lore? Oh, yeah, I think I saw Blaze reacted to, like, a Team Fortress video once. That could be interesting to check out, too, honestly. Yeah, probably for the best. The rings are rings. No way! <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. A globe of our marvelous planet. I haven't traveled much around much. The islands are fun and all, but I'd love to visit some of the countries. They're a lot of fun, honestly. Plenty of wonderful people and shops. The food can't be beat either. They're, they're just rings. <laughs> Is that it? Uh, sounds perfect for a vacation. The conductor was talking about Sagponia, if you've ever been there. I have, actually. If you're ever visiting, be sure to stop at the university and say hi to Professor Pickle. Oh, their currency. Okay. He'll tell you everything about the area that makes... And makes one scrumptious sandwich. I'll keep that in mind, thanks. This group knows everyone and has been everywhere, haven't they? God, they're so rich. They're so elite. So many books on the ground. I wish we had time to pick them all up. We have one of these guys doing, making a mess in here. I guess it could have been from the train, you know, messing up or whatever, too. I sadly have no interest in picking up these books. A lot of these were knocked out by the train speeding up. But Rouge pulled a lot of these out, too, searching for something. Oh, interesting. See, she is so sussy. What reckless behavior. I feel sorry for the poor books. The spines are creasing. They're opening too far. Oh, no. We got to revive these books. They're almost gone. A body's about to be discovered. Okay. Um, anything else? Oh, hey, here's this book. What's this bright red book? Oh, yuck, it reeks of evil scientist Dr. Eggman. Oh, my God, is this, like, his... What is it? Like, his autobiography? Uh, he can give his tragic backstory, his trauma dump. Yep, this is Dr. Eggman's... Oh, it really is! <laughs> Dr. Eggman's autobiography and recipe book. Why? Why a recipe book? Uh, what kind of recipes? Who cares? I wouldn't trust any book he's written. It's weird this is even here. Maybe people just appreciate an omelet. You may not be wrong. It's like, is it <laughs> they all egg recipes? Or is he like, no, you can't. You can't eat the eggs because that's a part of me. That's cannibalism. Okay. Um, Can I click on anything else? Oh, I guess I can re-click on some of this stuff. That's kind of interesting. I guess I'll talk to these guys first. Fancy a poem. Can I get a poem about space? A poem about trains. Let's do trains. Locomotive in motion. I think I lost my lotion. <laughs> Whoa. Damn, that's so deep. The windows show the ocean. Oh, wait. There's my lotion. Oh, my God. I was on edge. Chills. Chills. This poem was so beautiful. <laughs> God, I was on the edge of my seat. I was like, will he find his lotion? I don't know. Um, thanks. <laughs> I think. I actually really like that one. Huh? <laughs> Can I take your order? I have a poem about this. My starved stomach babbled, though I ignored the grumbling tummy, for the eggs I received are scrambled when I asked for my eggs. Sunny. Oh, God, oh. Shit, that was so good. <laughs> this one I think was better, actually. Oh, and we don't serve any eggs on the train, though. My talent is wasted on you lot. Nobody gets me. <laughs> Nobody gets my artiste. My artistry. Fancy a poem? Yeah, let's get another one. Will it be? Poem about space. I love these. They're so goofy. I've made it up to space with my beloved antique vase. But a mistake in my haste dropped the base vase for my embrace. So my antique I must now replace. <laughs> See, what does this have to do with space? This has more to do with a vase than space. He just mentioned space once and he was like, I guess, <laughs> a close enough. What caused you to drop the vase? In the lack of gravity, make the vase be okay? Don't read too deeply, it's just a poem. He hasn't thought it through, has he? He's just making this shit up on the, st on the fly, isn't he? I don't think we have enough evidence yet. Why don't we look around a little more first? Okay, very well. Okay, let's talk to this guy. Did you bring me any meat to chop? I may be a butcher, but they confiscated my meat cleaver before getting on the train. You actually tried to bring a knife on the train? I'm a man of authenticity, Tails. I truly butchered something right before, 
right before I got on this train. What did they eat, by the way, now that I think about it? Did they eat the little chow guys? Because if he's a butcher, it's like... I mean, I assume there's probably, like, chicken characters, too. <laughs> I feel like that would kind of make them cannibals if it's, like, you know, uh... I don't know. <laughs> They're all animals. I'm a man of authenticity tales. Without a knife, I'm just a chief, a chef in a ketchup-stained apron, not a butcher. Oh, it's ketchup. <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. I think if you had a knife on you, we'd definitely think you were the murderer. Huh, but what if I hid the knife? Can't you just get, like, a toy knife? You know, I'm not the biggest fan of this line of thought. Maybe Sonic's like, uh, you know, like Disney, how there's like Pluto? There's like Goofy's a dog and then Pluto's a dog, but for some reason, like, Goofy just owns Pluto and it's like never talked about. <laughs> One does not eat a chow. <laughs> I don't know, it's just a guess. I may be a butcher, but oh, shoot. Try to bring. Okay, okay. It's just the same thing. I thought maybe. Don't think we have enough evidence. Okay. Let's, uh, click on this stuff again. A chow hangs precariously from a tree, man. I need to see this. Damn, this was so fucking deep. Shadow supposedly walked through the library car before going to the saloon car. Okay, so I guess... I just thought I would say I couldn't leave or something. When Shadow left the library car, he knocked the store on his way out. Isn't Corbon Blue, like, chicken or something? Isn't that... We serve that on this train, right? When Shadow left the library car, we he locked his door on his way out. There's gotta be a reason he's doing this. Should we make a note of it? Yeah, I do believe we should. Shadow's lock is added to your inventory. Okay, so I think you got two things now, right? It's probably good enough. Fancy a poem? God, no. Oh, we still don't have enough? Okay. Very well. To that, chair, globe. Kinda weird that some of these you can click on again. Okay, cause I was like, maybe I get something if I click on it again? Eh -eh -eh. Oh! Duh, I can go this way. <laughs> That's what I was missing! Okay. Wow, I wish I could stop and look at all these books! But Sonic needs me, no time to rest! Alright, let's move on then. Um, well, I mean, a little peek wouldn't hurt. He's scavenging through all the book titles excitedly. He's like a kid in a candy shop. Or in this case, a genius in a train library. That's odd. I know some books have fallen out on the floor and everything, but every book on these shelves is in alphabetical order, but this one. Oh. The Mirage Express Manual. Ooh, now that's sussy. It's the user guide to the Mirage Express, the train we're currently on. D do you think someone found it on the ground and put it back? Maybe, but it is interesting. Maybe Shadow got that since he's going through all the train cars and stuff. Let's take note of this. Mirage Express manual is added to your inventory. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Fester and Espio to find out what really happened. Oh yeah, thank you. A big chunk of belongs in the trash. <laughs> Laura, Vector, Espio, and their not here friend Charmy, the B run a detective agency. They're called Chaotix. Vector likes music and SBO is a ninja. Okay, interesting. Thanks for the uh, lore updates. Very interesting. Let's do Mikado first. I mean, not Mikado. <laughs> How serious it gets. So the two of you don't believe us, eh? It's not that I don't trust either of you, but I wouldn't be a proper detective without examining the validity of your alibis. What even did we find in here? We found... Library map, an overhead map of the layout of the library. Shelves and tables included. I like the song. Ba -doo, ba -doo, doo -doo. Shadow's lock, a lock that supposedly Shadow has been placing on multiple doors on the train. An exhaustive manual of the Mirage Express, many features and capability. Doesn't seem to mention how to drive the train, which would have been neat. Oh, it doesn't mention that. Because yeah, I was kind of thinking the conductor was dead too. It's not that I don't trust either of you, but I wouldn't be a proper detective without examining the validity of your alibis. Yamuki and I are here to confirm two things. Why Vector left to go play games with Knuckles and if SBO really was reading in the library car. Vector, we'll start with you. Why did you leave the library car to visit Knuckles? We're prepared to present evidence if needed. Oh, that's easy. I got bored. <laughs> ah, such a simple answer! Um, what? I wasn't entertaining him enough, it seems. Vector enjoys being social. I'm not good enough, I guess. 
Plus, we were instructed to mingle. I remember the arcade machine in the saloon car, so I figured I'd go check it out. This seems to line up with the information we gathered with Knuckles. Then that brings our attention to you, Espio! Rouge entered the library car, found something, then left. You said you immediately started reading, but were you actually reading the entire time you were in the library card? Of course he was! You weren't even there! How do you know? Uh. Once Espio starts reading, he doesn't stop till it's done. I've seen it happen. It must have been a good read. What was the book? Um... Espio doesn't owe you that, detective. <laughs> he was reading Yowie! Let the man live! He doesn't owe you that! He was reading Fifty Shades of Grey! <laughs> reading the Twilight Saga! What if it was embarrassing, and I bet it was, because I saw it. What kind of things do you think I read? If you won't talk, I have a hunch on what kind of book it might be. Gimuki, would you help me out? All right, Gimuki, what book do we think SVO may have been reading? He was reading the library map. No, I'm just kidding. Probably the Mirage Express manual, right? Library. I guess if it's not this, it's probably that one. A manual? You think Espio was reading instructions? What argument could you possibly have to support this? Think! Oh god, what would Sonic do, Weeby? I'm nervous! Oh shit! <laughs> I didn't do it! You... <laughs> I pressed space, but nothing happened! Maybe I was too late. Maybe I was too late. You were both grasping, I knew it. We got this, just fucking try, okay? <laughs> okay, this space is like, just making sure. Be -do -do, do -do -do -do. Okay. Uh, oh, damn it, I wanted to get the coins. Oh, what the hell is that? What does that mean? Oh God! Oh shit! <laughs> I, was like, I feel like that's not good. Uh-oh. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, everything's trying to kill me in this game. Ah! Okay. <sighs> okay. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh my god. There are books scattered around the floor, sure, but the remaining books on the shelves were all in alphabetical order. I'll accept this manual. Meaning someone at the very least pick the manual up and put it back in the incorrect place. Uh um. This lack of attention to detail isn't normally like you, SBO. God, I can't believe I got that first try yet again. Hey now, hey now. This is what dreams are made of. I can't see hey now and not think of that song. I won't have you insulting my pal like that. Calm down, Vector. I know you mean well, but I can handle myself. Apologies, Espio. <laughs> They're such a little tag team. Are they like besties in actual Sonic? A butcher and a poet. A butcher and a poet friendship can form anywhere. That is indeed the book I was reading, the Mirage Express manual. Trains are cool. In that case, we'd like to ask you a few questions about the manual, Yamuki, if you don't mind. Ugh. Could you ask Espio some questions about the manual? Just flip to any page and ask away. Oh, I see. Quiz Espio about the manual at per to prove he read it. Which page should I quiz him on? Okay. Oh yeah, they are, um, they are friends. Does it say anything about, okay. I guess, does it matter what I choose then? <laughs> I ship it low key. Okay, they are besties though, that's cool. Page 14, 362, 97. Is there like a number significance here? None of these are funny numbers. If there was like a page 69, I would do that one. We'll do this one. Um, what efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms, during events they can perform a various of tasks. Damn, he's smart! And are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes afterwards. I remember the conductor saying the train can clean itself. Now I have a feeling the train company didn't want to hire any janitors. The robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought onto the train, ensuring passengers' safety. Dang, dude, he's literally got a, uh, whatchamacallit, like photographic memory. C 
seems like SPO aced that question. You okay? Hit him with another one. Oh, okay. Which page do I choose? Oh, I can do a different one. Um, I know it's like there's no 11037 page. <laughs> if only we'll do 89. What is the Mirage Express's cancellation policy? No refunds, and you'll be charged with a no-show fee. This does not apply if you're over the age of 65. Gee, the person who made this rule must have been over 65. <laughs> See, I'm telling you, dude, old people be evil like that. Last one, Yumuki. Let's see if SPO can go three for three. Gotcha, which page did I pick last? 56. Uh, well, if you move the two, it's kind of like 420, so we'll go with that one. What was implemented to support the conductor duties and ease general chain obligations? An intelligent data processing system. Oh my god, he is so smart. I don't feel like we have to quiz him anymore. He knows. He knows what he's talking about. It works in tandem with the conductor to assure smooth travel for guests. If I would have read that book, I would have just fallen asleep. <laughs> but like, nope, I can't. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. I remember this. The train has an autopilot, but it can't access its full suite of capabilities without the conductor present. Uh, did I pass your little test? <laughs> no! <laughs> what happens if I say no? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I answered everything right! I hate to say it, but no! You were supposed to get them wrong! It was... It was a trick test! What the hell? <laughs> Just goofing, you passed. I completed your test with ease. All my efforts were only to please. You joked and japed, said no to my face. Now I wish you were riddled with fleas. Oh, that's too tread. Don't wish that on me. Did he just rhyme a curse at me? <laughs> you clearly read the manual. Those answers feel far too specific to be guesses. And you both had the nerve to question my body like that. My best friend. Don't we want to be supporting folks who read? You have to admit, though, reading the entire time a murder occurred does sound a bit suspicious, even if true. But he answered all my questions so calmly. That's very impressive. No, no, I understand. Everyone's cautious attitudes. Vector was the only one to see me reading, after all. My alibi is hard to substantiate, despite being the truth. I mean, Vector left for a little bit, didn't he? I still feel like, you know, him, like, watching him was not really that... <laughs> was not... It wasn't that close. I don't know. It wasn't like that substantial of evidence. Ah! Well, you definitely read through the manual, so I suppose we can... Espio, is that true? Vector was the only one to see you reading... Oh, yeah, Rouge was in here too, right? Yes, that's correct. Problem? Frankly, I don't believe that can be true. And we have evidence to back it up! Yamuki! <laughs> Tell him, Yamuki! <laughs> you really are, Tagami. He always puts me on the spot. Okay, Yamuki. I think we should have a piece of evidence to link to someone who also saw SBO reading. <coughs> but what? Oh, Shadow, right? Since he came in here. We haven't used the library map yet, though. I feel like, wasn't, wasn't Rouge reading the library map? A Shadow's lock? Please, pray tell, what has this to do with anything? We are up, Yamuki. Let's get our argument together. Oh, god dang it. Okay, okay. Okay, <laughs> scared. 35? Oh god. Okay. Okay. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. Okay, we're good. Woo! Nice. Oh shit! Oh god! <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh god. Okay. 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 We're good. Oh shit! Oh god damn! Oh no! I lost my rings! Damn it! Oh, that's so sad. That's so tragic. Okay, let me just try to chill. Just try to survive, Weeby. Just try to fucking survive! Just try to fucking survive! Okay, 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 we're good! Yay! Actually, a first try that time. Okay. Shadow walked to the library car to get to the saloon car where he set the original high score on the arcade machine. Yeah, but I ended up beating it. It wasn't the high score long. <laughs> I kind of have number one. <laughs> it's no big deal. Crocs on natural gamers. <laughs> Gamer. SBO said he saw Shadow into the library cart, but he's mentioned nothing about Shadow's return. He only mentioned that Vector came back. When Shadow left Knuckles and Vector in the saloon car, SBO was fully seated reading his book for a good while at this point. Oh! Um we know Shadow had to walk through the library car when he left 
the saloon car. So there's absolutely no way Shadow and Espio didn't notice one another on Shadow's return trip. Um, I mean, it was a simple slip up. I was just fully immersed in my book. I, I didn't even notice Shadow or how handsome and suave he is. You're telling me the sound of doors opening and locking wouldn't have caused you to look up? Oh, well, you see, uh, why is everybody so sussy in this game, even when they're not murdering? <laughs> I can sense Espio's desperation here. Defending the argument that he was reading the entire time isn't easy. So if you did see Shadow returning from the saloon car to lock all the doors, then at that moment, were you really in the library car at all? But how would Espio leave? Shadow locked all the doors and no one saw Espio in the saloon car. It's a mystery, my dear Yamugi. <laughs> You're so cute playing Sherlock. One that I would love for Espio to solve. You gotta believe me. That cool demeanor is vanishing. I was so involved in my book. I mean, God, I was just so entranced in the plot of the, Miss, the Mirage Express <laughs> manual that, you know, I just, I was so engrossed in it. I couldn't, I couldn't bring myself to look up. Thank you, someone unknown. Monokuma voice. But can you collect 35 rings? Oh, oh! <laughs> I miss Monokuma. Thanks for the donation, appreciate ya. I was so involved in my book, I didn't notice. Shadow passed back the library car, honest. When back to return, he had just tapped me on the shoulder to get my attention. Yeah, I think I remember doing that. I must avenge my friend's death, so I'll ask you again, SBO. If you weren't there for Shadow to see you reading, then how did you leave the library car? I wasn't. I didn't. Why doesn't this seem right to me? Tails definitely feels like he's onto something, but I don't see it. Was Espio simply sitting reading, or did he somehow vanish to not notice Shadow's return to the library card? What should I do? Defend Espio. I'm gonna join my boy Tails. Come on. No, I can't interrupt Tails while he's onto something. He definitely does seem to be lying. I don't really know why, though. I'll let him continue his line of questioning and... Oh, here we go. Yamuki, my favorite and beloved employee, please protect the passengers aboard this train. Oh, you got to We don't let the conductor get in our head and not defend our boy... Not defend our boy tails. If you fail the lawsuits... <laughs> That's the only, the only thing I care about. If you fail, the lawsuits will be torturous. It'll suck real bad. So don't allow such an old feeble soul to get sued. I don't give a shit if these people die or not. I have to make sure our guests are taken care of. I have to speak up. Tails! Um, we have to piece evidence that can answer all of our problems. All right, my fellow associate, lay it on me. What piece of evidence shows Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another? Uh, the library map? I guess if you're like hidden by a certain wall, I would assume as much. Couldn't have seen each other. Look at the train map, right? Probably this one. All right, now let's get my thoughts in order. Think! Oh god, here we go. Okay, okay, okay. We can do this, Sonic. We can fucking do this. I believe in us. Oh god! <laughs> Damn it! Did you feel close, you Mookie? Did you feel fucking close? <laughs> I don't think you did. No, I felt so... God, I almost won that one. <laughs> Let me give it another... I'm waiting too long to press space. I just like to, you know, make sure I'm gonna get over the edge. <laughs> Let me give it another go. <laughs> okay. We can't do it, Sonic. How about we just say that? We can't do it. Oh, God damn it, no! <laughs> okay, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. I trust in the heart of the cards. That'll help me in this for some reason. Okay. Man, I kind of want to get the other ones. It's okay, though. It's okay. We can still do this. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. Okay. I don't have to get to the edge. Can I? Man, I had plenty of time to get those stupid rings. Okay. Okay, I gotta risk it for the biscuit a little bit more. Oh, shit. Okay. Ooh. Oh, here we go. Here we go! Ooh, 51 coins! You guys ever seen that? 
I bet you guys have never seen that in a Sonic game. You know me, I'm just a pro gamer, so that's just me. That's just the life that I live. <laughs> First try, yet again. <laughs> oh god. Sonic already died once, and yet I keep, <laughs> keep killing him over and over again. The library map. Oh. Oh, I see. See the exits? They're right across from one another. A straight path. If Shadow walked down the straight path, there's a way Espio and Shadow couldn't have seen one another. Looks like you have a point. Oh, where exactly on the map you mean? Um, is this like a bookshelf or something? Is that? So like right there, I guess, maybe? Where could Espio have been for Shadow to not see him? Here. Interesting, that's where I was sitting reading my book. Oh, I can second this when I returned from the saloon car. Espio was in the same spot. I guess he was just being so defensive because we were like accusing him of lying when he was like, I wasn't lying, I swear I didn't see, I didn't see Shadow. That confirms it then. You see, Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another from this spot. Because a bookcase is in the way. There's no way Shadow could have seen Espio or vice versa. It makes a lot of sense why you never mentioned Shadow's return, Espio. There's just no way you could have seen him. I apologize for losing my cool back there. I felt like I was gra grasping despite telling the truth. Oh yeah, I am curious. Who is everybody's favorite Sonic character? Y'all can let me know in the chat. But I'm glad you all believe me now. Your alibi isn't the most air type, but I have no further questions. Thank you for answering all our questions. We did it. Another pair of alibis validated. Another time not killing Sonic at all in that minigame. God, I did so good. Too many locked doors to worry about, but I'm glad everything straightened itself out in the end. Well, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna crash here for a bit. These chairs are so comfy. Likewise, I could use a breather. Hey, you didn't even have to do any of the ring collections. You just did your stupid poems. I'm the one who's tired and needs a freaking nap. Sadly, our work isn't done. I have plenty of questions for Rouge and especially Shadow. I think so far, Tails and Shadow. Oh, and Knuckles. I think those three are my favorites. They're so funny. Oh, I see. The door next to the car is open. Amy must have kept it open when she passed through earlier. Then that's our cue to leave. See you later, Vector and Espio. Give him heck. Oh, you can't say that, Vector. This is a child-friendly stream. You can't say the H word. And if you need any meat chopped up, just say the word. Chow meat, that is. <laughs> Don't say that. It'll traumatize the chat. I'll keep my poetry sharp for you both. A murder is on the loose while doors keep getting locked. Tick, 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 tock goes the clock while our heroes are in the caboose. At this point, I'm feeling pretty confident in our detective abilities. We're really doing this. Come on, Yamuki, let's see what's next. Coming, I'm still not over the fact that, uh, <laughs> Tails doesn't realize that Sonic is actually dead. I guess allegedly. He seemed pretty dead, though. <laughs> Thank you, big chunk of belongs in the trash. My fairy, oh god, oh god, I have heard of that one now. <laughs> My favorite Sonic character is Sonichu. Oh, Jesus Christ. After I re react to the Sonic lore, I can react to the Sonichu lore. Dude, it's crazy. There's like this one YouTuber. I think they've made like a hundred videos on like Sonichu and like that person who made it. That shit was crazy. Oh god, it's so cursed. So cursed. So cursed. Oh, why would you remind me of that? You sure you don't want to stay and look at all the great books a little longer? Uh, just one more look around. Let me talk to them and see what goofy dialogue they give me. May bree the breeze drift towards your success. <laughs> a one sentence poem for you. <laughs> Am I not good enough for <laughs> not good enough for a full poem? Are italics enough to qualify as a poem? Oh my god. Bring me any meat to slice up? Yeah, we brought Sonic! Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> now I'm sure we will cat we will. Now I'm sure we will actually. Your loss. What did he say? I feel like I totally. No, I'm not sure we will actually. Your loss. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I like how. Uh, what's his face? Um, I was gonna call him purple guy. <laughs> oh god, not me calling you purple guy. <laughs> Espio. I was like, I like how Espio thinks that italics is what qualifies as a uh, as a poem. Okay, the mystery calls. Okay, the investigation continues. 
Oh, cute, little casino. Oh, I don't know what that guy is, but he looks cute. It kind of reminds me of that Pokemon. Uh, I literally have a plush of him. It's like whenever I try to think of a name of something, I just blink out. It was like, it wasn't Swaddle, er. God dang it, I literally have a freaking plush of him, dude. <laughs> All this stuff's getting heavy, I'll dump what I don't need. I guess I never really played that game, I just thought he was cute, so that was why I got a plush. <laughs> I was such a fake fan. Rouge, Rouge, there you are, we have a lot to say to you, you sussy baka. We've visited every train car so far, and everyone said they've seen you wandering about. It's high time you told us why. Oh, is he a chow too? My, my, a warm welcome. Quick to the point, aren't you, my darling? And I see you've brought the microwave master with you. <laughs> it's a better, <laughs> a better title than butler, I guess. Ah, please, don't let me, don't let that be my legacy. Tales is right, folks. Have brought you up a lot. Care to explain? Um, tell them, Rouge. We're gonna need help. Let me get, let me get the Pokemon, because it's driving me crazy. But I can't remember his name. I'm pretty sure he's back here. I think, uh, crap. Oh, here he is. This guy. Reminds me of this guy. He's so cute. I can't remember why I didn't play this game. I think, like, I don't know. I like Pokemon, but sometimes it just gets a little, uh, um, I think, yeah, Sobble. I think that's, was that his name, Sobble? I feel like it was something like that. Isn't he so cute though? I love him. <laughs> I probably should have played that game since I liked him so much. I think I just didn't really care for his evolved forms. Maybe that was it. Blaze? All right, I've been hunting for a treasure rumored to be stored here on the train. Treasure, they certainly didn't tell me about treasure in the interview. Since I'm part business tycoon, part voyeur of fine collectibles, I knew I had to find it. She just likes to steal stuff. <laughs> it's just kind of her thing. Tell him, tell him, what, what did I, what voice did I give, Blaze? Peanut, keep crying. Are you so sad, Peanut, cause Sonic's dead? It's okay, Peanut, he'll come back. He'll come back cause he runs fast. You don't have to cry anymore. <laughs> um, tell him what it is, Rouge. All right, well, it's a Fabergé shower egg. Oh, wow, that does sound extravagant. But please tell me you accepted Amy's birthday invite. <laughs> please don't tell me you accepted Amy's birthday invite to only find that egg. A, a woman can have multiple goals. I gave Amy her birthday present already, so everything's well taken care of. I wasn't totally sure if Blaze fit the Sonya voice. I was kind of thinking about changing it. I think that's why I got a little confused. I was like, should I change it? Because I think somebody said Blaze was kind of a tomboy. She wrote me in on the hunt immediately. I stayed here while she searched the train cars for clues. I... I deduce that the Fabergé Shawag is here, in this train car, locked in a safe. Blaze is kind of emo. But it's like, what, an emo voice fit her better, maybe? Or like a... maybe just kind of more of a downtrodden voice? Oh wait, so there's treasure? So the treasure is real? It's actually here? And what did you manage to find, Rouge? Oh, well, why don't you take both take a look? Oh, I thought she was gonna show us the egg for a second. I found the train's blueprints in the library car with a safe code written right on it. The score of a lifetime! If only it was 11037. The train's blueprints, please, Rouge, let us see that! Uh uh uh, finders keeper, sweetheart! There's a problem. We need your assistance. Maybe something like that would fit better. What kind of problem? The elevator behind the security guard leads us right to the room holding the Fabergé Shao egg. But we're not getting anywhere without the guard's access card. We need a plan to get that card to use the elevator, and our chance of success grows with everyone's help. So, you want us to help you steal the Fabergé Shao egg? <laughs> Don't I work for this ch train? Shouldn't I not be helping you? Shouldn't you not be asking me about that? Blaze, you don't have a problem with this? I see no issues here. Sounds like a fine business venture. Uh, her lore card it must be influencing her decisions here. Either that or breaking the rules must be refreshing for a princess. Yamuki, do you have an opinion on this? Stealing is for squares. <laughs> it's time for a five finger discount. That old man's not paying me anything anyway, so let's fucking go for it, baby. Well, I suppose if both Blaze and Yamuki are in. Okay, we'll all go to prison together, yeah! 
Let's get that Fabergé chow egg. Oh, that's the ticket. Happy to have you both on the team. No, we must plan. Oh. Oh boy, what have we gotten ourselves into? <laughs> Another mini game. Access to the Fabergé chow egg room is behind a locked elevator door. The security guard is access has the access card. Do we? Okay. <clears throat> security guard has the access card. So we can try to steal it somehow. I guess we could distract him then steal it. Attack the guard, bribe the guard, distract the guard. Probably that one. Distract them, perfect. We're all charming enough for that to work. Yeah, literally, you can talk, you can distract by a princess. <laughs> Be like, oh yes, finally, a score, a princess is flirting with me, sweet. <laughs> can have my whole life set for me. Distract them, perfect. We're all charming enough for that to work. That was actually a really nice thing to say. Yamuki, is everything okay? I've never seen you smile like that. <laughs> you mean I'm I'm charming too? <laughs> nice. Seems they don't know how to take a compliment. If I'm gonna be in a casino, my poker face needs work. Okay, who's distracting the security guard? Rouge Tails Blaze. I think Blaze would be best. Blaze or Rouge? I kind of feel like Blaze would be best though, honestly. Think you could distract the guard, Blaze? In my life, I've never let a single per- Oh, in my life, I've never let a single person down. I won't falter. And great. Oh, her voice is so stoic. I have chills. Oh, literally. <laughs> they gave me some voice direction in the, uh, in the dialogue. Oh, well, I trust her. Moving on. What's the distraction? Pretend the claw machine is stuck. Push a bunch of poker chips onto the floor. Ask the chow about the partner. About their partner and kids. <laughs> I kind of want to learn about their partner and kids. I feel like it might be better if they're focusing and like picking something up. Maybe, well, that's not gonna help if the claw machine is not actually stuck, you know what I mean? Let's do this one because I think it's funny. Excellent, people love, t excellent, people love talking about themselves. This will easily distract the guard. Perfect, I think we can move on then. Wait, the guard distracted Rouge. How will you get the access card? Grab them and fly up the rafters. Ask for the card. Pick their pocket, yeah! I'll snatch the access card, no problem. That chow in uniform won't notice a thing. <laughs> He's so cute, the little chow. Excellent, we can count on you, Rouge! Try not to take anything else from them, if you can help it. And no promises! I don't even know if they really need us for this, because I feel like I'm mostly just using them for this scheme. With the card obtained, we need to get Blaze out of there. Yumuki, what's your plan? Say there's a drink without a coaster. Push the security guard over. Pretend you're bla- Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> Time to riz up! Time to riz the fuck up! Then you'd be, mar then you'd be marrying to the royal family. What is your heritage? Any war crimes I should know about? Um, what? Well, um, I- You dress far too plain. You would need a complete refashioning immediately. Damn it! <laughs> that seemed like the funniest outcome, though. And you know what, maybe we should try something else. Interesting, you give up far too easily as well. We'll have to work on your fortitude. I said we'll try something else! God, I feel so rejected! <laughs> Thank you, James Taylor. Rouge, full-time treasure hunter, part-time spy. She's pretty cool so far, I like her. Okay, push the security guard over. Say there's a drink without a coaster. Would that upset him? Push him over? That seems kind of violent, though. Would he care if it, there's a drink without a coaster, though? I kind of like this one because it's Mimi. Absolutely vile! <laughs> I can think of nothing worse! Oh, God, people like that deserve the fucking death penalty, huh? Huh, Yomuki? Despicable. I would never allow such a thing in my kingdom. The guard will go running immediately. I'm sure of it. <laughs> work <laughs> oh god it's so evil not even monokuma would do that great and with the guard distracted we'll head to the elevator and just like that we'll make it in the elevator inside we celebratory dance pop some apple cider sing victory up a cappella now that's a proper victory Oh no, last security measure we didn't account for. What do we do about the mechanical arms attacking from the ceiling? Oh Jesus, <laughs> that's kind of feeling like your turn to die now. We're <laughs> like zero escape. <laughs> we have to escape, quickly. High five each of them. Half tails disable them. Tie them into one big knot. 
I don't know if Tails would have time to disable them. I feel like Big Nod is kind of like a cartoonish solution. My shoes don't have laces. Does anyone here know how else to tie a knot? I was just thinking if we like run around, you know, they'll start like intertwining and tie themselves in a knot. Um, yes. Well, no. Um, I can, but I gotta sing a little song while I do it. <laughs> oh man, that's so funny. I'm gonna step in here like the SpongeBob song. Loop de loop and boom. Now your shoes are looking cool. I'm gonna step in here and veto this. Let's think of something else. Guess someone didn't want to hear my song. It's a good song though. What do we do about the mechanicals? Have Tails disable them, I guess. I just want to disengage them. I'll just need some time. Well, that leads us nicely to our next question. Oh no! <laughs> We're creating like a whole fanfic based off of this. We haven't even done it yet. Oh no! Tails is taking a while and the arms are tightening their grip. Oh no, he's getting messed up. <laughs> I was like, what is it doing? Oh my god, it's strangling them! It's killing us! Oh man, I like the little drawings, they're so cute. Cry and hope they sympathize. <laughs> Imagine you're not in pain. Pretend there's nothing wrong. Tis take it while the arms are tightening their grip. Imagine you're not in pain. <laughs> I like this answer. Tails managed to do it. <laughs> Does that actually work? <laughs> Cry and hope they sympathize. Cry and hope they gain sentience. Oh my god. Darlings, I'm happy to say that this plan is fucking perfect. I don't know if it really is, but we'll just... I'll just trust you on this one, girly. If everyone is ready, it's time to execute. I'm ready. Let's begin. Alright, let's see what's up that elevator. <laughs> I love the little guy too, Chow. He's so cute. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god. <laughs> so this is what the conductor was hiding up here. I'm fucking rich! Man, this freaking loser is paying me like $3 an hour with no health care, no benefits. He's got gold freaking plaques up here. I knew the plan would go without a hitch. We couldn't have made it this far without you both. You have my gratitude. Our planning beforehand was very thorough, I must admit it. And it was executed to perfection. I want to see the arms gain sentience and sympathize with us. Enough chatter. Now we claim our real prize. I have the safe code right here on these blueprints. Let's claim our Fabergé shell egg. Huh? I want to get the gold. <laughs> Can I get that? No question. This has got to be the safe with our treasure. Enter the in the code on the blueprints and find out, Rouge. Oh, on, oh, sorry, I think somebody else said that. On it, sweetheart, let's see. Two, three, oh, four, oh, one. One, two, three, four. <laughs> uh, oh, wow. Holy shit, it's in there. It's here. Uh -huh, I have it. Looks like a dragon egg or something. All right, before anyone sees us, let's get out of here. Hold on, kiddo. We can't be so hasty. You truly think that's all there is to this egg? What about the gold bars? I want that. <laughs> My little bonus. <laughs> now get the Krabby Patty secret formula. <laughs> That's in one of these other lockers. No further secrets whatsoever. Rouge, spit it out. What are you hiding? Only three of these eggs were ever made, each hiding their own individual secret. No one knows the secret because anyone who's opened one of these has never lived to tell the tale. Oh, really? What? You can open the egg? You sure can, and all of you will bear witness to its secret! Uh, Rouge, I don't know if she should. I feel like she's about to become mother of dragons or something. All you need to do is twist it! <laughs> Take to Oh my god! <laughs> oh shit, it was a both! No wonder nobody survived! We couldn't just grab the gold bars! <laughs> um... Uh, um... Uh-oh. Uh <laughs> Rouge, has no one lived to tell the egg's secret? Because each egg is a freaking bomb! <laughs> uh, I think you're on to something, kid. It sure sounds like a bomb. <laughs> we need to dispose of that egg now. Dispose of it after all our hard- What do you want, girl? What do you want? You want to die for it? Rouge. Fine, fine. What do we do? Where do we put this thing? Put it back in the safe, maybe? Would that- Would that make it safe enough, I guess? <laughs> Get it? <laughs> That's an excellent question, but what do we do with a bomb? Oh, <laughs> oh my god! Take one for the team! Throw it back in the safe! Eat the egg! <laughs> Eat the egg! 
Oh my god, I kind of want to do that though. <laughs> Why do I kind of want to eat the egg? The tail's cool it down with its tail. Stop on the egg. Chaos, control the egg away. Flip the egg upside down. Have Blaze set the egg on fire. Open it and see there's wires to cut. Toss the egg in the elevator. <laughs> Tell the egg to stop. <laughs> oh my god, I fucking love these options. Stop! I can't believe it's not working. I, that did nothing. I can't believe I just did that. Okay, eat the egg. Not without any salt, I won't. <laughs> Really, Yamuki? Probably a poor joke for- <laughs> poor time for jokes, huh? <laughs> okay, what- What else is there? Latails, cool it down with his tail! Cool the bomb down with your tails! Tail tails like a fan! Worth a try! <laughs> this is so goofy! I still hear it ticking, however refreshing the breeze may be. I'm okay, new plan! <laughs> These are so stupid, I love it! Little Rouge, kiss the egg! It's as they say, love always prevails. <laughs> I'm cooking, guys. I still hear it ticking. Hump, what a prude. <laughs> Am I not pretty enough for you? Chaos, chaos control the egg away. Rock the egg. <laughs> These are so dumb. <laughs> oh my god. Where was that? Take one for the team. That sounded really fun, too. Ugh. I guess I'll have to die a hero. Here. Give it to me. What? Get, get as far away from me as possible. Just remember me as I am. A hero. No, Yamuki! We won't let you do that! <laughs> I mean, if that's what we gotta... If that's what they wanna do, who are we to... Stop the microwave kids. Obviously not gonna sacrifice themselves. Their body is far too scrawny to control any sort of blast. It's <laughs> true. <laughs> Let's think of something else. Quickly! Okay. Oh, throw in a lock the safe. I think that's probably the actual one. What's another fun one to do, though? <laughs> These are all just so stupid. I love it. If I choose too many answers, will it just blow up? Rock the egg to sleep. So you think this egg is cranky and needs a nap? Yes, that's it! Is that what you're telling us? Everyone's always mad at the idea, guy. Have Blaze set out on fire. Call me crazy, but perhaps fire and explosives shouldn't mix. You don't think fire would neutralize the blast? You, sell, you just like to say things, don't you, Yamuki? And maybe, maybe I do. Maybe I do. I kinda do wanna open it up. What do you mean by this? You know, red wire, blue wire. You gotta cut, cut one, like in the movies. This isn't a movie, Yamuki, this is real fucking life. Aki's got a good point. <laughs> okay. Let's <ha> <laughs> Let it finish sticking and see what happens. <laughs> okay, I wanna do that one too. <laughs> that one's so fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I think we should try it, guys. <laughs> oh my god. Are you insane? Do you want us to just blow up? Oh, what if it's gonna give us a prize or something? We need to dispose of the bomb, Yamuki. That's our goal. Listen, listen, I get that, but like... What if it's not a bomb? Do you, ever, do you guys ever think about that? Do you ever think we might be judging it too much? Wait, that's right! Yamuki, I think you're on to something! Huh, what? Are you serious? <laughs> I was just fucking around, Tails. Are you really gonna believe me? What's right? Spit it out, kiddo. We don't have time. Sorry, it's just that SPO did say something interesting when we quizzed him about the train's manual. Um, okay, what efficient and extra accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms. Drink events that they can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible. Oh, it actually was right. I thought it was just a meme. <laughs> I thought I was going to be throwing it back in the safe. During the events, they can perform a variety of tasks. The robotic arms can also detect weapons and explosives being brought to the train, ensuring passenger safety. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh my god. <laughs> it was literally correct. Those robotic arms that attacked us in the elevator seem to have a lot of functions here on the train. If a bomb was brought into the train disguised as a Fabergé shell egg, the arms would have detected it and wouldn't have allowed it in. The only other person who knows the comings and goings of the train is the conductor. I mean, I feel like this is the conductor's secret room. I don't know, maybe he'd want a bomb in here. And surely he wouldn't allow such a thing either. So, if we're out of options, I just don't trust that guy. I think we should wait and see what happens. Um, I mean, we tried rocking it to sleep. <laughs> I tried sacrificing myself. What else did we try? Tails tried cooling it down. <laughs> I mean, there's no other option. What else can we do? Okay, we wait. Okay. 
da da da. Hey, there it goes. I guess most people just run away once it uh, starts ticking. That's why nobody's actually lived to know what's inside. The egg, it opened. It's hollow and not a bomb at all. You both really were onto something. Phew! <laughs> I was just screwing around. My, my. Well, that's one way to get the heart racing. I'm completely relieved. My hunch was right, <laughs> thankfully. And look what's inside. Oh my goodness! Oh yeah! That's some bling bling right there. Wow, look at that sparkle! And it's so heavy, too! Oh, it's so cute! I want one! The final secret to the Fabergé Shao Egg is a Shao covered in gems! It's perfect! It's exquisite! It's revolutionary! Is she drooling over a sparkly ornament? Now I must admit, it is stunning! You said no one lived to tell the Fabergé Shao Egg's secret. I wonder why if the egg wasn't a bomb. Because they weren't as tough as us. I don't know, who cares? <laughs> who gives a crap? I have it now. What a precious treasure. A beauty to behold. Can't we, um, you know, split the uh, profits of that, girly? You know, we all, we all help, so I think I deserve a cut. Maybe they naturally died of old age and just kept the secret with them. Um, as much fun as this has been, we should get out of here before we're spotted. Good call. Let's go. This is fun. It's like a nice little break from uh, the interrogation stuff. I love his little mustache. He's so cute. No one seems to suspect any. No one seems to suspect anything, and the security guard is back at their post. Hope they subdued the drink. <laughs> Hope they subdued the drink coaster fiend. Okay. We're like are so upset. We're like, oh no, wait, Sonic really is dead. Oh god, he was so young. He had so much life to live. But then we find proof that he was the drink coaster fan. We're like, he deserved to die. <laughs> Rot in hell, Sonic. They all just start spitting on his corpse. Thank you both for your assistance. That hunt was exactly the thrill I was seeking. It stealing was strangely fun. But I prefer to never do it again. Now, Rouge. Rouge. She's completely absorbed in that bedazzled show. <laughs> oh, what? What is it, darling? About these blueprints, now that you're done with them, may we please take a look? Well, I appreciate your assistance. It's as I said, finders keepers. I'll need them a little longer in case I miss any other treasures, but I promise I'll let you take a peek later. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I'm sure you get it, sweetheart. You can just add sweetheart to the end of the sentence to make- You can't just add sweetheart to the end of the sentence to make things better. You can't just flirt with me and to get out of this. We deserved it. We earned it fair and square. And I don't think there's any reasoning with her. She's more powerful than me. <laughs> I am small. Well, well, we'll get out of your way for now then. We have a murder mystery to attend to. Before you go, Shadow gave me and Rouge one of these. He passed through earlier. Okay, damn, he's been everywhere. Yay, another key. We haven't seen Amy in a while either. You know, we've had a lot of people mention you, Rouge. But we also had just as many, just as much suspicion about Shadow. He's unpredictable, that one. <laughs> and good luck to you. The door's unlocked. Both of you stay safe. Thanks again. Well, do. Come on, you Mookie. Let's head out. Gotcha. The mystery continues. Okay, that's cool. We can talk to them for a little bit at least. Can I talk? I want to talk to the Chow. He's so cute. He's just a little guy. He's just the littlest guy I've ever seen. Kind of curious. Do we have, um, who do we have next? There. Oh, yeah, we do have Shadow next. Oh, and then Conductor Sama, <laughs> the final boss. I have a feeling. Maybe it would the Conductor kill Sonic? <laughs> Why would the conductor kill Sonic, though? He's about to retire. That doesn't really make any sense. Okay, let's talk to you. Pulling off that heist was much more enjoyable than the rest of these casino games. Uh, can I take your order? Can I, interest can I interest you in anything on the menu? I'm content for now. Thank you. The whole maybe the egg is a bomb thing destroyed my appetite. <laughs> does, does Sonic characters just, like, eat nothing but eggs? Uh, yeah, that was I was nervous myself. We could tell you sweat out of your uniform pretty often. God, you smell. Have you ever heard of deodorant, kid? Yeah, you're very, you're a very um animated person. <laughs> wow. I think I just got roasted again. <laughs> All she does is roast me, man. The capabilities of these robotic arms are quite spectacular. I'm impressed every time we see them. I can't help but wonder why they're controlled. I don't know. The conductor was ordering it around a bit earlier. 
And at the very least, things operate much smoother with them here. I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, that's true. They're very versatile. What if the robot killed Sonic? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Stopping on Sonic's corpse like, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I'm not. I just read that chat. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh god, that's so funny. I don't want to read it all out because it's spoilers. I don't want to spoil anybody on Rico who hasn't seen it, but that's so funny. Well, yeah, that's true. They were very versatile. Okay. Uh, I wish I could talk to the chow. He's a little guy. I want to talk to him. He's so cute. Okay, let's gamble. Dr. Edmonds built a lot of casinos to run around in, but I've never actually sat down to play for any fun. Want to play blackjack? Ready for some hold'em? Let's do blackjack. I think I've played blackjack before. I don't know how to play that. It's easy, let me show you. <laughs> I don't know how to play either. Kibuki, we simply don't have time for this. We must avenge Sonic! Probably a good point. Ah, oh, man. I thought maybe we could. Oh, we can do we can do a slot machine. We got we got time for that, right? Um, should I give the slot machines a try? <laughs> what was that? I'm writing the chat, I'm dead. <laughs> oh my god. Sonic eats nothing but chili dogs. His death was a long time coming. But he's so fit! He's <laughs> He's so fit. He's he runs fast. He burns off those chili dogs. <laughs> who would have thought that uh <laughs> Who would have thought a diet consisting only on chili dogs would end a person's life so soon? <laughs> we think somebody murdered him and he just had a heart attack. <laughs> um I think I should give the slot machine a try. Yeah, let's play it. All right, let's see. Big money, big money. God, I'm still traumatized from the slot machines in Zero Escape. Well, I lost. Do I try again? Yeah, play the slots. Let's see. Big money, big money. Uh, do I try again? <laughs> I get what? All right, let's see. Big money, big money. Well, I lost. Do I try again? <laughs> Yubuki, what do you expect to happen if you keep playing? I was like, <laughs> I was like, can I just keep going forever? Uh, uh, big money. I'm gonna get the get it this time. You see, just like the best evidence will be in the trash can. <laughs> Well, I lost. Maybe next time I'll get it. <laughs> you keep going? Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you, Dabbler Dragon. Maybe Sonic stabbed himself through a pillow and then detached the front car of the train. When it threw That's gotta be it. Oh my god. Definitely, you got it, Dabbler. <laughs> oh my god. Let's keep going. All right, let's see. Big money, big money. Well, I lost. Do I try again? All right, let's see. Big money, big money. You know, the definition. <laughs> Tails is gonna start fucking, uh, <laughs> roasting me. You know, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different outcome, right? I'm starting to get worried here. <laughs> Don't worry, Tails. I, I got it this time. <laughs> well, I lost. Do I try again? Alright, big money, big money. Well, I lost. <laughs> Have you ever heard of the sunk cost fallacy? <laughs> I can stop whenever I want to, Tails. I can stop whenever I want. I don't have an addiction, buddy. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. I got all those gold bars from upstairs. I can I can do this for five more hours. Oh, big chunk of blonde trash. I missed your dono. Let me see. Let me scroll up. Oh, yeah, sorry. I must have just been engrossed in the game. Sorry about that. Thank you, big chunk of belongs in the trash. Would have been funny if the cut at... If the cut after they had done the plan, Tails was just missing and he was just gone for the rest of the game. Oh, that would have been funny. That would have been so sad. I love Tails so much. Sorry about missing it. Sorry, I just get so engrossed in the game sometimes. I kind of forget. But uh, yeah, if I ever miss y'all's donations, just remind me and I'll go back to it for sure. The sunk cost fallacy. The phenomenon where... <laughs> The phenomenon whereby a person is reluctant to abandon a strategy or course of action because they have invested heavily in it and even when the clear abandonment would be more beneficial. Of course I've heard of it. <laughs> Why do you ask? Why do I have heard of that? Um, no reason. All right, big money. <laughs> it keeps going. <laughs> big money, big money. Well, I lost you a try again. Um, I'll be over here when you decide you're done. All right, big money, big money. <laughs> I lost you a try again. <laughs> okay, does it just keep going on? be kind of funny if Tails came back. He's like, are you seriously still doing it? There's not even any more cutscenes. <laughs> You're using all of your minimum wage paycheck on this. <laughs> no, no, I'll get it this time. Big money, big money. <laughs> okay, fine. Oh, thank Christ. I really thought I lost you there for a second. Uh, yeah, let's go. Okay, let's talk to you. 
Thanks again for your help earlier. Now that I... Now what can I do for you, darlings? Are you hungry? What a... What a paltry menu. Not a lot of options, sweetie. I think I have to pass. Not a problem. Just let me know when you need something later. Sure, if I need a bag of chips, I'll holler. And uh, we don't actually have chips. <laughs> um, we have microwave cordon bleu. Do you think you could go over your alibi again for us, Rouge? When Amy began the murder mystery, what did you do? Well, once Amy paired Blaze and I up, I immediately roped her in on my Fabrice egg shao, shao egg hunt. We split up at the casino car and I went searching for the blueprints. I walked back to the library and salon saloon cars till I found it in the library card. Did you see Sonic? Did you see Sonic at all during your search? Sonic? No, I don't believe so. I remember him in the dining car at the beginning. Do you have anything to support that claim? Listen, plenty of people saw me poking around and I have the blueprints on me. I don't know, it's a little su suspicious. I'm still kind of suspicious of her. Just cause like, I mean, sure people saw her, but she was like walking all over the place. So it's kind of like, I don't know, there's some like dog and rock murders where like, I won't name specifics, but you know, where it's like somebody kind of has an alibi, but they go to the bathroom for a little bit or they do something. And then it's like, for a certain period of time, they might not have an alibi. And it's not like somebody was with her the whole time. So I think she still could have done it. I hardly had time to chase down Sonic, murder him, and find the blueprints myself. We appreciate you answering our questions, Rouge. You take care now. Probably not, but still. Likewise, darling. Just a personal opinion. Pulling off that heist was much more enjoyable than the rest of these casino games. Do you think you could go over your alibi again for us, please? When... When Amy began the murder mystery, what did you do? Sure, we left the dining car and Rouge pulled me aside to talk about the Fabergé chow egg. We walked and talked in the casino car, where we went to our, where we went our separate ways. I scoped around and discovered the egg was here. After that, I played the slot machines. And did you win? Did you get any big money? Big money? <laughs> the train did a sudden jolt, which was odd, but I didn't leave the car. I mean, I guess we could have the little guy vouch for her. I gave Amy her present when she stopped by. Shadow passed through as well, but it was a brief. He gave me the exit key and left. Interesting. Do you have any sort of proof you were here playing the slots? I do, actually. I kept winning, so I saved the cash out voucher. You can take a look. Let's see here. 14,000, oh my god! You won all the money, that's why I kept losing. That's an enormous payout, oh my god, how did you? You have no clue how much money this guy lost. I'm just naturally lucky, I suppose. That smirk, she's so self-aware. Well, thank you for your time, Blaze. Anytime, Entails. Do tell Kareem I said hi, won't you? Oh, is Kareem like a friend of his or something? Of course, can do. Maybe like a sibling. Okay, I think that's it for uh, this area. I guess we can go. Ready to get going? Let's find Shadow. Let's do it! Oh, he's so cute. I love him so my little blush, little cheeks. Oh my goodness, there's more little guys. I like the chows. Sorry I said that they eat you. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> that was so fucked up of me. <laughs> they would never. You guys are too cute. You're too adorable. Now is as good of a time as any to clean out my pockets. I know you won't talk, but I know exactly why you've been locking these doors. Okay, she's about to confront him. Sorry to get a word in as you talk over me. God, you're just like my mom. Or actually, wait, I have two dads. Never mind, you're just like my dad. I have my reasons, I, and no reason is convincing enough. It's inconceivable what you did. Hey, hey, what's going on? Oh, somebody said Cream was, um, what should we call it? Uh, Blaze's only friend. That's sweet. <laughs> it's kinda sad that she doesn't have any other friends though. Humph, I see you made it here, Tails. But I didn't expect the Iron Chef as well. Oh, well that's a way cooler name than Butler. Or what was that, like Microwave Guru was like the other thing they called me. We'll see what you have to say when your Microwave Chili Dog's deli- <laughs> That Microwave Chili Dog is gonna hit so hard. You may have a heart attack just like Sonic, but that shit is gonna slap. <laughs> that shit is bussin'. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to know why you've been locking doors throughout the train, Shadow. Well, it seems Amy already knows, so ask her. I'm fa- I'm not saying a thing. You lot will have to tell me why. Oh, you're so Tagami coded But if you could leave me be- Ugh, I have an appointment coming up. I've got a Starbucks interview. I'm about to become manager. 
An appointment? Who wants to meet with him? Well, Yamuki, it seems like Shadow isn't gonna talk. Let's do some investigating! All right, ready to find some answers, Tails? Indubitably, my dear Yamuki! Okay. Aw, oh, Yamuki's so cute, too. I wanna see them playing! Hey, it's the Big Chill Band! Play us a ditty. Give us a jam! Oh, <laughs> he gets so shocked! Oh, wow! That was so good! I just saw my life flash before my eyes, man! <laughs> that shocked expression looks so, like... <laughs> it looks so funny. That was spiritual! I feel reawakened. Okay, um... Look at the closet. Yamuki, could you open the wardrobe, please? Sure. Wait, is there a reason you want me to do it? What if something falls out or worse? Someone leaps out. I just think you should do it. Open the wardrobe for Tails. Refuse. Tails must open it. You gotta do it. Uh, all right. Tough love. I get it. I'm, <laughs> I'm actually just not strong enough to open the door. I'm just like so. Ah! Oh, just some sweaters. Why was <laughs> he <I'm> so scared? <laughs> See, not so bad, huh? Just dusty. Uh, yeah. Guess you're right. Boo! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Sorry. Couldn't help it. Yamuki, I'm fragile. Look at me. I'm just a little guy. Okay, I guess there's... Oh, there's this. Um, Tails, do you see this? Uh, pull string? Yamuki! What, it's gonna activate something. What the back... Oh my god, does it lead to Narnia? Holy crap. There's a full passageway back here. Why did the conductor make such a sketchy secret tunnel? Come on, we have to see where this leads. He's curious. This must mean something big. Oh, what the hell? Oh, it goes to the library. This is the library. There's a secret passage from the lounge to the library. He just looks so shook. Like, he has, like, no light in his eyes anymore. <laughs> I don't believe it. Shut quick, back to the passage before they spot us. Okay. So that might be how, I guess, Shadow got around originally. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> we need to add that to our inventory. Hidden passage is added to your inventory. Okay, cool. Let's talk to Amy. Glad you two finally caught up. I'm, su I'm surprised you took so long to get here. I thought you wanted to save Sonic. We've been thorough. Did you have any clues for us? Um, just a hot tip, but I'll be revealed in due time. I think I'll be shedding a big light on this whole case. Could you, could you please tell us? And no way, journalist reporter Amy Rose is always first to reveal a scoop. It'd be kind of funny if we had like different results. When you're ready to challenge Shadow, talk to him, and then I'll be ready. I'm curious what it is. She seems confident. We'll hold on. We'll hold you to it. Okay. Can I have? Oh yeah. Can I have your order? I'm not ordering a single thing to get till we get the birthday cake. You don't want a microwave chili dog? Cake first, dinner after. Otherwise, I'll get full on dinner. I can't have any cake. You have priorities. <laughs> I respect that. It just makes sense. Okay. <laughs> so emo. Okay. Let's look at the train. I guess. There's another robot arm. It's just doing its thing. As an employee, do you have any power over these arms? Can you tell it to do something? No, no, but I'll give it a shot. Hey, robotic arm, can you... Give me a high five. Bring me a chaos cola. Give me a high five, man. It doesn't seem to be listening to you. But I can give you a high five. I'd rather have a high five from you anyways. Oh, sweet. What if I do the other one? Give me a Chaos Cola. Nope, not listening to me. Uh, I'm quite parched too. I can run and get you get a Chaos Cola for you. <laughs> Aren't I the one who's supposed to be working? Oh uh, no, I'm all right. Thank you, Tails. I'm the one that's supposed to be working here after all. I uh, like it, Tails. He's so sweet. Okay, lamp. Okay, computer, printer. Oh, were all the keys in here in the first place or something? Hum, hum. A key ring must be Shadows, the locksmith. Interesting, there's only two keys. I figured a locksmith would have a bunch. Uh, wanna take it? Yeah, let's take it! Key ring is added to your inventory. I mean, that makes the most sense to me. Printer! <laughs> oh, thank you, Dabbler Dragon! Secret tunnel through the fish stick! I was thinking about that, too. Every time I hear secret tunnel, I just think of that song from Avatar. Secret tunnel! Secret tunnel! I don't remember how the rest of the song goes. Seems the printer is hooked up to the computer. Can we print something? 
Sonic singing a song. Sonic rowing a boat. Uh, the boat? Huh, this printer is surprisingly tricky to use. Tricky? Yeah, the user interface isn't very clear, but I won't let it stop me! Oh no! <laughs> he looks so scared! <laughs> I thought it would be a happy drawing. And here you go! Yep, this is exactly what I asked for. I'll, um, quietly set this back on the printer. Oh wait, can I print the other one? Singing a song. Hang on, I think I remember which buttons to press. It's really that complicated? Have you ever had a printer work when you wanted it to? God, that's so freaking true. <laughs> I hate printers, man. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, look at him, he's jamming out! Oh my god, he's singing Five Nights at Freddy's. And there, worked like a charm. Here you go! Yep, this is exactly what I asked for. I'll uh, quietly set it back down. Okay, we look at the computer. They told us about this in my interview. The lounge has a computer complete with the internet access for casual browsing. How lovely, seems convenient. It is, a shame to be on the computer and missing these gorgeous views though. I feel like if you're using com the computer here, you must really need to use it. Okay. Was there, oh, the trash can, oh my god, it's finally time. <laughs> Tails. <laughs> no, Tails, I think we should check the trash bin. Every trash bin has been empty, Yamuki! Empty! And you've been disappointed every time. Can you just plant some evidence in there for me, bestie? <laughs> Are you gonna get sad again if there's nothing in the trash bin, Yamuki? Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be sad. <laughs> there's always something in the trash bin! Hell yeah, I'm doubling down. Alright, let's check the trash bin. Wow, what's this? <laughs> oh, <laughs> just a piece of paper. Maybe it'll be important, we'll see. Someone printed out the front page of a ticket website. It's for the band Hot Honey. Interesting, Hot Honey is one of Amy's favorite bands. Okay, like uh, for a gift or something maybe? Who cares what it is? Let's add it to it. <laughs> Who cares, we finally found something in the trash. Who cares if it's relevant? Let's just fucking add it to the inventory. <laughs> Are we sure this isn't just trash? <laughs> Come on, let you Mookie have this. I'll let you have this. There's always success if you check the trash bin. Crumbled paper is added to your inventory. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Shadow and find out what really happened. What exactly was the crumbled up paper? A uh, ball of paper found the trash. I kind of want to see what it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Yamuki, you're so silly. You're such a silly little guy. I guess they use they them pronouns for Yamuki. I figure it's for self-insert purposes. I can see people thinking they're non-binary for that reason. Why'd you come over here? There's nothing I can help you with. I ask that you leave me be. That stare. So cold. You know, maybe we'll get out of here, actually. Yamuki, we certainly will not! <laughs> I don't want to deal with this guy. Can I take your order? You want any more coffee beans? <laughs> I'll take you up on that coffee. When I'm back in the dining car. When I'm back in the dining car, I'll whip that right out. But you also killed Sonic, you piece of trash. A co coffee on a shireen. There's no better combination. Some marshmallows would make it perfect. <laughs> sure. It took every muscle on his body to agree with Tails. Okay, let's actually do the interrogation now. Oh wait, I guess I can talk to him too. Hey, never mind. Let's talk first. There's nothing I can help with either of you with. I ask that you leave me be. That's dear, so cold. Oh, okay, it's the same thing. Start interrogation. Shadow, we have questions for you. Will you three get out? I'm busy. As I said, I have an appointment to attend to. The custom character's official name is Barry. He does go by they them, but you can name them however with any pronoun to your leisure as their custom character. But Barry is in B. Oh, okay, interesting, yeah. I'd noticed that, but sometimes it's kind of hard to tell if it's like self-insert reasons or yeah, if they're like kind of like characterizing the character that way. I'll try to use they them though, just you know, out of respect. Sorry, but this is important. Shadow, we've questioned everyone on this train and every single person is mentioned running into you. You've been locking every door in this train and, and I know why. Ah! Ah, uh, for Raytel, why was I locking all the doors? I bet she's gonna be so off. <laughs> Time to reveal my hot tip. Hope everyone's ready for a scoop found by yours truly. Such an a okay, Kenny. We're ready. According to the map, the next car is the conductor's car where Sonic was stationed. 
This door right here is the lounge car. Is the only door that leads to conductor's car. I have following. You didn't even find the secret tunnel. You're below us, Amy. Below us. Disgusting. Pathetic. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Amy's cool. But she is pathetic compared to our investigation. So Shadow was locking all the doors for one reason and one reason alone. To keep Sonic from escaping the conductor's car. But I mean, he, we were, he was found dead? But also maybe really dead? <laughs> In the dining hall, which is on the opposite of, um, you know, the other train or whatever. Ugh! So you think Shadow is trapping Sonic? I sure do. He locked the conductor's car, then locked all the others, so no- So one locked door wasn't suspicious. Pure conjecture. You all get out and leave me be. And while my source can back up these claims, they'll remain anonymous, but I think the point stands. My source claims- huh. Okay, so the source is the conduct. I think the conductor did it, dude. <laughs> he's suspicious as hell, and he's old. Well, no, he's not. He's not actually old. I guess he's only like thirty. But he has old man energy. <laughs> That's how you know. My sources claim they never saw Sonic again after he went to the conductor's car. Why? Because he was trapped and couldn't leave the conductor's car. Reckless speculation. Is the logic sound though? Was Shadow trapping Sonic? I'll play along and follow this train of logic, Amy. I feel like he was just investigating. If Shadow did quit, lock the door to the conductor's car, imprisoning Sonic, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Exactly. I think Yumuki and I can explain the car change, though. Ugh! Yumuki, what evidence do we have that shows how Sonic could have gotten to the dining car? The secret room! Right, not these, right? Shadow's key ring with two. No, yes, yeah, so Shadow's key ring. So it wouldn't be that. Secret room! Secret tunnel! Okay, just gotta get my thoughts in order. Think! <laughs> what would Sonic do? <laughs> okay. Oh shit. Okay. Woo! Here we go. Oh shit! That's kinda scary. Oh! Ah, oh, man, I should've gone the other way. Okay, okay, okay. I think we're doing okay. Ooh! Oofers! Okay! Oh, shit! Oh, my God! <laughs> that was scary. Hey, we did it! First try, baby! Yumuki and I found a hidden passage in the wardrobe that leads to the library card. <laughs> what? A, a secret passage? You didn't even do any investigating, girl. Leave it to the detectives. So someone could have used the passage, snuck through the library car, walked past the distracted boys playing arcade, and safely arrived at the dining car. Excellent work, Yumuki! Hum, this adjusts my theory a bit. Girl, did you do anything? I mean, she was acting like it was like a race to get here. It's like, you could have just ran here. You got this key or whatever. Of course, you're gonna beat us getting here, but it, what matters is the work you put in, girly. So Shadow murdered Sonic in the conductor car, but then thought the crime scene being so close to his station was suspicious. Okay. Shadow picked up Sonic, locked the door of the conductor car on the way out and dropped the body off at the dining car. I believe in my boy Shadow. He would never. Is Shadow evil? I actually don't know. Actually, you guys don't tell me that. I'll learn in the lore video. Are you officially accusing Shadow of murder? <laughs> I am, but of course, this is just a theory. A game theory. I uh, don't have any evidence to back it up other than my hot scoop. <laughs> Seems Tails and I were more thorough than you. If Shadow's not gonna talk, then I'll humor you once again. If Shadow traveled through the hidden passage and appeared in the library car, then how did Espio and Vector not see him? Um, um, well, um, I suppose it'd be hard to sneak around two people. Yumuki, do you have any guesses? Oh, well, Espio and Vector didn't see Shadow because Vector was with Knuckles and Espio was reading. Um, probably. That's true, but I mean, I think both, because we already established why um, Espio wouldn't have seen him. That's true. Vector was with Knuckles and wouldn't have seen Shadow into the library. See, things are falling into place. What about Espio? I believe Espio is behind a bookshelf at the table reading. Ugh! Espio reading in the library checks out. That's what he told me to. He's lying. Oh, what was that, Shadow? When I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector at whatever game- <laughs> You totally did not! 
I saw your place. You were like number five on the list. You can't fool me. When I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector, um, for some strange reason, you know, I decided to put my name in the machine as Vector, but you know, that was just because I was memeing, but that was totally me who, who got that high score. At whatever game, I left the saloon car. I spent some time looking for Espio, but he was not there. He was not in the library car. <laughs> like I believe you, you're currently my number one suspect. Why are you even searching for Espio, huh? Ugh. God, you don't get me. If you must, if you must know, I need to give him a key. Um, as if. Why would a locksmith be giving away his keys? Why is he does not look like a locksmith? He literally looks like a Starbucks employee. Shadows has been giving away a lot of keys, actually. Everyone but us seems to have one. That's true. Everyone has been able to unlock the next door for us. I didn't know that. Shadow's been passing out. Girl, did you do anything? Girl! <laughs> passing out keys. You just thought the Kazuna voice would give you the strength to just find the answer. But you gotta do the work. You gotta do the work. Like me and Tails. Perhaps Yumuki and I can further validate Shadow's claims. Uh, we can do what? Yumuki, what evidence supports Shadow's claims that he was giving keys away? Oh, uh, yeah, he's only got two left. Whoa, that feels good. <laughs> now I gotta get my thoughts in orders and kill Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> I must kill Sonic in order to win. Okay, if I get in the middle of those, I can kind of like. Okay. Nice. This will be really hard to get a uh, hundred percent at. <sighs> Oofers. Okay. Nice. Be -doo -doo. Be -doo -doo. Be -doo -doo. Oh my god. <laughs> so many lightning bolts. Yeah, we're getting better. Nice. Nice. There's only one reason there's exactly two keys on that key ring. Those were the two keys Shadow meant to give Espion Victor. <laughs> no way. Well, what about his own key? Couldn't one of those be for him? I have my own key on me. Ch interesting. <laughs> she is getting served. You are getting roasted, girl. So let's say Shadow is telling the truth. Then what? If Shadow didn't murder Sonic and bring him to the dining car, then what possible reason could he have for locking all the doors? Um, she's right. Her theory is strong. Tails and I certainly haven't presented any possibilities. Is Shadow really innocent in Sonic's murder? He's the best boy. I think Yamuki and I know exactly why Shadow was locking all the doors. What is <laughs> Why does he keep the clues? <laughs> I like how meta this is sometimes. <laughs> it really does. God, it really does fucking feel like that in Dong and Rafa. Though. <laughs> it's like, Tagami, why the fuck are you saying I'm with you on this? You know the answer. You just fucking say it for me. Why does he keep including me too? I don't know, dude. You tell them. You fucking tell them, Tails. Stop telling me to tell them. Just like loses his mind. Oh, Jesus. I didn't know you get so upset. First, Amy, I have one question for you. Um, has every has everyone today given you a birthday present? Um, most everyone, yeah. Everyone's been so sweet. Ugh. Um, just, just, um, Shadow and Sonic haven't given me anything yet, but uh, that's okay. It's, it's fine. It's fine. I didn't cry in the bathroom or anything. It's fine. Just them being here is enough. I understand. Thank you, Amy. Yamuki. Ah, yes, Tails. Tell him, Yamuki! I have a theory, but I need a piece of evidence to support it. We know Shadow walked through every train car, locking the exits, and he gave everyone stationed in the car as a key. Except for you, me, and Amy. That's right, the conductor gave Amy her birthday key, not Shadow. So why would he lock all the doors and not give us a key? Shadow couldn't find us, Shadow wanted to keep us away. I figured he couldn't find us. Maybe, but Shadow knew Amy. Oh, really? Oh, you sussy baka! I've been trying to defend you! Maybe, but Shadow knew Amy. You and I started in the dining car. He could have given us keys if he wanted to. That's a compelling argument, so maybe. I guess, yeah, it is just literally a straight line, damn. Oh, damn, Shadow, what did you do? Was Shadow locking all these doors to keep us away? Not us, Yumuki. I'm making a leap here, but stick with me. 
I think Shadow was trying to keep Amy away. Ugh. Um, what? Excuse me? Do you forget to buy her a birthday gift or you're embarrassed and locking the train cars? Shadow would never do that. It's my birthday. It, you know it's my birthday, right? Don't you, Shadow? Ugh. How dare Dimuke show me evidence? Huh? If Shadow was trying to keep me away for- Oh, yeah, because that was the crumbled up piece of paper we found, too. <laughs> oh, damn. Okay, so you were just being stupid. Thank you, Fallen Redditor. The 300 IQ Fox thinks we were as smart as him, bro. <laughs> I know, right? He really do be like Tagami in this. Tell them! Tell them, Yamuki! If Shadow was trying to keep me away, prove it. Even so thorough or whatever. What proof do you have? Okay, okay. Tails thinks Shadow was trying to keep just Amy away. Why? Oh my god, it's finally the trash evidence! What evidence shows that Shadow didn't want Amy to know? Oh, I'm so happy for you, Yamuki. That feels right. Oh yes, finally! Finally, my trash theory is true! Okay, come on, Sonic. We can do this. We can do this, bestie. 45? Jesus. Woo! Did you get this? Oh, man. Ugh, I need more. I need more! More rings! Oh, shit! Oh, God! Oh, Jesus Christ! There's so many of them! Oh, my God! Oh, no! How do I... <laughs> There's so many! I'm getting fucked up! Oh, God! How do I survive? Okay, I just need one more. Okay. Now I just gotta dodge. I don't have to worry about the rings anymore. Woo! Woo! <laughs> okay, okay. Almost there, Sonic. Yes! Here, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> oh, man. Gamer! You ain't rooting through the trash. How, what is that? We found us in the trash bin next to the printer. Ah, uh, Ticket Town. It's a banned ticket website. Tails, don't know. <laughs> You're so cute, Shadow. Gasp, this is Hot Honey's website. No way, I love them. Um, Hot Honey, it's the band I am currently obsessed with. Jeremy B is Psy, <laughs> my current favorite. It's like BTS or something. All the members have B after their name. Yeah, isn't it cute? I haven't gone to any of their shows yet to see them, though. Their tickets are really hard to get. You have to be ready online at a specific time, and they sell it in minutes. And then you get, like, the scalper tickets where it's, like, way, way upcharged. So the question be so the question becomes, why was this paper found in the train car Shadow was stationed in? Watch yourself, Fox. <laughs> I'm so serious. The situation is becoming much clearer. I don't know how Tails figure things out so soon, but I see where he's heading now. God, he's such a genius. The printout of the Hot Honey Band's ticket website exists because Shadow's a big Hot Honey. He was buying tickets for Amy. Ah, look at you being all cute and thoughtful. And what, Shadow? Is this true? Pretty sure. Either Charmy's older brothers or cousins who made the bands. Oh, wait, are they little Charmy? It's like the little birds. Oh, bye, Nikki. Thanks for stopping by. Are you trying to get me concert tickets for my birthday? I did a poor job hiding the surprise, it seems. Yeah, I'm trying to get you concert tickets for your birthday, and you just accuse me of murder. God. So mean, so rude. <laughs> Shadow. I used to think, I used that printer earlier, and I found it difficult to manage. When logging onto the website, did you print the homepage by. <laughs> <laughs> what a dork! <laughs> Homepage by accident? Oh, the yeah, that's exactly what happened. I'm not fantastic with computers, admittedly. <laughs> I can't believe this. After I accused you of murder, spill everything, Shadow. The cat's out of the bag. I want to know everything. Fine, the surprise is ruined anyway. Oof. Oof, probably our fault there. Ah, sorry. That's all a detective's job is, I suppose. And when I arrived on the train, I realized everyone else had a gift except for me. Worried for my social status, I immediately began brainstorming ideas and saw the computer. I remembered Amy had never seen Hot Honey live and looked it up. That's when I accidentally printed the homepage. The concert tickets weren't actually on sale, I realized, but would be available soon. Is that the appointment you keep speaking of? The time you're actually, you're able to actually buy the concert tickets? 
Precisely. I haven't purchased the tickets yet. It's kind of funny that he like missed uh, getting her a gift, which sucks, but he's probably gonna get her like the best gift <laughs> if he manages to get the tickets, because man, getting tickets is hard. I'd be happy if somebody saved me from that process. Thank you, ShadowRose759. Just don't ask him where he got the money from. Oh, God. Oh, where'd he get the money from? <laughs> now I want to know! I knew I had to keep Amy away while I waited to buy the tickets, so I began locking all the doors. But for the safety of everyone, I handed out keys so they could get in and out, telling them- Oh, pfft. What? It sounds so adorable for a second. But for the safety of everyone, I handed out keys so they could get in and out, telling them not to let anyone through. It didn't work. Amy still managed to make it here somehow. It's because the conductor gave me this. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess he didn't realize that. This key opens up any door in the train. I've gotten through every locked door with ease. The plan's fatal flaw, the birthday key. I guess I should have guessed. It's a well-known privilege. Shadow, I, your gesture is so sweet and I accuse you too. How about this? Let's buy tickets later and make, up, make it up to you. You can come with me. Um, I don't know if it's too late. It's happening. Oh my god. I can't wait. Show of a lifetime. Oh, uh, fine. Happy birthday, Amy. God, now I gotta get dragged to this stupid boy band concert. I expect a lot of pictures from the concert, you two. Ah, oh, that's cute. Humph. Ended up being wholesome. Seems the mystery of Shadow's locked doors has finally reached the end. I blame my source for all of this. That wasn't a hot tip at all, leading me to believe Shadow was behind everything. My credibility as a journalist reporter is down the drain. <laughs> it's totally the conductor. Amy, I'm curious. Who is the source for your uh, big scoop? I would like to know as well. I'm um, sorry, strictly confidential. My credibility may be shot, but my principles must stay intact. I have a strong feeling I know exactly who your source is. Um, but we need to investigate one last area. The conductor's car. I'll come with you. I'd love to know who's been dragging my name through the mud. Yeah, for real. How dare they disrespect Shadow. And I'll join as well. Time to see this through to the end. We're more than happy to have you both. Yamuki, I hate to say it, but I believe our investigation is finally coming to a close. The pieces are coming together. The picture is becoming clearer and clearer. Let's end this, Tails. We'll pin down Sonic's murder for good. Right on then, let's do it! Okay, cute, I guess we can talk to them maybe before we go. Can't believe a secret password was just here this whole time. That would have been very useful. Oh wait, he didn't even use it? Yeah, the library. Yeah, the library is the closest to the bathroom. It would have been really convenient. Ugh. I see our priorities are different. <laughs> Goofy. Come on, to the conductor's car. I wonder what we'll find there. <laughs> the conductor, I'm sure. Admittedly, I haven't seen the conductor in a while. I hope he's all right. Yeah, he's fine. Murdering people? Specifically Sonic? Okay. Let's head out. Pew, pew. Ready to go to the conductor car? Let's finish this. It's now or never. Oh, man. Oh, hey. The arm looks kind of dead. Oh, is that his son or something? He's not here. <laughs> like, oh, he's like, we'll find the train conductor, I'm sure. He's not actually there. <laughs> Should really sort out my evidence before I continue. In my short time working on this train, I haven't visited the conductor car yet. Feels empty. Wait, where is the conductor? That's odd. I haven't seen him throughout the train at all. Last we saw him was when he left the dining car. I guess I could have used the secret passage to get around us to avoid us. Something clearly happened here. And nothing we can't figure out. Come on, time to investigate. Let's crack on. I want to see his son. Why wow, the conductor looks so young in his uniform. Oh, oh, is that him when he was a kid? I guess, or like younger, I guess. That makes sense too. Oh, he was so adorable. Why wow, the conductor looks so young in his uniform. He's been here a long time. After 32 years, he's told me he's finally retiring. Oh, wait, was he just working for 32 years? He's not 32. That makes more sense. He said he's headed to Spagonia with his wife. I hope they have a great trip. 32 years is a long time. I wish them a lot of happiness. May any future sorrow be fleeting. Um, yeah, I wish that too. <laughs> Fucking emo poet. Oh, what's this? Like a dart? Um, what's this? Was someone playing darts? Okay. Somebody like, um... It's not a throwing dart. It's a blow dart. Yeah, does it have like a... You know, like one of those like sleeping potions or something in it? 
Someone brought a weapon onto this train, but the train arm should have known. Um, um, <laughs> wait a second, now that I think about it, did anybody check on Sonic's pulse? <laughs> like, oh shit, there's an actual weapon on here? Um, that shouldn't be possible. Tails is right, the train detects any weapons on a passage before letting them aboard. Let's make note of this. Lodart is added to your inventory. Let's see, what else did I get? And eh, just the menu and the train map before. I'm trying to remember. I guess like this arm looks broken. I guess he might have, uh, yeah, torn it off so it wouldn't notice his freaking, uh, whatchamacallit, um, blah, blah, blah. His weapon. <laughs> this robot arm has been completely torn off. Yeah, how creepy. That arm is powerful. It'd be tough to break it out of its grip. A lot of people here have the strength to tear this off, but the question is why? A confrontation definitely occurred in this room. We should log this. Aye, aye, sir. Broken robot arm is added to your inventory. I think we found enough clues. Oh, really? That was it? Oh my god, that was quick. Let's talk to Amy and solve this once and for all. Uh, let me just click on this since I didn't. Do you realize these robot arms could also drive the train? Okay, fancy. Yeah, but they can't access every function on the train like the conductor can. Do they teach you how to drive it? Oh no, just now, just how to work the microwave. <laughs> oh my god, did you need training for that? So you press in the time you want it to cook, and then you press start, that's basically it. Do you really need training for this? I recognize some of these functions, maybe I could drive the train. I would completely trust you to drive the train. <laughs> Same, actually. It's true, you could drive this train flawlessly. Ah, guys! Tails is kind of a genius, I guess. A vent! Um, it's a large one. Seems like at least one person could fit through. Not a problem for me, but I'm sure... I'm not sure how you'd get up there. Wait, why wouldn't it be a... Why wouldn't it be a problem for you? Um... <laughs> oh, the, uh, Tails. <laughs> right. <laughs> you mookie... Oh, God damn it! God, you fucked up! I noticed these screens throughout the entire train. Yeah, they're used to show information and advertisements. They're nice, the picture is really clear. I would watch a full movie on one. I saw a slide that said, happy birthday, Amy. That was so cute. He vented. <laughs> oh my God, it's all making sense. I don't feel like he would fit in that vent though, because I feel like the conductor was kind of big. The next ad being for nasal medication was a little jarring though. <laughs> the high quality screens probably didn't do that ad any favors. Not at all, perhaps too much detail. Okay, let's talk to him. Isn't it odd we haven't seen the conductor since the dining car? I figured he's had to drive the train the entire time. I guess the same, but the train's quick speed is odd, and we currently don't know where he's at. Hope he's all right. Admittedly, I do miss his laugh. Fuuuuh! Ugh. I'm starting to think he's like Eggman in disguise or something, honestly, the conductor. Because he did kind of have like a hat on and stuff that covered his face a little bit, you know? I feel like he kind of looks different in this shot. I mean, obviously he looks way younger, but didn't he yet kind of like have a hat that covered up his face a bit? Well, you two, think you have enough evidence for me to call everyone here? It's high time we named a suspect. What do you think, Yamuki? Ready to solve the case? Let's fucking go! Hello everyone, this is the birthday girl speaking. Please report to the conductor car at once. Boo! B -b boo Everyone, dot, dot, dot. Wonderful to have you all here. Tails and I are ready to announce our prime suspect with assistance from Yamuki. Why hasn't Sonic <laughs> I wonder why. Why didn't you tell them about the pulse? Um. Um. Vector. Real quick. Real quick. Can you come with me to get Sonic? He must still be pretending to be dead. God, he's so lazy. And he's so good at that. Ready, let's go get him. Oh my god. And let me tell you, darlings, this has been a delight. A delight? The air in here is so intense. I love it. Nothing like the thrill of a mystery. The train has so many amenities. I feel so catered to. I'm ready to see the reaction to Sonic being dead. Why didn't we mention the pulse to anybody? Don't want to kill the vibes. Want to make sure they're having a fun time, you know? <laughs> Admittedly, I've been having a lot of fun myself. The amusement of a chase. I see you're a detective outside of this mystery, Espio. 
You and I love a good thrill, it seems. A thrill, chills, kills. But on the train, I am but a humble poet. I'll be willing to do an event like this again. <laughs> I don't know if you will. <laughs> After you find out what happened to Sonic. It says here the train does escape rooms as well. I love escape rooms. Count me in. Oh, yes, we can do Zero Escape next. I'm so glad everyone's having a good time. Maybe we could ride a train just to relax sometime. Uh, yeah, that'd be fun too. Ah! <laughs> Finally time for the body discovery. The second body discovery. Ugh. 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 What in the world? That's Amy's voice. <laughs> I knew I should have questioned Sonic. <laughs> Seeing him lying down in that Peter Griffin pose. Quick, where's Amy? Ugh. No, Sonic! <laughs> he can't go fast anymore. He, he's not responding to us! Sonic! Sonic! What? Is, is he hurt? Um, why isn't he- why isn't he moving? Sonic, Sonic, can you hear us? He's banged up. If there's a pulse, it's weak. Sit him down, Vector. Make sure his head is propped up. <laughs> John has fucking left him for dead for like three hours. I like how they just like were like, no, Sonic's just really committed to the bit. He's a theater kid. <laughs> so he's really committed to it. He doesn't even breathe when he acts dead. That's how that's how really is. I'm helping you. I'll help you. I knew one of you would take this too fucking Oh my gosh, she got the hammer out! I'm ready to fuck one of you up. Uh, which one of you did this to Sonic on my birthday, no less? Could this really have been one of us? There's no one else here, Knuckles. Oh gosh, she's looking intense. So we'll ask again, which one of you did this? Um, um, this is inexcusable. Sonic's hurt. I'm going to expose the monster who did this. Tails is not having it. I thought Sonic could handle anything, but somehow he met his match. I'm going to help you get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely, me too. Same! Slay Amy! <laughs> she do be getting ready to slay! We're going to figure out exactly what happened in this room until then nobody leaves! <laughs> I will kill all of you just to make sure that he's avenged! Uh, okay, Amy. Okay, Amy, maybe let's calm down a little bit. Sonic, he really was hurt this whole time and I did nothing. <laughs> yeah, you kind of screwed up there, you Mookie. I'm righting my wrong. I must take down the murderer. Uh, are we just confirming he's dead? It was like, they said his pulse, was, if there was a pulse, it was weak. So I was like, maybe he's not dead. Well, we don't see any blood or anything. But I guess he got hit with a dart. I guess it's just hard to know if there was like poison or like, you know, sleeping stuff in there. What is it like? Um, Like the tranquilizer. That's what it is. Could have been a tranquilizer too. Uh, Tails, Yumuko, I have a question to ask. Who in the world, who in this room did this? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? Oh. Oh, I gotta choose somebody? I think it was the conductor, though. Who do I choose? <laughs> Tails! Oh, wait, I kind of want to choose Tails. <laughs> Just for the meme. <laughs> oh, my God. I'd be so pissed. Amy is basically the Misa to Sonic if he was light. She cares for him a ton. Oh, that's cute. Oh, well, he seems a lot better than light, so good for her. She's got a good guy to simp for. That can't be right. Neither Tails nor I can be the murderer. Oh, that's right. Let me pick again. Who in this room did this? Uh, really? I thought it was the conductor. Huh. Out of these people, I don't know. <laughs> say Amy. I feel like she might just say the same thing. Okay, yeah. I was hoping maybe uh, she would get mad. Huh, I don't actually know. I don't think it would be Shadow. But he was the one who was moving around the most. Same with her. So I feel like they're kind of my prime suspects. Um, I don't see it. Care to explain your reasoning? Um, well, um, when I put on the spot like this, it's hard to explain. Maybe I'll pick someone else. I don't know. <laughs> Who in this room did it? Tell the Why don't you tell me? We just got to the bottom of Okay, fine. Okay. <laughs> I feel like we got to everybody. Thank you, Mookie. Who was the one suspect Shadow didn't see when he was walking through the train? Okay, the one suspect. Who in the room did this? Who killed Sonic? The one person Shadow didn't see? 
Oh, he didn't see that. Espio, you were the one to murder Sonic. Okay, so he's the bookcase as like a thing to protect him. I still think it's the conductor. <laughs> I'm not letting that go. Where are you? Uh huh. I should have known the Mikado voice though. Oh no, he got it. He's got his bestie backing up, backing him up. I didn't know such thing, my young friend. But if it's a battle of wits you wish, I would love to discuss things. Let's discuss. What the? You're accusing Espio? We already talked about this. That man was reading. You have nothing. Oh, we be one track thinking <laughs> is hurting her here. It do be like that sometimes. <laughs> I, do, I get really bad with one track thinking. That's probably one of my biggest issues when it comes to like uh, murder mystery games. Cause I just get so like in my head about so I swear to God he is Eggman in disguise though. I still think so. I still fucking think so. Like why would he tear off the hand in his conductor room? It's like, it's all so suspicious. But whatever, it's whatever, it's fine. Uh, I'll give it, I'll give it to SBO. <laughs> Thanks for the donation though. Espio has locked in the library card reading. He only had access to the saloon card during the murder. However, new evidence has come to light that needs to be addressed. New evidence. Oh, that's right. Yamuki, could you fill everyone in? What do we find that brings into question Espio's alibi? Vector has been acting protective. We discovered a hidden passage. Yep. Espio could have left the library at any time because Tails and I found a hidden passage from the library card. To the lounge car. In the lounge, the hidden passage exits behind the wardrobe. I feel lucky we even found it. Not only would Espio avoid any locked rooms, but doors, but that would put him in the car just before this one. You have no evidence I used any secret passage. Never trust the Mikado vo voice. That's the true, the true note to self. I answered all your questions without flaw. I was reading the entire time, remember? I guess he could just be a fast reader. It doesn't really have to like, take him that long to read through the book if he's like, you know, supposed to be super smart and big brain. It's true, you didn't miss a question, but I think Yamuki and I can explain that too. Right, Yamuki? How did Espio know? <laughs> Tell them, Yamuki! How did Espio know everything in the train manual he was reading? He's a ninja. A ninja like him speed reads. He's a poet, so quick reader. Yeah, I remember you guys said he was like a ninja or something. What is he now that I think about it? He's got kind of like a monkey tail. Then he's got like a horn. I thought he was like a rhino. A rhino monkey? Okay, whatever. Espio is a ninja. He's fluent in 17 different languages and remarkably disciplined. What are you getting at? You picked a random book from the shelf and memorized it! Just to guarantee yourself a clean alibi! That is smart! A what? That's absurd, memorizing a whole book! I know this is a talented bunch, but that seems like a lot. Oh, a chameleon. Oh, that makes sense. I don't know, it's plausible. Espio is particularly skilled. Why do you have to like, <laughs> why do you have to <laughs> kill Sonic and or like neutralize him though? <laughs> you could have just fake killed him, you know? I've known Espio a long time. He once speed read a book I was reading just to spoil the ending for me. Uh -huh, uh -huh. If I'm right, and Espio quickly memorized a book before entering the hidden passage, that Espio could have met Sonic in the conductor's car, where he was murdered. Since we're only talking, since we're only talking in what ifs, let me throw something at you. How was I to know about the hidden passage? It's hidden, duh. That's right. <laughs> Fucking Vector, he's such a sim. My bro would never do this. This is giving like Mondo and Taka vibes. That's right, my bro is perfect. How would Espio have ever known it was there? You said it yourself, kid. You were lucky to even find the passage. Mimuki and I have, might, not have, might not have the evidence to answer your question, but we know someone who does. Yamuki! <laughs> who has evidence to prove Espio knew about the hidden passage? Uh... Shadow? Well, no, he didn't see. No, Shadow didn't see him, right? Boo! Trying to think. Or Amy? Probably Shadow or Amy, right? Let's go with Amy. That wasn't exactly who I had in mind. Maybe give me a hint. They told us we can see something later, and now's the time to take a look. Who told us that? Here is evidence to prove Espio knew about the hidden passage. Told us to see something later? 
Would it be Vector? And he's just not telling us because he wants to protect his friend? God damn it. <laughs> Who told us that? Who has evidence to prove Espio knew about the hidden passage? And was I just born stupid? I feel like I'm so slow. <laughs> Egg. <laughs> Perfect. I don't remember who said that. Like, Shadow was the one who said that, um, he didn't see him. <laughs> Going through every single fucking person? Okay, Rouge. That was my next guess. Rouge, we need to see those blueprints. Blueprints. You stole blueprints. What have I already used it to scout for more treasure? Came up cold. You can have it. Blueprints are added to your inventory. Oh, that, uh, duh, that thing. Espio could have easily used this to find the hidden passage. What makes you think I ever saw those blueprints? Rouge had them. I guess if he sees it once, he might have like photographic memory. He seems pretty smart. Well, Yamuki, do you have an answer for him? How could Espio have seen those blueprints? Espio swiped them from the conductor. Espio found them before Rouge did. Probably. Rouge, where'd you find the blueprints? Oh, um, the library car. It was stuffed with the brochures. Oh, yeah, because she did find it in the library car, because that was when she was like, whoa, amazing. I checked the saloon car first, then found the blueprints after leaving. So that means Espio had time to find the blueprints and discover the hidden passage. In my theory, Espio looked at the blueprints and then used the hidden passage to get to Sonic. Okay. With Amy's guidelines, the murderer can kill a single participant, however they choose. The logistics are still vague, but Yumuki and I have evidence on how Sonic was murdered. I'm unsure how much harm Espio caused Sonic, but Yumuki and I have hard evidence on how it was done. Oh, oh this is a rich prey tell. If I murdered Sonic, how did I do it? I wonder what the broken robot arm is. I guess he's gonna do like the, oh, we can't bring weapons on here, blah, 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 blow dart. No dartboard nearby, though. Suspicious. Okay, now to form my argument. Okay, okay, okay. It's time to not kill Sonic. We can do this. I believe. I believe in us. Come on, focus. You're close, Yamuki. What would Sonic do? <laughs> He'd run fast. That's what he would fucking do. He would run so fucking fast. You wouldn't believe it. You wouldn't believe your eyes how fast he would run. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Woo! Do 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 do. Woo! Ooh! Ooh! No! 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 <laughs> that was a close one. <laughs> okay. Ah! Okay. Okay. Ah! Okay. Oh shit! No! <laughs> Damn it! Stupid! <laughs> God dang it! Ah! No! No! I was so close that time. It's okay. Let me try again. Okay. This one's stressful. Okay, I just gotta remember that thing falls. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Okay. Whew. Oofers. Let me do this. Time instead. Whew. Oh, nice. Look at that. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, man. What would Sonic do? <laughs> Tax evasion. <laughs> oh, man. This blowdart was found here in the conductor room. <laughs> oh, man. That was scary. I believe Espio used this to knock Sonic unconscious. Ah, oh, so you mean. Sonic might just be knocked out. I'm unsure. He's more banged up than what a blow dart would do. According to Amy's room, rules, a blow dart counts as a kill for the murder mystery. My theory, therefore, is plausible. Plausible, you say? I was like, what the hell? Did you just, like, beat him up afterwards? <laughs> like, did the blow dart just start kicking him <laughs> while he was down? <laughs> then why are there so many holes in it? <laughs> first try. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I can't believe I've gotten them all on my first try. It's crazy. I'm just such a gamer. You deny the allegations? Of course I do! Let me present the first fatal flaw. If I knocked out Sonic in the conductor's car, 
than how was Sonic found in the dining car? Ah, shoot, that's a good point. But Tails was onto something, I'm sure of it. I locked all the doors and Espio didn't have a key. He would have had to take the hidden passage back. If he took the hidden passage if he if he took the hidden passage back, then he'd end up back in the library. Yuki and I know another way. It could have been done. Oh, we do. <laughs> Yuki's so real. We do. What piece of evidence do we need to take a closer look at? Oh, God. The blueprints or the train map? Probably the blueprints, right? Look at the hidden passage of code. Written in the corner. I'll try this one. Fun fact from the show Sonic Boom. Sonic canonically literally has never paid his taxes and tried to use going too fast as an excuse for the court. Are you serious? I thought that was just a random joke somebody was doing. All right, now what's my argument? We're getting closer. I think. Thank you, Mookie. Think. Okay, okay, we can fucking do this. Okay, I gotta make sure I pay attention to bridges collapsing. Okay. Okay. Whew! Ooh, that was kind of a close one too, wasn't it? <laughs> Oofers! Okay. We got this, guys! We got this! I believe in us! Okay. Gonna live life a little bit on the edge, you know? Whew! 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 Okay. <laughs> oh, Sonic, you keep me young. Yes! Let's fucking go! Sonic commits tax evasion. Oh, I didn't even know that. The person who said the joke, my joke was canon. I'm dead. All right, let's take a look. He's a hero, guys. Come on. He doesn't need to. He doesn't need to pay taxes. If Espio didn't take the secret passage to get the dining car, then what route did he take to get Sonic there? Uh, there's a path above the conductor car, and it goes all the way to the dining car. Oh, huh, didn't even see that area. Actual first try. <laughs> nice. I haven't actually seen the fandom yet. I know some of my mods are obsessed with the fandom, though. I want to watch that, too. I guess I could always maybe do a reaction video to that, if you guys wanted to see that. But I haven't seen it yet. I've heard a lot of my mods, though. They love that. <laughs> Is that some sort of a long attic? They reference that all the time. According to these blueprints, there's a hidden path in the ceiling that leads straight to the dining car. Perhaps you can access it. Through the vent over there? Um. The vent, of course. That must be the entrance to the path. Allow me to check it out. <laughs> My word. There is a path back there and a track. A track, huh? A track for the robot arms, I think. Oh, that makes sense. This must be the path the arms take to move throughout the terrain. So you're saying I somehow fit with Sonic in that vent and took him into the dining car. Uh. Tails, you're a smart kid. I know you realize we both couldn't fit up there. Espio's right. This feeling is flimsy, Tails. I need an answer. My name's getting dragged around here and I'm perfect. How on, how on earth would I get Sonic through that vent? Uh... <laughs> a broken robot arm? I guess if you break it, then there's like more room? Phew, now think about my argument. Okay, you can do this, Yamuki. Yamuki. You can do this! I keep forgetting my own name. Think! Okay, here we fucking go. Banu, 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 banu. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. I don't like these falling <laughs> levels. They scare me. Oh shit. Oh god damn it. It's okay. It's okay. It's fine. Oof. Oofers. Oh no. <laughs> Gotta risk it for the biscuits sometimes. And that's just what happens. That's just what happens sometimes. Oof. Banu. 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 Have I got enough? Oh, well, I have. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh god. Okay. <sighs> okay. Okay. Da -na -na -na. Da -na. 70 rings. Whoa. Nice. Whew. <laughs> Everyone saw the broken robot arm on the ground, right? Clearly a fight broke out here. 
and one of these robot arms was a casualty. You killed Sonic and the robot, damn you. Roma, Roma, Robophobia. <laughs> Knuckles said there's a track the robot arm uses that continues through the vent. A robot arm could have grabbed Sonic, passed out from a blow dart. Is the 100% like you literally have to get every single ring? Or is it just you have to get like 100 rings or something? Like, um, that seems really ridiculously hard if you have to get 100% of the rings. <laughs> that seems really difficult, but I guess, I guess Sonic fans just be built different. I don't know. A robot arm could have grabbed Sonic, passed out from a blow dart, and carried him to the dining car. Oh, could, could that be true? Take a look at Sonic, he's clearly banged up. Uh, so that's how I got banged up. The arm was like throughout the vent. <laughs> Poor Sonic. Could the fight have been between Sonic and the robot arms? Ugh. I can see that, those arms look powerful. Sonic doesn't fall easily, but if he's woozy from a blow dart, the arms could have gotten him. Interesting theory tale. Interesting theory tales. But you have to admit, these are a lot of coincidences. I might not be able to link everything directly to SBO yet, but I have found one inconsistency. Um, what kind of inconsistency? Someone here received false information. I believe that information came from SBO. God, Tails is so smart. Who received that information? Oh wait, somebody got false information from SBO? A vector? Not quite. Someone here received a hot scoop that turned out to be false. Oh, okay. Amy received a hot scoop. <laughs> I'm so. <laughs> oh, I gotta stop my one track of mine. I don't know how to stop it. I was still convinced it was the conductor who gave her the false scoop. <laughs> I gotta stop that. I don't know how, though. How do I change? Amy, you received a hot scoop, didn't you? I think it's time you told us where that scoop came from. I, Tails, you're right. Espio lied to me. Espio told me Shadow was locking doors to trap Sonic. We found out Sonic was trying to keep me from discovering my birthday surprise. That, oh, that scoop came from you, Espio. Um, no, of course not. Amy must have misheard one. Misheard you? Yeah, I said, um, Sonic's going to get trapped with all these locked doors. I was just looking out for my fellow passenger safety. I didn't blame Shadow. <laughs> Rip. I don't know, SBO. What? The evidence might not be airtight, but there's a lot being thrown at you that makes sense. I, ha I have to agree. You want us to believe you were lazily reading the whole time? I love Shadow at first was like, I don't believe this SBO. Then he was like, wait, he was shit talking? Oh, hell no, let's lock him up, boys. <laughs> While you were sta stationed in one room with a hidden passage. Oh! And now you're lying to me on my birthday of all this, but that's the game! <laughs> let's get him, get the hammer out. I believe the murderer, murderer used the train's controls to move Sonic from the conductor car to the dining car and lied to Amy, casting further blame on Shadow. Of course, the Mikado voice would be gaslighting for no other reason than to cause doubt and confusion. When examining everyone's alibis, one clearly stands out as the weakest. I believe it's clear to everyone that it could, <laughs> that it could only be you. It's gotta be you. What's that thing that they, you're the only one. Oh my God. <laughs> Are they really doing the dog and rapa pose? I'm fucking dead. Oh my goodness. I guess Ace Attorney also does that pose too. But still, it's so beautiful. I gotta get a picture of that. It was you, SBO! Whoa! <laughs> you you were the one who murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> Closing argument time, baby! Oh my god. Thank you, Dara. Oh wow, being a member for 24 months. Dang, Dara! No way they did the thing I know! I love it! Ah. Um! Oh, he is alive! Okay, to just get tranquilized. Uh, hey guys. Sonic, you're okay! Sonic, and just as we solved the mystery, Espio was the murderer. Right. Oh. Oh no, trauma dump time. 
Oh my god! Are you literally getting like the full, the full scoop, the closing argument? Espio jumped me on the conductor car. Dang it, you got me! A blow dart though, really? It's nonetheless, it's not lethal poison. You'll just be sleepy for a while. Agreed, I could use a nap. No wait, there's something important. Espio left me there. Something important. I need everyone to listen. The train's a bad nick. What's a bad nick? <laughs> it's like I'm so, I'm so only. Uh, <laughs> I'm so. Uh, what's the word? Um, such a noob when it comes to Sonic. Does that mean? Does that mean the train conductor is Eggman? Because that's what I've been saying the whole fucking time. Um, Sonic, Sonic, are you feeling all right? Do you need to lie back down? No, we all need to get off this train. We're not safe. What? When I arrived at the conductor car, the conductor was already here. We haven't seen him. He's so freaking sus. He was so excited to tell me all the feet, all about the features on this train. But what he was telling me, I had a bad feeling. Oh, yes, I fucking knew it. Yes, slay. I asked to see the power source. The conductor hadn't even seen it. When we took a look, we realized the train's powered by a flicky. Oh, okay. Eggman used to be called Mr. Robotnik. Oh. A flicky, a tiny animal. So he's just in, he's powering the train to kill us. There's only one person twisted enough to use a flicky as a power source. The train was made by Mr. Eggman. Dr. Eggman! I told the conductor the train needed to be destroyed. He refused. The way the conductor was describing it, it's more than a simple badnik. It's the conductor's friend. The train is his co-conductor. Um, you're not serious. They uh, certainly didn't tell me that in the interview. Right as we saw the flicky, I felt a sting in my shoulder. It was the blowdar from Espio. Man, Espio, you were screwing us over. Ugh. Ugh. Espio left. The lights in the room started to glow red. Ah, oh no, the train's evil! <laughs> oh, what the hell? Oh no! <laughs> oh no, the conductor! I think he was just evil the whole time. <laughs> but he actually got killed by Dr. Eggman. <laughs> Thank you, big chunk of belongs in the trash. Uh, oh, I guess it was too much uh, spoilers for the lore, maybe? Thank you for the uh, donation, though. I appreciate you. But um, I do think I might end up, re you know, reacting to the um, lore videos. I think, from what I said, it seemed like it was kind of like, um, whatchamacallit, like a robot made by him or something. Thank you, Diamond Cows. Finally made you a stream. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Um, and then <laughs> somebody's saying Sonic not being dead is low-key disappointing. <laughs> oh, man. It's Dang and Rapa fans for you. Hey, stop! What are you doing? I knew something was wrong and stood up. The arms came for me next. I spin dash right through the robot arm, sliced it off the rail. It was on. Wow, I'm amazed that amazed he was able to do any of this poisoned. But another robot arm managed to grab me and pin me to the floor. Oh, no! Not the conductor! <laughs> Dude, I was being so mean to him. And he was actually nice the whole time. The conductor screamed as the arms approached him, but I was hit quite a bit before it all got to me. Pew, pew, pew. Oh no. Um, um. Everyone, I have something to admit. I murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh no, we already figured that out. We're trying to figure out the Eggman stuff now. Yeah, we already knew that. The situation has gotten so serious. Why would you not just tell us? I thought that's how these murder games worked. You shoot someone with a blow dart, they die. Are you crazy? It's just a make-believe game. Nobody was supposed to get hit with a blow dart, you psycho. Um, I was just following the rules. Use this blow dart on Sonic. Station of the conductor car. It's laced with a lawn, non-lethal sleeping agent. Thank you again for choosing the Mirage Express. Okay. I also kind of think he is Eggman, the conductor. <laughs> he just faked getting captured. Cause that could be that could be the case too, but maybe I'm just still too one track. Uh, what is that? It says use this blow dart on Sonic. Station the conductor car. I mean, I guess it could just be instructions coming from the train and not the conductor, but it seems a little seems a little sussy still. 
I, I'll, I'll give him the bit of the benefit of the doubt though. I won't. I'll stop being one track. It says use the splitter on Sonic. Station in the conductor car. It is laced with a non-lethal sleeping agent. Thank you again for choosing the Mirage Express, staff. What is this, instructions? I was given the below dart along with that card. It's signed staff, who gave this to you? Come to think of it, one of the robotic, robotic arms handed it to me. Okay, maybe it was just the robot train doing it? Ugh, a weapon shouldn't be allowed on the train. What is the larger picture here? Who instructed those arms to attack? Who was it? Who or what? Yumuki. Who do you think attacked Sonic and handed Espio the blow dart? The conductor of the train itself. Man, I wish I could look back at the log. But I can't. It kind of seems like the train itself? I believe something's been orchestrating something behind the scenes. Something wanted Sonic out of the picture and for a good while, so I think the train itself is plotting something. Ugh. First we learned the train's a bad nick and now it's out to get us? Once again, you keep saying the most ridiculous nonsense. You're seriously convinced the train has it? You're seriously convinced the train has it out to get us? I don't know what the train's full intent is. But clearly it's been tampering in our murder mystery game. Train! Girl, you can't beat- Girl, let's not beat up the train for right now. <laughs> Oh man! Oh my God! Let's not let's not beat up the train. We're still riding it, so let's let it stop safely first. Come out and show yourself, Amy. It's my birthday. I don't need you messing with it. We haven't even had cake yet. Oh God! <laughs> Amy's hitting the wall with her hammer. I'm with you, Amy. This train, guys. We're still on it. Come on! Come on! There's got to be another way to get the train's attention. What was? That? Oh shit. Oh god, we gotta fight the train? Oh shit! Uh oh. What did you two do? Oh no! Okay, so I was good to not, to not mistrust him again. I have never doubted you. I've never doubted you, Conductor. I just want the record to show the chat was like being super old man phobic. But I never doubted you. Is that the Conductor? Here, I can get him down. Don't touch him. Ugh. Ah! Is the train talking? Of course I can talk. You fools were too distracted. This is robophobic. You know, this plot line is a little robophobic. It's like, of course the robot's the evil one. You fools were too distracted playing your little game to figure it out. We were right, weren't we? What are you plotting? I'm taking all of you to Eggman's base. Uh, okay, so Eggman's not on here. Damn it, I thought my theory was good, though. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Because I, I never doubted the conductor in the first place. <laughs> there, where you will rot, Eggman. After I deliver your annoying party right to his egg fortress. Annoying? The conductor and I will be free to laugh and play games, ride the open rails like we always planned. Okay, so he really was friends with the conductors. I guess because, too, the conductor was, like, close to the robot. That was why I was, like, kind of also thinking he was in on it. What are you? Enough! The train's picking up Oh, Jesus Christ. We're gonna crash into Eggman's base? <laughs> Everyone, grab something. Which one of these buttons turns the train off? Whoa! Sonic! Ha 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 ha! Stay put until we arrive. Goodbye. Ah! Whoa! Oh no! I can't keep my footing. Ah! God, this is a horrible first day. <laughs> Yonder a train. Oh Jesus! Oh, he's cleaning it. Oh, a bunch of evidence has fallen out of my pockets. Ugh, ah, uh, my head. Dale's Amy? Ah. Uh, is anybody there? Hello? Hello? You need to yell, bud. Sonic, I'm sorry. Are you okay? Uh, hanging in there. It seems like the train arms threw us back into the dining car. But where's everyone else? A uh, great question. But for now, are you alright? Sonic? The hedgehog asking about me? I think we're gonna die, dude. <laughs> Maybe you should stop fanboying for a second. <sighs> I'm doing amazing! Wow, amazing, huh? You might have to share a bit of that enthusiasm with me. I, uh, might have overcompensated there. <laughs> Let's get our bearings and take a look around. 
Good idea. Lead the way. Okay. Now I guess we gotta fight Eggman or something. That yellow glow is chilling. I miss when it was just showering us with showing us weather in advertisements. Oh, it's showing Eggman now. <laughs> nice. Well, that's better than the yellow glow, I guess. Oh, uh, what kind of voice? Maybe like the what was uh the Mishima voice? Hello, hello. Anyone there? Why is nobody responding to me? I miss the yellow glow already. <laughs> you got some nerve showing up here, Egghead. Whoa, oh, Egghead. He got you there, bro. Oh, you spiky blue pest. Seems you've finally taken passage on one of my passenger trains. You created this? You own the train? Who the heck are you? Don't talk to me, side character. You don't even have a name. Ignoring that, they certainly didn't talk about you in my interview. My involvement isn't very well known, civilian. The infrastructure in your towns just wasn't cutting it. If I were to build Eggman Land, these problems would need sorting out. Oh my god, Eggman Land? <laughs> you make an amusement park? So I courageously got invited. I converted some cargo trains into passenger trains for the sake of the public. It's more useful for future schemes. Let me guess, another death egg, Dr. Predictable. The people fear giant spheres! It's science, <laughs> is it? <laughs> Let's cut to the chase. We're our friends. Judging by my security cameras, your pathetic friends are all locked in the cars they were stationed in. Seems you managed to make the train quite upset. Did you not know this was happening? Heavens no, I'm only now getting caught up. Oh, really? <laughs> the train was kind of doing his own thing? I'm far too busy to notice what a passenger train is up to. But hey, it worked out, I guess, whatever. <laughs> you see, the capability of a bad Nick is normally very basic. Basic. Just kill Sonic the Hedgehog. God, he's got such a hate boner for Sonic. But for a luxury train, I wanted to be sure things ran without my supervision. And report to me if any of you happened to board. Bro, you just made trains just in case Sonic the Hedgehog boarded? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> this train's capability of intellectual thought is extraordinary. A feat only accomplished by my genius. So this confirms that the train is really sentient. Suffice to say, your capture is inevitable. You're on a train that desires nothing more than to deliver you all to me. Uh, <laughs> fear giant spheres. Everybody in Sonic is a flat earther. Confirmed. <laughs> they hate giant spheres. It terrifies them. See, I got to think again. It's about manufacture motivation beyond programming. I like to make my bad nicks complete. Compete against one another from time to time. It's good for productivity. So I instituted a bounty upon my army of bad nicks. First to capture your pathetic creatures gets a generous reward. Ugh. The train wants to deliver us to Eggman for a reward? Oh, is it gonna be like money that he can give to like the conductor or something? Most of my robots ask for something simple like my autograph or whatever. But a highly intelligent train, he wants money, baby! Money, money, money. It may ask for something more interesting. I guess the train might be upset too because the conductor is about to retire. As much as I like reward programs, are you done blabbering, Doc? You can never just win silently, can you? When you're dragged to my house, you'll regret the day you ever cross me, hedgehog! I already do get lost. Ah, <laughs> ciao! He always knows how to get under my skin. This is tough. The train has the motivation, and being made by Eggman, it's no doubt powerful. Not to mention, we're all separated. What am I supposed to think? The train purposely had Sonic knocked out, so it could deliver us to Eggman. This whole th time we were all in danger, and I went along with it. Damn. Sonic was really hurt. The conductor has been captured. Should I have been more assertive earlier? Yes. <laughs> I should have done more. I didn't try. <laughs> like how both is just like, yes. You, you should have tried more. <laughs> should I not have spent an hour gambling earlier? Am I a fault here? I knew Sonic was hurt all along. It couldn't keep anyone safe. Hey. <laughs> I mean, you did know Sonic was hurt all along. I'm just spitting facts. I can tell the situation's getting to you. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I... I get it. The road's getting tough. It's easy to question the decisions that got you here. But when negative thoughts hit you, let it pass and keep living. Yeah! Was it toxic positivity, baby? I need you here helping me think through this before I do something rash. Before I go fast. See, I'm one of those leave before you think kind of guys. <laughs> okay, you're right. Let's keep moving forward and make things right. 
breathe, okay? We gotta get to the conductor's car before the train arrives at Eggman's base. The doors have been heavily fortified. How do we get through? Believe in yourself. What would what would you do? <laughs> That's what I've been asking myself this whole fucking time. Like, what would Sonic do? The entire day, Tails and I have been asking ourselves, what would Sonic do? I also asked myself, what would Sonic do? So what would you do? Uh, what would I do? Well, I'd speed through, head on, and rescue our friends by any means necessary. I was like, just bust down the door with your speed, your speediness or whatever. Here, stand back. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, there we go. Wow, one of those big, with one big wind-up, Sonic Spin Dash was fast enough to get the door open. Hey, now that the road's clear, nothing can stop us. Hey, <laughs> that is what I would do. Better hold on to your pants. I don't think we'll be getting another break after this. Ready to go. I guess I didn't click everything in here. Kind of does seem like the final boss. I get it. Well, let me know when you're ready. Pew, pew. Hey, one of those robotic arms are here too. Yeah. Oh wait, what did it do? Let me let me redo it. I skipped the text. Yo, it swiped at me. Best leave it alone. The train's definitely mad at us. Good call. We gotta get out of here before that arm swipes at us again. Okay, was that it? Okay, that might be it for this area. Ready to go save our friends? I'm ready. All right, let's do this. By the way, maybe you missed my donation. Oh, I did. Uh... Oh, really? Dang. Did I miss Diamond Cows? Thank you, uh, Diamond Cows, too. Finally made it to a stream. I think I... I can't remember if I answered that one or not. I think I just got distracted. Sorry. Thank you, Fallen Redditor. Weeby is wrong about the old man bias again. <laughs> he could still be Eggman. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I guess it's over. I guess it's over. Sorry about that. Yeah, sometimes I just get kind of into it. You know what I mean? To the conductor card in this mystery. Sorry about that. Just too engrossed in this mystery. Okay. All right. Our friends are locked in the cars up ahead. In my last adventure, maxing out my ring count gave me an extra boost of speed. If I can grab enough rings, I should be fast enough to bust through the next door too. Ready? Let's do this. Okay, this is like the final one. Oh, I got full screen too. Woo! Okay. Oof! Ah! Ah! Okay. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> I jumped too late. No! Sonic! What would I do if I died? Okay, at least it didn't give me a cutscene. I kind of hate it when games give you cutscenes after you die. It's like, I know! I suck! I don't have to hear it again from you! Like, leave me alone! Ooh! Oh, that was a close one, I feel like. Okay. I actually kind of like the lightning that comes down better. Oh god. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Bust down the door, yeah. Beauty. Just wait till I see it. Just wait till I see Eggman. I'm gonna clobber him. We gotta deal with the train first. Come on, let's go. Oh, can you join me? I can do both of you guys. Humph. Okay. Oh, thank god. It seems like it's gonna start me over. So if I die, I don't have to redo the last one again. Ugh. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Everything's daijo boo. Oh god. Oh god, I'm so scared. <sighs> okay. Wait, do I have 27? Breaking through again. You all came for us, even though I killed you earlier, Sonic. Of course, but let's move. The train wants to take us prisoner and earn a reward. Oh, I just noticed he has a little, his little pixel version has the hat and stuff on now. That's cute. My reward is to get off this stupid train. Let's go. 42, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm just gonna believe in myself. I'm just gonna believe in myself and hope that everything works out. Okay. I think we're doing okay right now. Okay. Oh, nice. I chose the right one. Cool. Okay. This seems easy so far. I was like, what's up with that? Why is it easy so far? Okay. <laughs> that one was so easy. 69. Yes. 
Nice. Sonic. It's about time you were supposed to be fast, Sonic. We gotta move. You two ready? And I am fast, damn it. Always. Let's. Let's boogie. And I got the funny number, too. Everything working out as it should. Ooh, okay, this one's a little harder. Oh shit. <laughs> that was a little bit of a dangerous one to go for, huh? Probably should have done that. Where even is this on the ship? Is this or the train, I mean. Okay. Oh shit, no, goddammit. I was too busy checking to see if I was at 69 again. I was like, I think I'm close to 69. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> so close. Locked Amy and Tails in the conductor car. Say no more. Let's go. Here we go. Okay, I don't know if I could get those. As much as I would have liked to. Damn it, I should have gotten that other section now. That would have been good. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay. There we go. Nice. Oop. Okay. Pew, new, new, new. Sonic! Sonic, you're here! Yeah, this is no way to treat the birthday girl. You're right. I'm ready to stop this fucking train. Time to finish it. I'm gonna run so fast. <laughs> that train's not gonna see it. Like, how is he gonna. I guess he just, like, kind of bumps into the train in his little, like, circle form. You know what's kind of, uh, funny? It's, um, whatchamacallit. So, <laughs> I don't know why, but when Peanut plays, whenever I play with my cat, Peanut, he always just runs by the toy. He never, like, sometimes he attacks it, but, like, 90% of the time he just runs by it. <laughs> I feel like it's kind of like Sonic in that way. It's just like, oh, man, Peanut, you ran so fast by that toy. It's so scared now. <laughs> time to finish it. Let's go. Let's run fast, baby. <laughs> <coughs> Excellent work trapping these pests. Now hurry to me. I must probably dispose of them to begin my plans for Eggman Land and probably another death egg. Oh, is that what we got earlier too? It just had bling in it though. Don't turn us into robots. Don't teleport us to the future. Oh, I haven't done that in a while. Maybe I will turn you on to robots to give Sage some new toys to play with. Shut it, Eggman. Don't disappoint me, Train. Hurry up! I will not fail. My wish will be granted. Oh, your wish? You mean the bounty? I don't care what you call it. Just bring me these overgrown mammals. I kind of feel bad for the train. He just, you know, he's just a little yonder, eh? Grr, that Eggman. I must get my wish. Beep boop. I will not fail. This is everyone. This is everyone. Get ready. We're taking this thing down. Okay. Oh, look. Like the train's so pretty, too. Whoa. Oh, my God. Look at how fast I'm running. Tra oh, whoa. Oh, my God. He's actually coming out of me. That's cool. <laughs> I thought I was going to run by him. <laughs> but, God, look at how fucking fast I am, train. You are so scared right now. You were so scared about how fast it. No, damn it! Ah, damn. Oof. There we go. None of you could possibly understand my love. We promised to be together. Our how lives. Oh, he really is just. <laughs> He's upset that he's leaving. How could he just leave me like it was nothing? I have more money than his wife now. He should love me. Who do you mean? The conductor? He's retiring. You don't have to accept that. My wish will keep us together forever. That's what being friends is all about. You can't force someone to be friends with you. That's messed up. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> okay, trainee chan Okay. Uh-oh. I got the little balls of death now, too. I mean, I'm eating, like, everything at the end of this. First, I was like, eh, I could have probably done a harder difficulty. Now I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> now I have to do everything. 
Oh shit. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> Surprised me for a second. This kind of reminds me of that minigame with Sora 2 and SDRA 2. Eggman, Eggman, can you hear me? My wish, my wish, my wish! May the conductor never leave me. <laughs> what? I don't know if he has, like, I don't know if he has, like, you know, the type of, whatchamacallit, like, power to do that. I don't know if he can make the conductor love you, bestie. Let us be friends forever. Look at how dapper I look with my bow tie. The kind of friends who would never leave each other. Why would he betray me? <laughs> I kind of do feel bad for him, though. I've always loved Yandere's, though. Oh, shit. Oh, ugh. Okay. Whew. Oh, shit. Oh, God. I'm fucking up so bad. Okay. Okay. Huh? Okay. Okay. We can do this, Sonic. Oh, God. We need to get two, at least. Come on. We're not getting much. We need to get more rings, Sonic. Go faster. It's all your fault, Sonic. God damn it. <laughs> it's not my fault. It's not my crappy gameplay. Oh, God. <laughs> it's all you, Sonic. Okay. Okay, I got 52. We're good. Whew. Conductor. You promised. You promised. Let him speak on hand to him. Poor conductor, dude. <laughs> and I was being so mean to him. Train, stop this when I told you we'd be there for each other forever. I was much, uh, I was a much younger man. I'm getting old. I'm tired. I could die any moment now. Excuses, how dare you abandon me? I'll be lonely, so lonely. Why must you insist loneliness upon me? <laughs> no, stop, what are you doing to me? Oh God, what is, oh no, what is he doing? Please don't make me do this. We have to rescue the conductor if we want this to stop this train. <laughs> Let him cook. <laughs> Don't let him cook. Oh, what the? Oh, what the fuck? I'm gonna dodge the train now? Oh, shit. Oh, no. Okay. Ugh. Okay. Okay, okay. Get the coins. 52, Sonic. We can do this. We can fucking do this. Huh? Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> I jumped too soon. Okay. Oh my gosh. These Mariah Carey notes right now. I'm stressed. I only have 80 points. I'm doing good. <laughs> I'm like so stressed. I'm actually like way over the points. Yeah. Oh yeah. Let's fucking get him Sonic. Beat his ass. That sounds wrong. Oh no. The little guy. He's so cute. A flicky. This is just like the lore card when my ex best friend left detective work to join Dr. Eggman. Is that you, Flicky? Uh, my ex bestie. So this is really a bad nick. The stakes rise every second, huh? We gotta save him. On it. Let's show our full Oh wait, uh, let's show our full power. Okay. Ah. <laughs> okay. Oh man. Oh god. I thought I was done. It's never done. We gotta keep running fast. Oh god. What would Peanut do? He would also run fast. Holy fuck! There's so much going on! Holy shit! Oh my god! Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Everything's red. Everything is red. Everyone is dead. Okay, ooh, okay. Oofers, 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 okay. Uh, it's gotta remember to jump. I think that's my main issue <laughs> with this game. Oh my god, almost at 100. No, I'm so close! One more ring, damn it! Oh, I would have been so close to getting 100. Ah, that makes me so sad. Just, just be delivered to Eggman already. Why do you stand between our love? What about, what about my happiness? Your happiness comes at the expense of others. Plus, you're a robot. <laughs> and everybody knows that Sonic is robophobic. Last time I checked, it's called being selfish. Me, selfish. How, how dare you? Oh, 70? Holy fuck. Okay. It's okay. It's okay, Weeby. You got like 90 last time. 99 last time. You're so close. I have to like hype myself up. Just hit those Ariana Grande notes. 
<laughs> it'll bring you. It'll bring you freedom. Somehow. Maybe. Probably. <laughs> okay. <sighs> okay. Okay. Oh, no! I want to get those coins! Okay. Okay. We're good. 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 You good. You good. <laughs> okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, wait. Oh, yes. A hundred. Yes. Let's go. Oh, man. No, 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 no. I'll grab the flicky. I'm the little guy. He's so cute. He's so tired. Poor little buddy. Look at how tired he is. He don't want to work for the evil guy. Oh, oh, thank you. It's over. Time to pay for ruining my birthday. Oh, damn. She really did crush it. I feel like we still should have stopped it first, but it's okay. <laughs> Do whatever you say. It's like, sorry, I got this like seven reads. But times ten. But a hundred of them. That's why the high notes were helping me. Oh, bless you. Now it's the best birthday ever. The train is slowing down. Great hit, Amy. <laughs> it was pretty great, wasn't it? And that's what you get when you mess with my special day. Uh, oh no, I, I, feel, I feel bad for him. You just want a friend. I mean, you know, all he's ever known is the conductor, so I get I get why he's sad. Sure, he tried to kill us, but like, he's just a little guy. I, I just couldn't bear. I oh, look at he's got the big eyes now too. <laughs> now I feel bad, Oh, I just couldn't bear to see you go. Can we make him like a smaller version, you know, like a little mini? Train that, like, you know, conductor can take with him. I'm sorry for the trouble. Oh, no! I don't want him to die! Oh, I think our work here is done. Can't, come on! Let's just make him a smaller version! I don't know. I've always had a soft spot for Yandere's, I guess. Now, let's get off this thing. He just wanted love. And he did a little guy. He had the big eyes! Thank you. Goodbye, my friend. I may be living the rails, but I assure you, I'll never forget our time together. Aw, oh, man, that's so sad. The little guy. I feel, I feel so bad for the train. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad for him. Come on, let's just make a little mini train or something. We didn't have to kill him. Just, you know, knock him out a little bit. We did it. Well, I'll say I've never been on a train like that before. This universe has a unique way of doing things. Watch your step. Watch your step. It's over. I think I don't have a job anymore. <laughs> the mystery of Sonic the Hedgehog's murder is finally over. Maybe next birthday we can just ask Vanilla to make dinner. Oh, oh crap. I read them the wrong voice. Oh, you don't love parties where by the end someone tries to kill you? <laughs> I think I'm actually going to miss this group's unhinged way of thinking. Ah, uh, cute! Honey, you're late! I've been waiting there for hours! Faha! <laughs> You'd honestly never believe what happened! It's a good thing Trainee Chan didn't see this part, though. It would have broken his heart. Oh, he finally took the hat off, too! So I won't even try! Faha! <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Quick! We leave for Spagoni in the morning, and I need you to pack! I'll pack faster than the wind! I need this vacation! I need this vacation! Something terrible! And I need you home. Happy first day of retirement, dear. Man, he actually had to retire. I really thought that was a death flag. Seems the conductor is more than ready to begin his retirement after this ordeal. I'm happy for them both. Oh, who's this? Uh, Fa, an old friend, I think. Well, they're a cutie, that's for sure. Talking about the bird or our little guy? Oh, okay, she's talking about the bird. Cheep, cheep, cheep. Oh my goodness, he's so cute, too. Come on, let's give him a good home. Seems that Flicky found a friend. Great job saving that little guy, Espio. It was the least I could do. Sonic, everyone. I sincerely apologize for the trouble I called. Sorry for almost killing you, Sonic. That was my bad. <laughs> that was my B. And don't be. You were just following what you thought was the game. It's hard to know what I would have done in the same situation. I would have hit someone with a blow dart. Uh, seriously, a dart? It would have been hard to get close to you otherwise. Mr. Speed of Sound! Ah! Regardless, I am sorry. 
We're cool. And now that we're all safe, it was fun. This group has a wild idea of fun. Boy, am I starving. I forgot we never ate. With all the clatter, I for I completely forgot I was hungry. <laughs> Let's get some microwave chili dogs. Now that we know it didn't kill Sonic yet, we're good. We can eat a million of those things. Me too, I was distracted playing detective. If only you could have seen me, Sonic. I was finding clues, presented evidence, poking holes in alibis. I was like Makoto Nagi. Sonic, wait, where'd he go? I oh, don't even care. Everyone, guess what? The station has a bakery and look what I bought. Happy birthday. Oh yeah, he didn't even get a cake before. <laughs> I think he was supposed to be the one who got the cake. Yay, they finally got the cake. Oh, that's cute. Happy birthday, Amy. To the confident, unshakable, and radiant Amy Rose. To an adventure of a birthday, darling. A memorable party every year. To a fun birthday. A ride from start to finish, <laughs> literally. May our friendship go stronger each celebration. I admire your tenacity. May you never lose your vivacity. Happy birthday, Amy, and her sparkling personacity. <laughs> Is that even a word? I think it's personality, bro. Happy birthday. I'm not smart enough to know if a personacity is a word. <laughs> we love you, Amy. Happy birthday. Uh, oh my god, you guys. We almost got murdered by a lonely train, but but I wouldn't trade these adventures for anything. Never in a million years. You guys won't ever leave me, right? Uh, there's a little mustached one, too. He's so cute. He's my favorite. Wouldn't dream of it. Now let's have some cake. Yes, please. Dig in, everyone. <laughs> Yay! I hope it's chocolate, because it's dark like my soul. <laughs> That's so true, Shadow. Bit-do, bit-do, did-do. Oh. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Are these? <laughs> Robot Sonic. <laughs> and some sad little girl. Uh, that train's never making it here, is it? Oh, <laughs> went offline. Damn it! Orbot, prepare a bath! The happy, the happy rubber duck, or the angry one? <laughs> the angry one! <laughs> Angry! Sour choice, your evilness. Shut it! <laughs> that's cute. Yay! That was such a good game, man. And that's my story of when I met Sonic and his friends. And taking all their lives for a fleeting moment and then back to things as they were. Cities realized Eggman was running the train system and fought back to seize control. Everything's squeaky clean now. As for me, I... Quit, quit that fucking job and then practice my singing. I won millions in the lottery. I practiced at that casino and now I'm rich, baby. And after that, I managed to fly to space. Now I run a local. We went to space, baby. And yeah, that's just that, what was uh, what did you always say? And that's what happened. <laughs> and yeah, that's just my life. Oh, man. <laughs> what an amazing life you've had. Oh, that was so fun. That was actually really good. I can't believe, yeah, they made that as just like an April Fool's uh, game. You know what I mean? It was really, uh, really well made. Really good. Completely free, too. That was crazy. But yeah, I saw that it had good reviews on uh, Steam. And I just thought it was so funny that they actually made like a murder mystery game for Sonic just for like a joke. So I was like, I want to check it out and see it. And yeah, it was really cute. How did, how did you guys like it? Did you guys enjoy it? <laughs> and that's what happened. I don't know why, but it always cracked me up whenever Yuma would say that. <laughs> I think we should be safe on this music. I always get kind of scared with music when it gets to, um, whatchamacallit, ending credit scenes. I think it should be okay, though. This sounds pretty non-copyrighted. Yeah, it's so good! <laughs> Let's go dad shirts Sage and Metal were wearing. They were so funny. Fun fact, it was mentioned by the developers that Sage made those shirt short sh shorts. <laughs> shirts, that's so cute. Yeah, it's really good, especially just for an April Fool's gag. I know, right? With the Sundere, the Yandere train wasn't the only one he made. I'm so sad. I really wish that, yeah, the Yandere. Yandere Chan could have survived. <laughs> could have survived. It's very fun iteration of the Sonic games and its characters. How'd you like it, Weeby? It was really good. Yeah, super fun. I felt like all the characters were really interesting. That's mostly what I care about when it comes to games, especially like, I guess, murder mystery games like this. So I really enjoyed it. They were all super funny, 
had a really big personality. So the mystery was good too. I felt like I was a little slow because I got kind of um, <laughs> stun locked, which I tend to do sometimes, but uh, I think it was still, still really enjoyable. I enjoyed the Sonic sections too. I kind of, I don't know, I guess I could have maybe raised the, uh, I don't know, I can't tell if I could have raised the uh, difficulty too much more. Maybe like 80 or something. But it's probably better to just keep it at what it was so we don't have to, <laughs> you don't have to see me keep dying. Cause I get very, um, what's the word? I don't know, I get really like, stuck when I want to beat something. <laughs> I'll just keep doing it over and over again. Like y'all saw with that, um, what was that mini game? It's like for Danganronpa Another, the one that was in between like the first game and the second one. Oh my God, I got so stuck on those games. I just like would not stop. <laughs> I would never give up. Are you gonna watch the Sonic lore or play the other games? I think I'll probably watch the Sonic lore. I think that sounds pretty interesting. I've been wanting to watch more like uh, lore videos. I feel like uh, Sonic's just so much to get into. I feel like I'm mostly interested in hearing the lore. I'm not totally sure if like my gameplay for it would be like, I don't know, super entertaining for people to watch. That's kind of why I was, um, whatchamacallit. I'm um, thinking of just doing like lore reaction. Plus there's just so much, so many games to get into. <laughs> I already feel overwhelmed with FNAF, you know what I mean? Oh, man. God, a lot of people worked on this. They really put their all into this, and you can tell. The Sonic lore is kind of a mess. I feel like the Kirby lore was complicated, but I think it all made sense in the end. It was just kind of wild. <laughs> like, when stuff, like, kept coming back up. It's just like, holy shit. Like the butterfly. Oh, man. As long as it isn't Kingdom Hearts lore, I think I'll be fine watching. I'm like such a big Kingdom Hearts nerd, but like, I still get so confused on the lore. Like, I don't know, I was like trying to think if there could be a fun video to do with Kingdom Hearts lore, but I'm not really sure, like trying to explain the Kingdom Hearts lore. <laughs> As a Kingdom Hearts fan for like, God, when did I get into Kingdom Hearts? Like, at least 10 years ago, like, <laughs> as a fan, a diehard fan for like the past like 10 years. <laughs> Still trying to explain the lore for me is so hard. Thank you, Cool and KT. Hey, thanks for playing the game. Also, off tangent, are you excited? Dead Meat is doing a kill count for Danganronpa. Oh, yeah, I never heard of that. I'll have to uh, check it out. Um, but yeah, I can definitely check it out. And yeah, no problem. This game was super fun. Had a lot of uh, had a lot of a lot of good times doing it. So, what is the difference in Kingdom Hearts between a nobody and a heartless? Anyways, <laughs> I do understand. Okay, I get like that part. I think it's just like. I don't know. It's just like one of the games they introduced like time travel and that's when I get like so like I'm like dream drop distance is when I like you know what I'm just, I'm just gonna enjoy the ride. <laughs> I feel like before dream drop distance I was like kind of following and then I was like <laughs> oh man but yeah it's like maybe there'll be something fun I could do with that one day because I do love Kingdom Hearts. I'd love to make videos on it. I guess it's just like I feel like I don't know, there's already so many Kingdom Hearts videos out there already. I didn't really think that me making any would like do well or like there was any need for me to make any, but I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. I mean, tons of people play FNAF, but I've been playing that game and people are enjoying it. So who knows? Who knows? But yeah, this was super fun. I really enjoyed it. Such a well-made game, especially for just like a silly little um, April Fool's. Um, prank, you know what I mean? But yeah, I liked it a lot. And thank you, Alex Allegedly, for becoming a part of the Kenjo Cult! And yeah, um, enjoyed the characters. I look forward to looking into some Sonic lore. You guys let me know too, let me know too what other kind of lore y'all would want me to get into. I saw one person, they reacted to like Fortnite lore. I was like, how does Fortnite have lore? <laughs> I know one of my mods said like Splatoon lore is insane. And I think they linked me like a video that was like six hours long or something. <laughs> I was like, holy crap. It's wild. But uh, yeah, um, thanks guys so much for watching. Um, unfortunately, I don't know if I'll have a stream next week. That's kind of another reason why I wanted to do a short one-off video. Um, this week, I'm gonna be going out of town next weekend. I was like, maybe I'll try to do one on a weekday, but I'm not totally sure if I'll be able to since I'll be trying to, you know, get ahead to get a video up while I'm gone. So probably not a stream next week, so just keep that in mind. After that, I'm not totally sure what we'll do. We do have Inescapable coming out like really soon, like the 19th, so there's always that, but we'll see. Oh my God, Kingdom Hearts, the wheel decides. Now that would be fun. Thank you, Dabbler Dragon, for the donation. Oh, that I love the wheel decides videos. Those videos were 
so fun. Oh man, it's been a while since I've made them. I do think, yeah, doing like a raincoat one could be fun too. God, I probably would get like protagonist Yomi though. <laughs> Oh, man. But, um, yeah, it's been fun. And, yeah, unfortunately, not sure if I'll have a stream next week. Not totally sure. Yeah, we'll be streaming afterwards. We will see. <laughs> we shall see. But uh, thanks, guys, for stopping by. I appreciate you. And I will see you later. Let me kind of get this set up. Bye.